I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Right. F thing sucks. In five. God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet sh**. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast f &T Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com Use discount code NERDROTIC. <laughs> All right, perfect. I wouldn't fight, motherfucker. Of all the five realms, Asgard is his hood. For miles, you can see he's just that good. North, south, East and West, the Rainbow Bridge takes him to his quest. Name on Marquee, like his uncle Loki. When he wants to be Gods and King. Kang, sorry, Kang, got so much wind. Check out all these rings. Hammer time, keep going. Look at me on their graffiti as well. I'm like, why? Oh because he's black. Formerly known as Prince for sure. His subjects, they just call him Thor. He's Thor. Ebonics. German. Germinger? Drop it like it's hot. From Germinger to the Rec Crew. Ebonics. German. Germinger? You Thor. This sounds like freaking Dr. Seuss. I'm Milnio just so hot, motherfucker. I'm Milnio just so hot, motherfucker. Time to spin these hits right up to your face. Now that was a banger, yeah. motherfucker. Odin has Timberlands on. Fucking Timberlands. Oh just my god. Dang. It is. Odin's fight. Odin's bald. How the fuck he got a fate? Let it go, man. Let it go. I command you. Shield this lost son of Frasia from your might as your grace flows through Thor. He's Thor. Thor. Ebonics. German. Germinger? Drop it like it's hot. From Germinger to the Rec Crew. Ebonics. German. Germinger? He's Thor. Thor. From Germinger to Golden Burgundy Smith. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my god. god. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to go buy the comic. Oh, 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 oh. you. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> we roast our own more than anyone else will, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, you earned this. <laughs> you earned it. Hi. Oh. Welcome to Friday Night Tights, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary Beekler. By the way, ladies and gentlemen of both genders, uh, my name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from nerdrotic.com and my mom's vagina. And this is Friday Night Tights. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody was kind of low in my volume there. And uh, I really don't want to dick around with introductions too long. So, hello. Uh, hi, Jeremy. How are you doing? Hi, hi Gary. Doing good. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, I'm hoping somebody doesn't join the call when we're in our first topic. Like, oh, uh, well, let's whip our dicks out and see who's got the bigger one. You know, or like, what? I mean, you're going to lose that one too, but okay. Um, but anyway, I'm happy to be here with Az from Heel versus Babyface. That was that was called tossing it to you, as yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> huh? yeah, like that's What's your tossing it problem, to you, man? tossing it to you, yeah. and the you just you called catch. you a tosser. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm uh, about male. Uh, hi, well, hi there. I'm happy to be here with uh, Comics Division. Oh, see. Well, hello. Hey. I'm yeah. happy to be here with Ryan. Fuck. <laughs> I, wait, what are we doing right now? I'm happy to be here with Shad. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm happy to be here with proper veggie oh, mice. No! So, oh, right here, baby. Oh. Now, now, now. Gary. Got tomatoes on that? Doing? Yes, he does. Exactly. Okay, first first thing. Why butter shit on it? melted. Melted, right? And then That looks like a Rorschach spread. test on a t on <laughs> toast. <laughs> Evenly spread, and then if you want to, if you go look close enough at that piece of toast, gourmet. it says Kathleen Kennedy's fired. <laughs> <laughs> Full gourmet tomato with some pepper. Mwah. This, this is ah. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, that's so good. To be clear, you didn't mm. lose a bet. You're just doing this mm. just because yeah, to right? enjoy it. This is just delicious. This is so, this is, this is, this is so why good. we made Australia mm. a prison colony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at this. Yeah. Look at this. That's how. That is that is how you do it, and it is delicious. This oh, is this is why I've joined the Emu Liberation Front, and uh, <laughs> we will take like you Gary, all down. Chad. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Gary, Gary, when you say that, you're just saying I like this is the subtext. I like to take it up the ass by emus. That's what. That's <laughs> what somebody said. somebody okay. clipped that. At, he said it. Okay. He yeah. said it. I that was that. Gary. I was let's, translating. Let's, let's oh, that's going to get clipped. I didn't hear that part. Let's keep that clip. Damn it. The ah, is a it again. See why I hate yes. emus? Yes. They always, they always get they always up fuck you in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Legion of, Legion of <laughs> Mimers, I need you. <laughs> America needs you. The emus need you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go. Chuck's so happy to be here. Isn't he? He's like, what the hell are these morons talking about? I ask that question all the time, Chuck. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Gary tried to have a respectable wrong? introduction, and it still ended up going down <laughs> yes. straight to hell and back. So, yep. what do you? That's what do you pretty expect? typical. And what do you expect from us? That's right. And uh, well, Gary literally said, cro "Like cross our fingers, hope the show starts," <laughs> and then it didn't start. And then he had to make phone calls, and we're like, what "The fuck are we doing? You guys think all this fucking? You guys think this is organized? It's not." There's nothing. There's no organization here. We don't know what's going on. I heard um, I, I, I had 150th emails. fucking episode, <laughs> and we still can't get this shit figured out. <laughs> hey, I heard uh, I have rules for people to be on the show. Um, yeah, you have rules. So have could rules. could someone please pass those rules to me? Because I am open to ideas. Uh, yes. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> please. So, yeah. Like, we finally read the fine print, and that's why Quarter Black's gone. There was some, some rule in there about him that, uh, yeah, it wasn't allowed. Some, like, drop some drop of blood rule. I don't, I don't know what that was all about, Gary. <laughs> that's in the fine print, too. Read, read it yourself on your own. On your own contract. Massive contract. Uh, X-ray. Hang on. Shit. White people. Good. Wait. <laughs> Say white people and the organization on this show. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like this week is full of comic book people. I got to speak with Lynn Jones, wife of Kelly Jones on Wednesday, and then Chuck today. We might have a special guest pop in. Yeah. Well, um, and then next week I get to see 
Graham on Az's channel. That's like so many comic people. I love it. I love it. So um excited for today and uh let's get going. Yeah, we're sure girl. The number one question that everybody in the chat wants to know how many penises have you built in uh Tears of the Kingdom? Excuse me? Is that really Tears of the Kingdom? Have you built any penises yet? Obviously Did people not. do that? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You're on the internet and you haven't seen all of the big giant cocks that people are building in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> For some reason, wild. big giant cocks are just in Jerry's <laughs> algorithm. Chuck is like... <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I saw I... your tweet, Jeremy, and like when you said Nintendo will never give players the never. freedom again. Oh. Never. <laughs> never gonna get, they're never going to uh, do it. I, I remember seeing that. I didn't watch the whole video. I was just, I skipped it. I was like, I don't need to see this. What if it, it was a spoiler? I guess, oh, uh... it's, a gi it's a giant spoilers. Yeah. Giant well, spoilers. I, you can see the balls. I assume those penises are made out of the wood, just strewn all well, over. Well, penises usually are made Zelda. out of wood, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right here. Here's a, here's a spoiler. Here's a, here's a spoiler right here. Here's a spoiler right oh, there. Oh, so. my God. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with people on the internet? <laughs> hey, Gary, you got to go question. see a doctor if it's burning like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> For those of you what at home. What are you home, eating? What is that, that tip? Oh, my God. I have a robotic uh lower torso and uh robotic <laughs> penis that's shooting flame uh, uh and i i believe your balls spin too <laughs> well i mean if my penis is shooting flame i want my balls to spin okay <laughs> so this, is this a really good time to get it to introducing our our legendary <laughs> guest <laughs> speaking of spinning balls <laughs> It's Chuck Dixon. I'm hey, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. How's it going, Chuck? Oh, God, I feel like Victor Davis Hanson at a frat party. Uh, <laughs> why am I here? What is my function? Uh, uh, we'll make oh, sure man. you fit right in in, in the I, end. I just like the remark, did you see this thing on the Internet? It's like, did you see this fish? But what fit? Well, it's in the Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it it down a lot. It, it does. It, it does. <laughs> Chances, I mean, oh, man. most of us saw it. That's the thing. <laughs> That's yeah. sad we are. Most of you have a problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. We yes. have a lot of problems. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We, we do. Right. Welcome that to Five Night right Tights. <laughs> But you know who else has a lot of problems? Hollywood has a lot of problems. Disney nice has a lot of problems. Way. There you there like that. Go. And we're going to be talking about go. a lot of those Nailed problems. It. But first, lady and gentlemen, I want to raise a glass to the critical drinker and Mahler, who have been streaming 50 straight years. 50 yes, straight years 50 of streaming. Years. To 50 more. To 50, 50 more. They were streaming on the uh, Navy Internet back in 1973. Uh, and uh, congratulations. Uh, really, truly. Hang on. They were on the Internet before Al Gore invented it. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, was fun. it was fun being on with those guys. It was. So. On their 50th anniversary stream. <laughs> <laughs> their 50th anniversary <laughs> Didn't he? Did he initially title it that? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Been like fifty years. He, he, he has the fucking built-in excuse that he was just drunk. Yeah, right. Yeah, he yeah. just <laughs> say that all the time. Yeah, so. right. We're just retarded. Yes, yes. Uh, hail to Will. Uh, we will have uh, another guest popping in probably, and Chrissy Mayer will be making her triumphant return. Nice. She's been in the news a little bit. Uh, kind of busy. Where Eric Bowling even complimented her tits because he was he mistakenly thought that Chrissy Mayer's boobs Twitter account was Chrissy Mayer. Oh. <laughs> that that just shows you how YouTube world has changed like people from YouTube like Chrissy are now get you know getting interviewed and then like we have all these accounts like you know Ryan's uh, on all these Ryan accounts, all these Jeremy accounts, as this wonky eyebrows, like all this <laughs> comics division <laughs> platform shoes. And like when we start getting interviewed, then you have all these accounts commenting, they think it's probably us. They're like, oh, there's as <laughs> it's great, man. 
Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna find that tweet because that was I so got, funny. He got it. He got I, it. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> we start showing up on Newsmax. Newsmax beats CNN and ratings. Coincidence? No coincidence. P.S. You were great last night. <laughs> Chrissy Mayer's boobs. <laughs> I'm sure her boobs were great that night. They, they, they probably, probably were. were. He probably had lions. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That is so damn funny. Oh, uh, it, it almost feels like the world's healing a little bit just because of stuff like that. It really does. <laughs> well, when the Galactic Star Cruiser closes down after a year and a half, it, that's the beginning of the healing right there. So that not was even a year and a half. It's crazy. Well, it well when it closes, it will. Oh, it will be a year and a half. Months. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 Oh, Aww. you want to pull that article up? Exodus Goo. Just yeah, I mean, to show you how much money they must be losing on that thing because they'd only close it down Aww. if they were making considerably but less than the, not just the cost to make. But the cost to just keep it running, yeah, yeah. the overheads yeah. of the staff and the food and the cleaning. <laughs> I can't imagine. Is he not lying down because there's no fucking room to. <laughs> <laughs> can't imagine why this would fail, guys. I mean, it's just an absolute shocker. Uh, you have to sleep. It, to, to me, like this entire project was went along with the arrogance of Disney getting the Star Wars brand. And the arrogance that they thought that they could just shit out a sequel trilogy without focusing on the, or, you know, OT characters and, you know, just like, oh, it's Star Wars. People will eat it up. People will just eat it up. We can do whatever we want with it. No, you, you still have to do things the right way. And well, that's just it. To, to Disney, it's not Star Wars. It's franchise. Yes. We yeah. bought franchise. We're going to open hotel based off franchise. People will come because franchise. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so soulless and, and empty. And even all the marketing surrounding this was just appalling. Mm -hmm. And then you were, you found out that if you, when you, <clears throat> when you got there to get to the hotel, you got put in the back of a fucking rape van and <laughs> driven and driven down the motorway. <laughs> and you were hoping that you weren't going to get kicked out during the, fucking, you know, <laughs> Hey, get in this white van, no windows, nothing. Uh, and then why is there then nitrous put, oxide in here? You're putting this little I room. I totally see that van getting pulled over and border security just checking. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> you're putting There's 11 dead immigrants in here. <laughs> oh, too soon. Uh, no, then you're put in this like little kitty room, right? And you've got the little kitty bunk bed. Like, how can any, how can an adult human sleep in that? Well, there's there's an actual bed next to that. There, okay. Uh, so these oh, okay. specific rooms have like one big king bed in the middle, and then like two bunk beds. These are probably designed for a family with two kids. You so know it's about I mean? as it's big as a motorhome, basically. Uh, I I think that's the wrong question you're asking, Gary. Uh, the question not is, the first time. I've asked the question, question is how 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 would this uh, wonderful couple uh fit in there <laughs> um, that would be the question right there I, wow. I can't i can't imagine why the galactic star cruiser failed i'm sure it's just a coincidence that that this was the the winning couple right here lovely lovely couple lovely couple. it's the death star um, dating alderaan yeah <laughs> i'm gonna blow you up tonight <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty blown up to me already. Uh, God. And then, of course, this tweet, and this is a screenshot of the tweet, but they hit a lot of the replies. And I'm just going to say, Aww. if you want to go search that out, <laughs> a lot of Java some, memes in there. Some the really, internet is still undefeated. It's, Let's just it's, a really, it's a really good replies. There's some really good replies to that. This whole effort would seem to fail because of the customer base. Right. I mean, you might have people mm. that are, their kids like Star Wars and they're going to go stay here, but then you're going to run into this core of freaks who are staying there mm. and it's going to yes. spoil your whole experience. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, so the Walt Disney World is it's a massive, massive property and they have about 20, I think they have like 20 or 30 resort hotels and they're all themed differently for whatever respective thing they're trying to, to accomplish. And a lot of them are fantastic. Um this was a whole different ball game here where this is this whole thing where uh, everything's controlled. It's the adult dress up. Basically they have all this right. theming, they have schedules 
it, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of a vacation. It's like you're scheduled to do everything and go everywhere. Uh, the point of a vacation is to go enjoy yourself and be relaxed. Yeah, yeah. it sounds more like a schedule. job than an actual yes. vacation. Yes. I mean, well, and, was this like one of those mystery weekend things? Yes. I mean, where you're part of a story? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except you're locked in. But I heard the story wasn't that <laughs> great. Though. They, they just have scheduled activities. And yeah. one was like, what, what, a, like a hoedown dance? thing where they like the activity is really lame from what they show yeah and, and it costs you are locked you are locked in there for basically fucking 48 hours you yeah. get to go on a trip to the boring ass galact or sorry galaxy's edge where you can just buy more star wars stuff and spend more money but for the amount of money you're talking about spending to go there to have to do this thing to be locked in there for that amount of time it's just it's not feasible. There's not that big of an audience for it, especially when you focus it around the sequel trilogy. It, there would have been a bigger audience for it if you focused around the prequels or if you focused around the OT, something like that, something that real Star Wars fans could enjoy. People who've been there putting their money into something for years and years, people who want their children to experience that same thing. But when you make all of these bad decisions all in a row, you have this, a hundreds, hundreds of millions of dollars disaster. Yep, yeah. I mean, it's just the idea of going like the idea of going to a theme park and then having to stay locked into a, the, a resort for 48 hours like this is not attractive at all. Yeah, with, with uh, this customer base. Let's yes, remember exactly, with, exactly. With the Disney you know, it only takes a couple of dozen of diehard Star Wars freaks to ruin anything. So true. You know, <laughs> they couldn't afford to come to this place to be a freak because it's six thousand dollars a night. They need to well, get the free trips because they they're got, fat yeah. lesbians. Yeah, yeah. They, get, <laughs> they just get charity. I certainly think what's left of their fan base would not be a group I would want to hang with. I'll just say that. Let's just <laughs> yeah. no, Bro, no. Do, you th do you think they gave that fat lesbian couple one of those like Jabba hover sleds to get around? <laughs> <laughs> no, that costs extra. What, what do you think they're going to do with the infrastructure? Are they going to just repurpose it into yeah, a themed have. hotel without all the, the would, crap that they can try that and would deal be, with? That, that would be the best. That would be the best idea. But even still, it'll it's fail. Small. It, yeah. it'll, it's too small. It'll fail. Well, they, they can build onto it, but like it'll still fail because they're not going to theme it properly. They're going to theme it to everything but George Lucas's Star Wars. Yeah. And, oh, you know, so it's all it, be sequel even, crap, probably. Yeah. Even if they did that, it, it still wouldn't work because they fundamentally misunderstand Star Wars and every aspect of it. Um, I think they'll I turn it into an administration building so they can deal with the compliance of all the Florida state laws they're going to have to follow now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, junkyard good. Doodle, happy birthday, by the way. I just saw that it's his 27th birthday. Nice. He gave, me, he gave me the ass blaster hot sauce at the meetup. I'll show it in a little bit. It, it comes in an outhouse. It's freaking awesome. It's, <laughs> it's the best packaging I've ever seen, but sorry. Awesome. We've got a, by the, oh, Gary, we've got a, an image the first image of the new Daisy Ridley uh, Star Wars film. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Shit Clown Wars. There we go. Oh, God. I thought you were gonna. Clown I thought you were gonna pull up. I don't up know the... which one's Daisy Ridley, but uh... I thought you were gonna pull. It all up... looks like shit to me. I, I love that horrible signature on the right there, just to make sure you know you you know whose name this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cloud. Yeah. Um, we so... know. I thought you were going to pull up the, the spirit Halloween store meme that's going around with galaxies. <laughs> yeah. that Galactic good. Star, star yeah. Cruiser. That's that's good. Um, it, uh, so could you pull that article back up, X-Ray Girl? Um, it was $6,000 a night, not $5,000 a night, I seem to right. recall. Uh, I mean, what's Drunk 3PO going to talk about now, though? I'm a little worried about Jay. Is he yeah. okay? Yeah. He'll he'll be okay. He'll, he'll be figure o it out. He'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. He'll just make uh he'll just laugh at uh Eric July uh videos and uh, get a hundred thousand views because that's what he did last. <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> yes. Yes. He can the last, the last hater stream uh Eric did. There was that clip of, of Ripper responding to that clown and oh yeah, Jay did a the look on his face is Ripper's so reaction, good. And Jay got like a hundred thousand views. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe one day he'll get a hundred thousand views off his own content. You know? Yeah, well, no, that's <laughs> never gonna happen. Now, come on. Ninety-five uh, percent of his subs of his Jay, I love you. Um, one of Disney's most high-profile failures in recent memory is now confirmed. <laughs> 
I mean, this <laughs> week's epic failure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, th- yeah, this is a like new, what, what, what all the kids say, nuked from o- orbit, epic orbit failure. Orbit in 4K. Yeah. Uh, caught in 4K, caught in 8K, like everything you want to put in your fucking video title, go right ahead. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, totally off subject. It's a Gundam had the best fucking video title today. Uh, Miller Lite girl bossed too close to the sun. Oh, uh, yeah, that was oh, a good video. <laughs> Gundam. You are a genius. Uh, that is a great title. Uh, after I would just like to announce, sorry, just like to announce Last Bite. And Ugh. man, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed this delicious, you know, Vegemite tomato. Last Bite, yeah. right here. There's something you're really, a, you're a sick, fuck. Uh, yeah, you really I like are. you know, I, that? Really I like Australia. You are an <laughs> ill man, you are an <laughs> ill man. Yeah. I like Australians. I, I really do. I think they're really, really cool people, except for Lethal Lightning. Fuck him. But, um, a <laughs> uh, little contrarian breed, freaking simp. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that's that, there's something wrong with you people. There's something like really wrong with you. Okay. I'll get you some pineapple pizza, it'll make everything okay. Oh, look, 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 Gary, no, 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 no. Gary. When you're a slave colony, okay, you, your your palate tends to just adapt to enjoy what's available. Right? <laughs> whatever you can, whatever sustenance you have. Hey, uh, yeah. as we we will continue reading, keep the article up, but we do have somebody in the back. X-ray girl. <laughs> That's what X-ray girl said. <laughs> it's Graham Nolan. <laughs> Graham <laughs> Nolan. Yeah. Welcome back, Graham. Hello, everybody. Trump needed some moral support. Yeah, so. yeah I, took, I took that Zoom call for you, buddy. I took a bullet. <laughs> hey, I just want to say, Chuck Dixon, big fan of your work. <laughs> you guys should team up sometime. You be should. Great. Be I look forward to work working together. with Graham someday. Yeah. Yeah. Someday we'll work together. Get you two kids together. You might go places. You know, eventually. <laughs> eventually. Once you start putting a little more representation in your books, for sure. Mm. Um, one of Disney. Uh, hi, Graham. We're uh, we're just laughing at Disney, just to bring oh, you up to speed. Great. We're going to be doing a lot hobbies. of that. Uh, it's yeah. <laughs> actually it's one of my it has been such a good week i i can, can i tell you how great my week has been it's been fucking awesome uh one of disney's most high profile failures in the recent uh in recent memory is now confirmed i just wanted to say it again because it made me happy it sounds so good it does <laughs> uh, after barely a year in existence the star wars themed <clears throat> galactic star cruiser is closing permanently oh no oh no Please don't go. go I know. It's the, too soon. The Never only mind. disappointment is like, I wish Ryan and Jay would have fucking gone. I wish you would have got off your asses and gone. Oh, fuck, not paying for that shit. Shit. No, I ain't giving those <laughs> fucks six thousand hey, dollars or whatever. Listen, fuck listen. I, we had someone offer it to pay for G and G to go, and I'm like, I ain't fucking spending six thousand. I don't. I ain't spending six thousand dollars. You well, could have wiped your dick on the sheets. <laughs> yeah, dude. <Hell. laughs> Uh, well, I'm guessing you might be able to get in a little cheaper before it closes. So <laughs> you still got time. You still got time. <laughs> the Galactic Star Cruiser opened in March of 2022 oh. as an immersive experience never before oh. offered in a Disney park. Oh, yeah, because we've never seen dinner fucking theater and uh Bat- oh my god that- yeah but you've never been locked in for 48 hours <laughs> this is true <laughs> disney the al-qaeda experience <laughs> you get to eat green cereal and weirdly colored other crap yum oh, i know the food looked awful oh god it was almost as bad as the dinner theater uh but thank god we had a twilix singer who was willing to ri- uh fight for twilix rights I mean, like, without that, oh, I wouldn't have broken a monitor uh, when I read that the first time. I uh, that's that's some nerdrotic lore there. Uh, bookings were required the last two nights to accommodate. Uh, oh no, bookings were required to last two nights to uh, accommodate the narrative arc being played out by Star Wars characters. On the pseudo cruise ship, a standard voyage cost about $4,800 for a two person cabin. In the lowest price tier for families of four, it was even more. That's but, ridiculous. Uh, uh, but from, oh, yeah, I know. Th- they're like going off of. That's one night? 
That's one night. No, it's two yeah. nights. Oh, is it two nights? Two, okay. night, two night. You have forty-eight yeah. hours stay for the whole. You you have to commit to the forty-eight hours. Well, it's probably not a full forty hours. More like thirty-six. So yeah. let's. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's forty-eight hours. Yeah. Uh, well, you check in around noon, uh, on one day. You <laughs> stay one night, then a whole day, and then you check out around noon the following. So it's forty-eight hours. Oh, all right. So all let's right. get into the, like the mindset of a Disney marketer. Hundred bucks an hour. Right. <laughs> hey, hey make, make it an hourly hotel. Now we're talking. Hold <laughs> that. <laughs> you can get go get some alien whores in you there. Can, yeah, <laughs> like, straight up. Dick. No, you want to make some money? Well, maybe actually it's Disney. So you uh, never know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Want to put an age limit? Where are my kids? Oh, we kidnapped them. Yeah. Fucking hell, man! Come on. Well, put yourself in the mindset of a 2019 Disney marketer. I mean, give yourself a lobotomy and eat some Vegemite, but uh, you can, we can try to do it. <laughs> hey, 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 Gary, We can Gary, try to on, do it. Come on. So come on. That's just too far. It was Kathleen Kennedy's decision to, to make Galaxy's Edge, like, not Star Wars, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. Who... Whose idea, like, who spearheaded this, Ryan? Who was the, the was it Bob uh, Chapik? Was it Iger? Was it Kennedy? Was it a story group? I suppose it depends which little rumor you listen to. Obviously, the story group people were involved in creating this thing. People like Matt Martin were involved, like, when they decided to make parts of it. But whose decision was it to focus it like this? Whose decision was it to make it this, like, boutique experience? <clears throat> I can't tell you that. I think Bob Chapek probably was involved with some of it. You know, Kathleen Kennedy was involved in some of it. Uh, you have, there was a former like VP of the parks or something that spoke out specifically regarding galaxy's edge. Not so much this hotel specifically about them wanting to do it in the sequel era. I don't know if you remember that. I do. I, I do. That. I remember. I, I think there's a lot of blame to go around for this, to be honest with you. I don't think that this isn't squarely on Kathleen Kennedy. I don't think Kathleen Kennedy was the one who was deciding price points and deciding like, oh, well, we're going to do this, this, and this. But, uh, well, she, I mean, she was I, probably behind it being in the sequel era. Yeah. I, I definitely think that this, this begins and ends with Kathleen Kennedy. Obviously, there's a lot of details in there, but look, you have, I've talked about this many times at Animal Kingdom at Disney World, you have Pandora, the land of Avatar. And it's phenomenal. It's amazing. And that's, that's spoken to someone that didn't care about the first Avatar movie at all. I went to Pandora and I was blown away by the theming and the immersion and everything. The experience is awesome. Guess who helped out there? Guess who had hands-on experience in helping develop that entire land? I'll give you a name. His name was James Cameron. You know, the guy that created wow. Avatar. And it's phenomenal. Working with the Disney Imagineers, they've done great things across that theme parks all over the world. And so Galaxy's Edge um, and to the you know, Galactic Star, Star Cruiser, it's much in line with what we've seen from Lucasfilm's narrative to move away from George Lucas's Star Wars. It, it's a it's a wide it's a company wide decision to not do things that make total sense. When you go to a Star Wars theme park, what do you want to see? You want to see Darth tits. Vader. You want to see Luke Skywalker. Oh. And you want to see tits. And um, <laughs> uh, for me, I prefer the female tits. But hey, as you got your own thing going, and that's fine. Well, but, that's because uh, you're judgmental. <laughs> fuck, that's why. Um, but, you know, so so everything about the, the theme park side of things re reflects what Lucasfilm has been doing on screen. And that's to move away from George's Star Wars, which is a fundamental mistake in every way, shape, or form. But obviously, yes, what to Ryan's point, though, there's a lot of... It's a lot of layers to the theme park side of things. Um, but I'm like, who, I'm th whose idea was it specifically to make to make something that, again, you're locked into these 15 minute time increments. You have to be here, have to be here, not sitting around relaxing or anything like that and make it a six thousand dollar cost for like a family of four to go to. Do you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah whose absolutely. decisions were those? Like, and, that's, and those are going to be park level decisions, not Kathleen Kennedy. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. that's something I think it's a failure on all sides here when you look at something like this. Yes, certainly there's going to be more people willing to show that out if it was actual Star Wars that we love. But at the same time, that type, clearly they overestimated the amount of customer base that they'd have and the repeat customers. They priced <laughs> so many people out of this thing. Yeah. So maybe what maybe what they base. do with it, maybe they try to, you know, they still try to utilize it and turn it into something else that's not a fucking 48 hour thing. That's more like a, a, an hour or two hour experience that people can pay for. It, you know, something like that to make it make more sense, get more bodies in there, get more traffic through there. 
as opposed to being what it was. Dude, this is going to be the kind of thing, like, whoever made this fucking decision should not, should not be allowed to decide to go to the bathroom. Like, they should just be, re- <laughs> like, any decision should be removed from their lives. <laughs> any free will, honor. because you've used it all up. This is going to, like, shit, they're going to write books about this. This is like the long, long darts of fucking, <laughs> of fucking amusement parks. It's like just the, such a shitty idea that I'm guess. well, you know what? A lot of us were going, you know, this is not going to work. Uh, uh, for a long time, and guess what? It didn't fucking work, and uh, that's just happening a lot around these parts. Don't want to toot our own horn a little bit, but, you know, if you guys want to just use the razor fist, fuck you, I was right, like, uh, use it freely. It's fine. Like, th- who didn't think this would fucking fail? What a, what a terrible fucking idea that they went through and spent millions, how many, hundreds of millions, Ryan? Hundreds of millions? Bi- potentially it's billions. A billion, wasn't it? Potentially Shit. a billion for this mm. thing. So the the... The Galaxy's Edge was like $2 billion projects, right? This one, I don't think we have an exact price point, just people kind of putting numbers out there that may or may not be confirmed. By the way, it's a massive financial failure for them to spend that much money, to spend that much time on this space. And after only a little over a year, say, all right, we're shutting it down after 18 months. Sorry, failure. And and they, they, they pulled people from different parts of the park to come and do these things. And they've already laid off half of the staff there because they cut all the voyages short. So it's it's a mess. It, it's a this is a big embarrassment. This is egg on the face of Disney, Lucasfilm, Star Wars, everybody. They're, they're couldn't happen to a nicer company. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's typical and, of their corporate culture where they think, well, we're Walt Disney. We've got all the answers. And they put yes. a bunch of people who are you know have no experience in the area they're going into, and they think that they've simply got the golden touch because it's Disney. Yep. And they fail over and over and over again, and they have no, no their, their, their learning curve is a flat line. They don't, they don't pick up any knowledge from these failures. Ch- Ch- Chuck has worked in the comic book industry for decades. He's seen his share of really fucking bad ideas. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, and, had, and survived them that weren't, you know, weren't no fault of your own Chuck, but, uh, yes. Yeah, that's 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 uh, that's kind of the culture in Hollywood. Once you get a little fucking name badge that says Disney or Technicolor or fucking Warner Brothers, all of a sudden people think it like raises their IQ and makes them talented. Uh, no, you got a fucking job, you know. Now you got to do your job and and to didn't. put it in a more perspective here, this isn't just like a project that I don't know they decided let's throw it in the middle of Nebraska, you know, and see if people will come to it. They put this at the most visited theme park in the world, the Mm. most visited property in the world, the biggest single site employer in the world, Walt Disney World. They put it where there was more built in traffic than anywhere with a property that should be just pulling people in like crazy if you're taking care of it. And it still failed. It Jer- still Sorry, failed Jer- Jeremy, miserably. This would have made more Is money it- if they just made a cantina bar. If they just yes. made a fucking yes. cantina bar and yeah. served <laughs> drinks, it would yes. making money hand over fist. People would be you. you uh, it would it would hit capacity every fucking day. That's all they needed I, to I do. Just, I heard yeah. someone, all fucking day long. That's all you need to do. I heard someone. Every night. I, I was I was mm-hmm. listening to uh, I think Echo Base Network stream last night and. I forget who it was, but somebody said, what if they had just, what if they had just made this the Death Star, yeah. like the inside of the Death Star, and maybe not sleep in it or anything. You just go in there and walk around. You laser tag things. in there or some like, shit. Yeah, laser, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. And, and like you go, you see a couple stormtroopers sitting in a hangar bay or whatever. You see Vader, like, and it's just, you walk through it, right? Like what, how much better would that have been? And how much cooler would that have been for a lot of people rather than what they have? Let, let me show Do you. Think you think that's what they could turn that into? Like, where is this located? Is it located near a park that they could turn it into? Yes, it's right by. It's right by Hollywood Galaxy's Stu- Edge, Ho- Hollywood yeah. Studios well, theme park. Well, there we go. Yeah, just, they'll, if they turn it into an attraction, they might actually be able to make money from well, this thing. I mean, even Star Trek Experience, which was fucking awesome, by the way, lasted for a long time until J.J. Abrams well, came in. Fucking well, let off. me show you. This is Ugh. what they. So, so this is what they took from from all of us right here. This is this is what could have been, uh, a Lucas World theme park. That's what they could have done with Star. That would have been brilliant. The Death Star in the middle. You know, Geonosis, Hoth. You know, Endor, Dagobah. Like N- hey, Naboo, wait, the, right? Wait, here. hold on. <clears throat> Those are things that people care about, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stop it, <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. You know, like, uh, that about, would have uh, been wicked. It would have been, been fucking awesome. It would have been, it'd it'd been awesome. Made so much money off of this. 
This would have been Holy the coolest crap. thing ever. Man, it really does show you how dumb Disney is. Yes. This would have made so much money. It's ridiculous. Dude, this they would have they been the coolest fucking thing absolutely. ever. Absolutely. With the Death Star in the middle, that's fucking brilliant. Yeah. It's so um, good. But like they had a Marvel land pl- uh planned uh back in 2010, 11 that they ne- I don't know why they never went through with it, but they had a whole section like it was it had fucking the Baxter building and all this other shit. Probably had something to do with Universal, <laughs> that's my guess. I don't know, but they had a whole thing like I saw it. Uh, yeah. I, I did some shooting there, and, and I look saw at it. all these classic <laughs> locations: <laughs> Naboo know, and Camino so cool. and Off it's and so Tatooine, awesome. and then Endor. Like that would be freaking. And great. They have the template. Like this is the template of like the Magic Kingdom layout. You know, yeah. It, it, yeah. If, if this looks like the Matterhorn right here, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. this is obviously it looks like Epcot right here. This. this mm-hmm. This this is you had the template. You could have done this, and people would have been at capacity every single day for a Lucas World theme park. You have the land at Disney World. You could have done it. Uh, I, but anyway, this is. This I got is a what question, Jeremy. Right. What? Where's Ray? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I was gonna say. You know what I love? I don't see anything from the sequel trilogy. Yes, I was yes. Like, yes, yes. That's yes. how to do it. Oh man! Wow. Talk about massively shitting the bed, right? Yep, yep. That's what they took from us. Speaking of that, so. uh, but from the start, the Neil, did you guys ever see the Neil Adams um, outline for uh, a World of Metropolis or uh, is it the World of Metropolis or Krypton? It was a theme park design that he had done that would have been all Superman. Oh, oh pretty, my god, that would have been. Do you amazing. remember that Chuck? It was in the that the giant size DC Superman book. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Oh my god, I have that. Uh, see if yeah. you can find that image, X-ray girl, and I'll read this. Uh, yeah, I'd spend all my money there. I would. Yeah, uh, that would be cool. But from the start, it was not a sellout, guys. It wasn't a sound. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> drunk for Did a good job of covering all this. These Dude, numbers he, were bad. He was on top of it. He, yes, was, he was he was going over the bookings, which you could yeah. see. You could see if things were booked out, and they just weren't. It was bad. Uh, well, they remember because they were <laughs> they were bragging because they were fully booked for the first couple months out when they first announced yeah, it. Yeah, and then they ran the first. No one knew what it looked like. You just they told ran that it was a Star Wars experience, right? And then they put out the trailer. It got ratioed. That got ratioed to hell that they deleted out of embarrassment featuring the singing <laughs> Twi'lek and that little short Sean Jabroni, whatever the fuck that guy's name was. He, he, looks, like a, he looks like a brony. It, yeah, and like <laughs> it got destroyed. And after that came out, people canceled. Like, yeah. they're like, I'm not fucking going to this like, thing. What? So all yeah. of a sudden, bookings started opening up. They started opening up. Then they, a couple more people would buy in. Then they put out another advertisement. Boom, boom, boom. Things would drop. It was sad. Yeah. And, oh, hey, wrong. to all the fucking people out there, all the fake fans, all the TikTok influencers that just love Star Wars so much, all the Instagram people out there that Disney paid, paid for to come out there, all expenses paid, all this shit to do the Star Cruise to try to promote it. Go fuck yourselves, one, for trying to trick people into spending five grand on this bullshit. But also, this might be a testament to Disney that maybe you should just get actual fans on board with these things yeah. instead of hiring, basically, these fake fan Oy. influencers that no one takes seriously. There it is. Damn. <gasps> You're right, Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. That would be awesome. I'd go to that. Hell yeah. Listen, <laughs> I, got, I got an idea how you can save this uh, hotel, though, right? Oh you, you get in contact with John Campier, yeah, <laughs> and and he he heads up a tour where you go hunting for Toby Maguire's dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, do they demolish the building while he's in it? Uh, dude, I've never seen this. This is amazing. Look at that, Holy Ryan. Shit. Why is Campier so scared of you? I hunted, Rob. I hunted for Toby Maguire's dick. That's that I, that just froze all up. I, yeah, I don't know, man. It did freeze up for me. It was good. It was fine for okay, me. Yeah, it was um, fine. froze up for me. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why is like my his my name is in his mouth because he won't say my name, but he's constantly talking about me in his videos. So. He wants something else. Weird, in his mouth. man. Just he's ask him out on a date, John. <laughs> just I mean, I'll say I'll out. say no, but... John. You can't date oh, look, my son. You gotta no. try though, Ryan. You gotta try. No. Hey, I was very proud to be on a live stream sponsored by John Campia the other night. So, 
Just That's one. true. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I don't know. I, I, was, I was laughing my ass off when that came up, dude. And I'm like covering my face because like our guest is like the WGA negotiator, or whatever. I'm sitting there pissing myself before Robert's screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the deleted video is still on YouTube, been re-uploaded. I don't know if we want to watch it, but what's that? Uh, the 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 Star Cruiser uh, trailer that Disney deleted. Uh, yeah, from the, like world, let's watch uh, that. We'll go back to the article real quick. I'll just finish up that paragraph. So this is a, you're so all paying the, attention in the chat, right? You saw that I started the first sentence, and 30 minutes later, I'll finish it. Right? <laughs> you got it, Pin. I trust you. We don't have to read this whole thing. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Gate. I just want to fucking well, f- <laughs> SF Gate. You know what? I unfortunately went to that like every morning because uh, I live there. Um, well, I SF Gate has some dog shit on it, but it also has they've hated the Star Cruiser from the beginning. They have, they so, so they have shit on it. No, constantly. they San Francisco fucking hates Disney. Okay, like they fucking hate Disney. Uh, the, Disney wanted to put something there. I can't remember what or was thinking about. Put I was thinking about buying the per- no. It's when Lucasfilm got the Presidio, and then Disney bought Lucasfilm. They lost their shit. They lost their fuck. They're like, oh my god, Disneyland's gonna start putting park shit over there and uh, <laughs> fucking. Uh, it's like, no, no, p- just people are gonna put real shit over there. And now your sister. Now they made up a term for your city, San Francisco. It's called Doom Loop. They made that <laughs> fucking term up for you. Oh, oh, I was All reading right, it. I do, I, I do have the trailer if you want. Don't get me it. started. Let me finish this. The cancellation okay. of the ambitious project. I just my OCD makes me want to finish it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the cancellation of the ambitious project I wonder altogether. if your OCD could ever have you start the show on time. That'd be amazing. Hey! <laughs> I, des- oh, I, des- I deserve that. I deserve that. I, I do. I'll take, I take responsibility. Okay. <laughs> it's actually Garrett's fault, but whatever. Uh, the cancellation of the ambitious project altogether, however, came as something of a surprise in March. Did it really... It, if it came as a surprise to anybody at Disney, well, then it would just confirm you're all retarded, and then we're still yeah. right. Um, a <laughs> Disney spokesperson confirmed to SF Gate that bookings were being cut back in response to low demand. So you weren't booking because people weren't booking. So your booking's mm. lower because there was low demand, meaning people weren't booking the fucking rooms. Uh, Which okay. is funny considering they're talking about how like popular this was and how well rated it is. You think that people would line up for it, but obviously not. But the book yeah, so they mm. they change right. They they change their schedule. They basically cut the trips in half, fifty percent. Um, and like that's what they're talking about back in March, and now it's just done. You know, Disney's like um uh, at. Uh, the, whichever part in their company is uh, for uh, sending out information to the public, they're starting to sound like the Japanese during World War II, where <laughs> nothing bad has happened, everything's great, yep. great victory, it's great, it's doing really well. Trust us. So you mean it's, it's propaganda? Like, it's, it's just pure propaganda at this point. Because... By the way, if you live in Hiroshima, you might want to move. Yep. <laughs> We're just doing some civil Move work. Move to Nagasaki. It's safe there. We're just doing. We're doing some <laughs> general maintenance in Hiroshima right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too soon? Sorry. Maybe. No. Um, no. Uh, but the Are booking calendar me? did have availability through the end of 2023. Okay, now we can get rid of this stupid fucking article. Well, it's not the end though. There was more. Is is there? Well, is there good? Well, why'd you tell me to stop reading it? Is there good stuff? Because in I didn't it? want to read the rest of it. Okay. <laughs> What's the good uh, stuff? Highlight it, Ryan. <laughs> they, there's no good. Just fluff. It's just bullshit. Oh, so it's all like. Yeah, so they do they spend the rest of the article like recapping the origin of the Galactic Star Cruiser to fill the fucking word count? That's usually what Pretty happens. Much. Yeah. All right. So Remember here that is that you had up. If I didn't know we were talking about Star Wars, I would think it was like some bad next generation shit. Uh yes. because oh, that's here how he goes. the design elements look. They're soft and rounded. There's no <laughs> hard edges, goes. there's no dirt. Uh, the colors are, are drab. It, it doesn't look like Star Wars. Uh, Graham, big ge- next generation fan, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm very sorry. I, no, you're not. I, I, no, <laughs> normally I wouldn't do this, but our chief diversity, inclusion, and representation officer, Ryan Kennel, who's very respected in his field, said I have to give a trigger warning before playing this. Um, understanding that. 
you're not going to be able to go see this amazing experience anymore. But I'm going to show you this trailer. Well, you might cringe not- so much, you might not be able to take a shit for a couple of days. That's what, basically <laughs> yeah. what we're saying. So, so just uh, understand that you're about to witness a wonderful trailer uh, that Disney deleted as soon as your voices let them know <laughs> that it was a dog shit trailer. So remember, your voices matter in the chat, as uh, Also, always. trigger well, warning for Comics Division specifically, the man in the video is very short and it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck you too, Ryan. <laughs> hey, you, hey, here we go. Comics right Division here. will feel seen. At least we'll get that. <laughs> I, I feel so represented. <laughs> here we go. I really oh, need this. Wow. Hello there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ow. Okay. Stop. I can't even is, that, is, that, is that Luke <laughs> Cockwalker? <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, bro. Oh god! I mean, is this a, is this guy a legitimate actor? Up. Because yeah, he is. He's on the so Goldbergs. Fake. Yeah, it's yeah. so fake. He can't like. Like, how do you get work? <laughs> You're that bad at this. Oh my gosh! Here we go. We this need a guy. Play. We need a guy who's smaller than a woman, so she can look <laughs> down on it. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, Something oh, is that's hey, that's hey, actually probably true. Hey, 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 and moral. Hey, and moral. created. We cannot wait to have you aboard because Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is a first out of business. Concept art. Living out your very own Star Wars story. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> really though. Uh, he's he's a real it. method after this one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, this is how he acts in the TV show. It's pretty awful. Wow. Oh, really? Well, they really uh, like. This makes me feel like I could be an actor. I, I, it's giving me hope. Hollywood. Oh, yeah, well, Hollywood really likes around. really short guys that uh, are childlike, just <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, here we go. I'm so excited. We, we got to go and punch it. <laughs> So we've really focused on making sure we have some of the best entertainment. Look how short he is. <laughs> Jesus. He barely comes Ooh, over his shoulder. Me, boy. <laughs> hey, Graham, you're right. Nothing about this looks Star Wars. No. <laughs> it, it, it is next generation like shit. It, 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 it looks like generic sci-fi prison yes. hospital or something. Yes, prison. Yeah, the prison is the right answer, yes. It yeah. looks like they got a deal at Home Depot on vinyl siding. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he looking at the back of her head? I oh, don't you got another head or you got another face on the back of your head? <laughs> the, whole yeah. head the, the hallway looks like a hallway, not a spaceship corridor. Like, yeah. like they, they could have put some more. Look at the... Uh, you could be in a hospital them, right here. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. A high exactly. School. Yeah. And, and the you know, fan lighting in the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You know what yeah. takes, takes you out of it immediately is the exit signs. Yes. <laughs> How are you going to exit a right. spaceship? Right. <laughs> Sadly, you kind of need those. The future's uh, got good health and safety, Graham. Come on. Well, they didn't need them when they built them because they made all the rules at that point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we go. We have some of the best entertainment in the galaxy on board. Not One really, though. Which I'm so is so it freezing up? There it is. Yeah. This pop star who is known throughout the galaxy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that emoting. Look at him. <laughs> oh, wow. he's getting there he goes. He needs a raise. He needs he, a raise. He, he's getting a chub in this. Diversity. What's my motivation? What's my motivation? What's going on? I had a wheelchair. Oh, they did? Yeah, right there. Hey, and he came no away to talk to Luke Cutwalker. <laughs> I thought that was just a sci fi seat. I didn't no, know it was a that's a fucking quadriplegic shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't want to grab the one. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. See the world's No. Oh, it's going to get worse. Why is it freezing up? I don't know if it's... Because it's your Florida internet. It's It's probably your computer, It's just the player doesn't even want to play it. Right? (laughs) (laughs) The internet wants it to stop. (laughs) Oh! This is so Star Wars. You know what? That song is still better. 
than the music from uh, uh, Empire or uh, uh, Return of the Jedi. Uh oh, Th that scene in, in uh, uh, Job of the Huts thing where they go into Ooga Booga Booga Booga. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> special edition. That was a galactic number one, edition. Graham. Come on, man. Yeah, That's the worst. I love how the special edition like improved that it made it fucking terrible oh, god, so oh god well the star wars holiday special now right. has a competition for cringe right <laughs> yeah his uh, expression hey. here is like this is like oh this this is it okay yeah all right yeah. yep yep well so this this is uh this ends at 140 there's more to it but this is the only one i, I saw um but it, it gets worse but yeah this is they deleted this is, it right this, yes, so after they, they put it, it out as promotional material <laughs> yes the on the Star disney Cruiser, parks youtube channel they, they deleted it yes uh, it was Man. getting ratioed it was getting mocked and they were getting people canceling their fucking voyages mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm really I disappointed why. it turns out the highest budget set piece out of the entire trailer was someone's wheelchair. I was actually thinking, hey, they put some effort into the chairs. No. It's, it's, it's... Yeah. They couldn't. They well, don't you, know. If you want to see something that's cringe, you got to watch the Donnie and Marie Star Wars special. I remember. Uh, uh, where where uh, Chris Christopherson oh, wow. plays uh, Han Solo in this dance oh. routine. Oh, my God. Ha uh, Christopherson looks like he'd rather have a root canal. <laughs> hey, which I need to look this up. Wait, 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 that. Graham. So which Graham? Which I've heard which it. one uh, does Red Fox play Obi Wan? There's <laughs> oh, this this is is he in one of them? Well, he's in a special. I I vaguely remember watching oh. it as a kid where Red Fox is Obi Wan Kenobi. One. Yes, yes, it wow. happened. When he said, "Do you I want can't to remember watch what something special. cringe Help with Star Wars?" I thought you meant the sequel trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> No, because uh, well, I remember Marie looked like Princess Leia, though. She like yeah, looked she a did. lot yeah. like Princess and, Leia. And uh, uh, Donnie, you know, he, uh, he he was supposed to be Luke, but the best is just just keep your eyes on Christopherson. You can't. Uh, He's it's, channeling it's like... Harrison Ford's energy. Uh, yeah, Harrison Ford <laughs> never wants to be there either. Yeah, Harrison Ford's I mean, energy while Tom. doing narrations. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's hysterical. I mean, uh, yeah, there was cheesy Star Wars. There was the holiday special, and uh, the Muppet special was cool. But the Muppet uh, special was good. Yeah. yeah. Well, since since uh, since since we're talking about it, might as well play this again. This wonderful moment from Harrison Ford. Uh, oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Uh, yes. <laughs> Are you looking for? God damn it! My computer's just. Are up. you looking forward to watching a Han Solo movie as a fan? Movie. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> As Han's story came to an end in Force Awakens, did you feel? How did you feel about the ending? Did you feel good about the ending? Do you like the way his story ended up? Did it? Did you see that as Han's ending? <laughs> uh. I <laughs> <laughs> Check clear. He's like, I don't. Yeah. He's like, I don't give a crap. I have, I have seen it. I have no idea. I haven't seen it. Didn't he, didn't he want Lucas to kill Han at the end of yeah. um, Jedi? Yeah, Jedi. Yeah. 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 Jedi. yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to yeah. be dead in that one. So well, the thing is, I mean, when the when the movie when the movie, when the movie first came out and they sent the the three leads out to the talk shows. They quickly dropped Harrison Ford from that tour because, <laughs> I mean, he's on talk shows basically. So, you know, it's, it's idiotic. It's stupid. It's, yeah. You know, well, you, yeah, sorry, you, I was in it. You you could tell he was not into Jedi at all. Like his acting was terrible. Oh, Jedi, geez, he, it, he phones it in. Yeah, it's bad. It's really oh, it's bad. horrible, it's horrible. Um, damn. I love how he's asking that question. It's not really. <laughs> All right. I this don't has represented care. literally everybody. By the way, Solo lost money. Yeah. I just want to point that out. Solo did lose money. It did. <laughs> it made them cancel a bunch of solo movies. Uh, they had to redo Boba everything. And then they repurposed them in the D plus series that were uh, awful. That were yeah, quite awful. probably what's much worse than the movies were going to turn out to be. We, we got to do this one too if we're sharing. Uh, oh, yeah. Harrison Ford. <laughs> this is on Collider, by the way. Um, I really want to know who shot first, right? He just changed the scene so that Greedo shot first, sparking the whole Han shot first controversy. While covering the Star Wars The Force Awakens press day, Ugh. he decided to find out where the cast of Episode 7 falls on the issue. Check out what they told him. Did you shoot Greedo first, or did Greedo shoot you first? Um, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a great 
interview. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mark Hamill pretends to care. Smile. He's just so happy. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But this I'll be the man that's had a career away from Star Wars. He doesn't care, man. He doesn't care. Yeah, that, and that, that's the thing. Like, this is a guy who he's been in so many like incredible movies across a variety of different, whether it's sci-fi, action, adventure, drama, thriller stuff. Like, he's been in everything. Like, you name it, and Harrison Ford has done it. So. Yep. When people ask him about, this is probably like the thing they ask him most about, and he, it's probably the thing he wants to forget about, which is yep. sad. I wish Harrison Ford cared more about Star Wars. I really do. Um, yeah. As someone who so many people looked at Han Solo and wanted to be Han Solo, and like that was their hero and their guy. So it's a little bit sad, but it's it's funny to hear well, him speak I, about I've, it. I've talked about it a lot, uh, mm -hmm. but like when I, I was at Star Wars Celebration for the 40th in Orlando, um, and they had George Lucas, Mark Hamill, you know, Anthony Daniels, a lot of the people connected were out there and it was cool. <laughs> I was like five rows from the, the stage when Harrison Ford walked out there complete, like that's a movie star. That's fucking mm. rock star. Like it, it changed. The energy changed. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I mean, you got George Lucas, who's far more important to me than Harrison. I like Harrison Ford, but George Lucas. But when Harrison Ford walked out there, the energy changed. He is a rare you know, movie star. He just is. He changes the the everything about the room he walks in. And uh, that dude, he's he doesn't need Star Wars. Mark Hamill, you know, even though he's a psychopathic human being, um, he's been great for Star Wars. And he's been, you know, because he needs it. He he's not he's not very important outside of that. You know, I know he's great as a Joker, but um, yeah, yeah Harrison Ford just I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the uh, the reaction on the, the latest indie, which got a very sort of mild reaction at Cannes? Yeah. And uh, they oh, were yeah. showing the like the, the mild applause at the end. Oh, we'll <laughs> get into that. And over to Phoebe Waller Bridge, cricket, and then it panned <laughs> over to Harrison Ford, and then he got people going yay, and he was all emotional. But like when it went over to Phoebe Waller Bridge, people just oh, we'll get we'll get into that. Well, in, in, even the oh, very just, exciting <laughs> golf cart chase. Uh, that they have in the oh, latest yeah. movie because who doesn't like a golf cart chase? Uh, <laughs> uh, it, 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 there, there's gunfire and there's yelling and there's lots of noise and she still manages to lecture him mm -hmm. uh, on the fact that she that he stole relics from indigenous peoples. Now I, that that line that was going around, I am not sure if that. I think that's a meme. I think that was somebody memeing though. I fought the Nazis and you also stole from indigenous people because. We saw the scene that that was from, and they didn't say the line, even though that screenshot but was rolling around there. They do mention it, capitalism it, later. The capitalism line yeah. is definitely in there. That's the thing. We've seen enough from this show or from this movie. We've seen enough from the trailers and from who Phoebe Waller Bridge is. Oh, that yeah. That line is believable. Like, yeah, yeah it is believable to us to think that that line is real. I personally Apparently think she it was just calls him a grave robber. I, I personally think it was someone memeing, and because I think they ended up maybe deleting it or something, but. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll see though. I mean, yeah. no, it wouldn't surprise a single fucking person well, if that was uttered in this movie with oh, all the no. stuff they're already doing <clears throat> in indie. We will she go over that James Bond. <laughs> a little later in the show. Uh, but I'd like to bring up a book real quick. Whoop, whoop. There oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, that's Canadian. There we go. Back to the ca Canadian dollars Are look you? good. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, oh, you, that's that's again, you got them all excited. Yeah. Thanks, girl. Uh, so I don't disappoint that often, but up a bit, up a bit. <laughs> Where is it? It's usually at the. It's top. right at the bottom. It's usually the first one. It's right it? at the bottom. It's right at the bottom. I just oh, there, there, changed that. There, there we go. All right, so this uh, started it's right at the bottom, just like your economy. Lost ten thousand bucks in an hour. Damn it! Ah! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so that's what Disney wishes they could say. As you guys, as you guys promised last time you were here, that this book will be out. Uh, it, the The campaign started Wednesday. Uh, yep. Joe Frankenstein Part Two. Yeah, and Part One is shipping right now. Damn. Oh, I can't wait yeah, to I've get my, my copy. shipping notification. Oh, excellent, excellent. I'm, I might have my, mine. I haven't checked my email. So, uh, what do you want to tell us about this? We'll start with Chuck. No, start with Graham. This is his baby. Okay, uh, all right. I'll start with Graham. <laughs> well, this, this is a, a classic comic uh, that uh, they don't make anymore because uh, it, it, it has no, no um, 
uh, ideology put into it. It's it's just straight up fun adventure horror, uh, the same way that the Universal Monsters were, and even the Hammer films to a certain degree. Um, this is uh, you know the story of a boy who doesn't know his true lineage until one night he gets attacked by vampires, and uh, he's saved by uh, the Frankenstein monster who is um, as part of penance for what he had done in the past has been watching over the Frankenstein uh, uh, progeny. And uh, his bride wants their blood because uh, she doesn't have the secret of um, eternal life like, like uh, the monster does. And she needs Joe's blood to unlock it. And uh, so, you know, it, this is, it, it, it's a race against time. It's, it, it's, it's, they're, they're fighting for their lives and their eternal lives too. At the same time, there's zombies, there's mummies, there's all kinds of great action adventure stuff in here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Lovely. That sounds awesome. brilliant. Let's play I've the trailer. Slap. Hell yeah. Let's play the trailer. You know, you know what? I haven't bought anything off this yet. I'm a bad host, so I will do that for oh. the end of the show. I'll oh. do it for the end. Of, well, I was going to wait till you guys were here. Wanted this is a really cool trailer. It's a little jerky. Hey, stop it, X-ray girl. Let, guys using up all the bandwidth. Let me let me play it on my end. Let me play it on my end. Throw me the link. <clears throat> Freaking Asians. Damn I know. Asians. Canadian internet. You know, I've had to <laughs> I've had to deal with. I've, like, Sorry, what the hell's going on? Out. By the way, Swedish internet ru ruins. My slower. Swedish. It's, it's Swed the sign of oppression. I'm just saying. <laughs> Help me. Swedish, Swedish internet fucks up my show on Sunday. Uh, Garrett's quarter black internet goes out fucking last night, <laughs> delaying my video. And now I got like Asian Canadian internet fucking things up. <laughs> get some American shit going on, okay? Jesus. <laughs> America. Yeah. America. Let's get some American internet going. Uh, All right. Uh, Turbocharged uh, that stuff. Gary sitting there with an American flag hat on and a Bucky shirt to an American <laughs> internet. That's the most redneck thing ever, and I love it. That's <laughs> right. And, and Bucky's, baby. <laughs> Bucky's. Bucky's is awesome. The Bucky's Citadel the of Capitalism. Okay, the foundation of the free market. A gas station as big as a fucking Walmart. You're goddamn right. I love <laughs> fucking Bucky's. Uh, link is in the chat if you need. I got it. And I'm just. I'm and they getting... keep the place clean. It's busy as Oh it my is. God. You could almost. I, Ryan it's would crazy. eat off the bathroom floor. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he probably grabs mean? the pizza from there. Hmm. <laughs> It's like when I, lo I love going on road trips, and it's always like if I go through Texas, like we gotta stop, stop at Bucky's. It's the best. All right, let's see if my internet's better. After I talked all that shit, my internet better be yeah, fucking good. Like, Just saying. Here we go. Yeah. Full screen. Yeah. yeah, that's better. Shaft did it. In the annals of horror. For the people at home, there will never be another. This is my favorite part here. Joe yeah. Frankenstein. Nice. Part two. Oh, wow. Buy it now on Indiegogo. Don't be gay. Yeah. Yep. Unless you're gay, and then you can buy it anyway. Awesome. That, uh, these are these are thirty day campaigns. There's no in demand. It, you're, you're in and you're out. Um, so what she you know, said. So I want to encourage anybody. You know, if you're thinking about it, get in because it's it's you know it, it ends after thirty days. You know, unlike other campaigns where it goes in demand for months. You know, because the work is done yeah, yeah. and we ship these out quickly. You know, turn it around quickly. So I want people to have these books and read it before they read Ghosts of Kumba Key because. Uh, it is, you definitely want to read it first. <laughs> there's a preview of all the some pages here, so. Oh yeah, there's first ten pages are there, so you can you can read those. What comics are in the comics? <laughs> <That's laughs> Even X-ray girls giving I, you I shit feel now. Now. <laughs> <In> comics. <laughs> That's so funny. 
That uh, actually like has your beard hair. It too. does. It is comics division. <laughs> 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 no, this is great. This is great. Hey, uh, so, Graham, I was hoping to show you my framed Batman picture that you gave me, and they Ooh. and they framed it upside down. <laughs> no way. <laughs> they oh, did. No. They did. So we had to take it back. Uh, wow. Probably could have still showed you, but I wanted to wait till it was. Uh, but thank you so much. That was super oh, cool. Very, you're super, very. I'm just very letting cool. you know, Gary. That's karma. Uh, whatever, but, Shorty. Never mind. Whatever, you midget. <laughs> whatever. Hey, uh, I just want to point out that that trailer ran great on my Meta PCs code Nerdrotic <laughs> because it's plugged in, and this is the very first Friday Night Tights we're running on the Meta PC. Hell yeah. Very cool. Uh, nice. Look at that. been Look on. At that. It's been turned on for months. Now? <laughs> it's been turned on for months, but I finally got it. How many it. gaming streams have I done since you got that fucking machine? Whatever. At least a thousand. I am such a better gamer than you. <laughs> you know who wasn't sponsored by Matt PC? It's not the amount of time case. you game. It's, uh, I don't know. It'll shift to the UK. It's, 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 it's how poorly you get through the introduction and can't open a door, uh, as just so you know. They've got a fucking branch in the UK. Well, you're in fucking New Zealand, though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, Can't we all get along? No. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not here. <laughs> hey, not uh, here. But uh, we will plug it uh, more, and, and the link is in the description. Please support the Iron Age. Please support two comic book legends who, by all accounts, should probably still be working in Marvel DC because they're smarter and more talented than everybody there. But they got, because they're smarter and more talented, they left and went yes, out on their own. Exactly. Right. <laughs> who, who, wants to work, who wants to work in that sandbox anymore? God. Uh, oh, God. I don't even recognize the characters, you know. Uh, you paid your crap. dues. You paid your dues. You created, like, classic comic book runs that will be read for years. You did You did good, guys. Thank we you very much. We did the heavy much. lifting. Now yeah. we're, we're going off on our own, doing cool shit that we like. Yep. You yep. ran. We don't need permission to create anymore. That's mm. right. That's a good thing. Yep. No more pitch meetings. Yeah. <laughs> and you know the irony is, is that uh, once I, since I started Compass Comics, the first three crowdfunded projects, the Chinu, Alien Alamo, uh, and um, uh, not uh, not the Ghost of Medicum Key, but the Alien Alamo and the Shoe, were all offered to various other publishers, and they all turned it down. You guys yeah. ran so Mags Visaggio could trip and then beg for rent money on GoFundMe. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Gary, come on now. Yeah, well, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was the best exploitation uh, scheme they've it, ever done. It was a pretty didn't, good grift. Didn't, didn't he just get hired at Archie? Uh, oh, did somebody hire them again? Really? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, wow. Mags is doing something uh, at Archie Comics now. And, is he tanking uh, the company? Released that one of the old Archie characters is trans. Oh. oh wow! Of course, That's wow! Right. I remember so hearing about that. original, shocking yeah. turn of events. Holy shit! Never seen that before. First time it's Holy ever happened. Fuck. You, you better get out there and buy that comic then, as because you. Wow! I've nothing amazes known. me more since I've been in this business that you see the same names over and over and over again pop up just at a different company, and you go, yeah. "Why would you?" You hire that person. They fall. I mean, there's upwards. dozens of these deadbeats with no talent, and they've always got a job somewhere in comics. Yeah, they fall upward. Hold on, yeah. sorry. I don't get Vita, it. Vita, I can't stop him. I can't stop him. Vita Ayala. Got yeah. Control. Vita Ayala and that, that was Vita Ayala on the, the phone. The sorry. other one who uh, what, she uh, accused people of racism her way into the industry. There was a couple who did that. Um, <laughs> Take your pick. Then there's Is the she new the one that was the former sex worker. Yeah, the former sex worker. I can't remember her name, but the former sex worker uh, who Corey was McCall face was okay, Heather Antos. Not no, no, not Heather Antos <laughs> comics deficient. She wasn't. She wasn't in the sex she wasn't, industry. She comic. wasn't. Yeah, she, she was wasn't. A cum dumpster. She wasn't paid in money. Okay, <laughs> she was paid in experience. Um, <laughs> Um, no, yeah, the 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 uh, former sex worker who the they're former... all going to be future sex workers because you don't have a future. <laughs> oh, <in college. laughs> only fan stars. That was yeah. a good one, Ryan. No, uh, the former Thank sex you. worker. Yeah, I, can, I don't even want to get into that. Uh, your boy Zach was covering that pretty good. He's got some good community posts on it. So for a guy who never goes on Twitter, all of his videos are about Twitter, which is uh, <laughs> I love your boy Zach. I love your boy Zach. Um, 
hey, uh, I'm going to read a couple soups, and then we're going to get into some more really horrible news for Disney. Is that okay with you oh. in the chat? I, I'm sorry. Is it too much? Can you not handle the bad news no. for Disney? But before that, we have someone in the back. Oh. Hey. Whoa! Chrissy! Hey. Oh. The most Who famous, oh. the most famous yep. woman on the internet the past couple Right. Oh, That's it. I'm That's sorry it. for being late and gay. <laughs> well, I, I'll forgive you for one of those things. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was just doing uh, Jimmy Dore, and he was also late and gay. So. <laughs> Phrasing. You were just doing him. You were just doing him. Yeah, I was just doing him. I, yes. I, 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 how how twenty twenty of you? I didn't know he yeah. was on into your team. Uh, that's surprising. I'm just kidding, <laughs> Jimmy Dore fans. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What's your name again? Could you please introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Chrissy Mayer. <laughs> oh, ah, I remember. Oh, no. It's been too long. It's been the, too long. The harpoon, the harpoon joke, Chrissy. Amazing. That, that, Amazing. Yeah, that was yeah. the best Thank part you. of that whole thing. <laughs> Holy shit. I was like, that was beautiful. Marginalized so. people, more like marginalized people. Marginalized. <laughs> They well, really they... told management that someone in their group was marginalized. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. They did? Yeah. Yes. Which really just means their, their, blood, their fucking bloodstream is full of butter. Uh, <laughs> like, I feel like Chrissy, those, there was low-hanging fruit. There's two things that are super easy to make fun of right now, and it's trans people and fat people. And that was just the perfect combination. It was. It's like the perfect storm of viral. Yeah, poor yeah, Alex Stein. Uh, jealous of you. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. You know, it's so performative this outrage thing. Yeah? But, but I just find it hilarious that they can't understand that it makes them look incredibly obnoxious. Like, did that win anyone over to their side of thinking? No, it's no. like I'm gonna go outside rage, and then it, what, what, they also threw a, you know your merch table and and upturned that. It's like, yeah, I say Sam needed the table to to be creative. They just pushed the shirts off of the table. Like they didn't run through really the necessary. table. I mean, that's but, so dumb. I mean, they I look like, like a stampede. I was like, are you upset that I don't carry tarps? Are you upset there's no 3X? What's going on? <laughs> no, I always get <laughs> eight sure. years old because clearly they're having a tantrum. Wow, don't I always go to a comedy club to get offended? Yeah. yeah they're what not going to change anybody's mind by shaming you in the middle of a, a so show. So what were they doing there? Shaming I mean, was you? It, they made you famous. Was it a planned protest or was it genuine like, hey, I'm going to go see I this comedy show of somebody I never it, heard of. And, uh, I don't think it was planned. I'm definitely not a household name. I, I think it was either one of two things. They either had comps, right? They just like got an email, free tickets. No shame in that. Sometimes you got to hand out a couple free tickets. Mm -hmm. Or... Uh, they just saw a female headliner. Great. It's not a straight white man. She'll probably be talking about her puss for an hour. Let's go see that. <laughs> well, they weren't any, like Hannah Gatsby t-shirts or something. One woman was wearing pink S&M gear outside of her clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's getting ready for a, a Cirque du Soleil or something, but... I don't know. Maybe it's a wet spot and, fan. You never know. <laughs> and, and I don't think that they were planned hecklers because, it, I mean, Alex Stein was on that show. He's w a much bigger name than I am. And they would have heckled him. They would have, uh, they, they are the same types to be upset with him. And uh, they didn't heckle his set. And same thing with Lila. She's based. They didn't heckle her at all. Um, so. They Alex redheads. was talking about being like insane for the Ukraine. They thought he was being serious. They loved it. They probably <laughs> did. <laughs> They're like, wow, this young man has a lot of points. Yeah, this does feel <laughs> like I feel targeted as a ginger. I feel like my people have had enough. Yes. And, yes. Uh, you yes. know, I'm sick of seeing our people removed from iconic roles in film, like the little Cleopatra. mermaid. Cleopatra. Yeah. Cleopatra. That uh, girl. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that April O'Neil. Mary Jane. That's, Apple O'Neil. That's Apple April O'Neil. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, there's, a, there's a lot to unpack here. I'm sharing my screen. There's a, there's a lot to unpack right here with this one. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow. 
Oh, why am I the fucking dude? Like, I like Ryan. Simply the fact that I'm Frost makes me disabled. Free Larson coming. Well, I, I sure dodged that bullet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, okay, don't uh, the, 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 there's still a lot of time left in the show, Graham. Jeremy, <laughs> why are you? Why are your feet in a foot bath? What is yeah. that? No, I don't know. <laughs> For, it's a sci-fi clear, this wheelchair. Is, this is the whole dove thing where they put that fat bitch into the video game so she can see herself. It's actually more than just that fat bitch. There's a albino black woman, a person in a wheelchair, and someone who looks like they have Down syndrome. We're all part of this campaign together. Oh Those are all the people that have now been shifted. Uh, so... I am the original person in the wheelchair. Jeremy is their video game form where they have like a uh. fucking hoverboard hover round or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Man, the chat dub ad pads. was just so retarded on so many levels, let Indeed alone the fact that a lot of video games don't even have, you know, character protagonists like, you, like yeah. Tetris or, or anything. And then the game that they're trying to actually is in the ad is an MMO that would have had character creation. And so... Uh, it, it, so dumb. It's yeah, and everyone and a vast majority of people in the cells look buff or sexy mm -hmm. uh, and yep. all that kind of stuff. Nobody wants to, well, barely anyone wants to see themselves <laughs> in a video game. No, you know, nobody you, you, does. Yeah. And if it's nobody a does. if it's a single player game, then you have a an established protagonist, you know, you got a master chef, you've got a, a, a Nathan Drake, you know, you got a a, a Lara chef. Croft. You have established <laughs> so again, it's just another attack on beauty and hygiene. Uh, which is which is two things that the left really do lack. Uh, which is funny for a though. soap company. Hey, will <laughs> be a hot bulb. As fat mm -hmm. people use more soap, it's all planned. All right. Do they know? In theory, I'm, I'm sure. more I'm sure. area. Don't sure. try and better yourselves, people. Just get fat and stick soap under your folds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, car uh, wash. I'm just trying to figure out why does why does the Ryan Photoshop work so well? Well, <laughs> it's, okay, it's, 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 it's really well. it really it really does. But that Brie Larson cup, uh, which could be. Well, I mean, he's, it, it, uh, yes, it could be a, a boner in a cup or, you know, probably not because he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, I don't think but, my legs work. Yeah. <laughs> it's Brie on there, right? Boner and a Brie. Both and Brie. Boner and Brie. <laughs> we ain't talking cheese. There's so much going on in this meme. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Legion of I memers. I love how Graham thinks he's going to escape memes now. After yeah. saying, oh, no. I'm not in the meme. Blood <laughs> of memers. Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. We are uh, plus 24 hours. <laughs> 48. This 48. This isn't the first time that Dove is, is gone woke. Dove went woke years ago. Yeah, they, years. they were the first, weren't they? Like they started bringing dudes and trans and and stuff like that in their lines. A while ago. How many guys here know what fucking soap they use? I don't. I don't. It's redundant. Well, but, but I, seriously, what I know, what I know exactly them? what I use. I know yeah. what I use. I, know I don't. I use, but the cheap, I, use the che I use the cheapest soap I find on the shelf. Oh. <laughs> That's what I use. So, oh, I, no. as you know, I'm what, married. I'm what married. What possessed Man. them? I, I'm what married. possessed them to go after gamers? That's my question. It's like, I, you know, I, I, this ESG? is definitely area that we can ESG. Talk on. Yeah, ESG. Yeah. It's fucking ESG. The same, uh, the same ESG that uh, went after a CD Projekt Red, and they made their whole fucking, uh, whole oh. fucking video about it. Uh, Jamie mm -hmm. G, uh, Voltaic Blood for fifty ninety nine. Hail Friday Night Tights. <laughs> Excited to share my project, Voltaic Blood. I hope I'm saying that right. It's. I think I am, uh, is live so. now on Kickstarter. Please consider, let's keep up the movement of independent creators. Don't let the corpse, corpos win. Chuck got my Joe Frankenstein part one yesterday. Amazing. Thanks. Thank Bram. He sent it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chuck. Part two is in the description. See, so if you, if you missed the link, the link is in mm -hmm. the description, folks. So it, go it uh, is. to the part two. You can tell Chuck isn't a modern writer because he won't take credit. You know, he should have. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> Smooth the DJ. Oh, I hope there's a self insert of both of you in that. Yeah. 
I hope I feel right. Re- comics feels represented in the book for sure, but you know, yeah, totally. I need <laughs> a middle aged uh, former oh. alcoholic with dad bod. I, that's what I need. Wow. <laughs> uh, Smooth the DJ has gifted 15 neurotic memberships for $75. That's a great modrotic right there. That's a great modrotic. And oh my God, the, the wax bald one. Rolling. <laughs> What did you just call me? Uh, huh? No. Well, you did you wax me? your balls, as? <laughs> oh, I he said, said the, the waxed uh, bald one. Old one. Yeah. The ball. Well, yeah, maybe. I, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's you wax something. I have many strokes <laughs> during each episode. So, uh, Roland the Wretched is the one who waxed his balls, uh, and then Christy roasted uh, at the, the San Diego Christy? show. Chris, could Christy? I say Christy? What the fuck with you, is man? wrong with you, Gary? I told you. It's I just told a, you. It's called a stroke. It's called He's a stroke. <laughs> okay. Let's fucking move on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This this Christopher who was here. I don't know her anyway. I just. Uh, no. <laughs> you guys remember that Orlando episode when it was at the G and G house and we're doing F and T and like this dude was like off the. We're like me and Ryan were texting. We're like. We gotta end this shit before he says the N word. Like, what the hell? Okay, (laughs) okay. Gary's out of control right now. No, what happens is exclusive. (laughs) I haven't, I haven't had a fucking carb in like four months. Okay, so like my blood sugar gets a little fucked up. All right, I'm just saying. Like last night on Drinker Stream, I just ran out of gas, dude. I was like, I can't, okay, because I didn't eat all fucking day. Uh, so where was I? Uh, Rolling the wretched. Waxed his balls, Nobody talked knows. about it at Chrissy's show. Uh, Chrissy roasted him. It was pretty. It's like lore. He's gonna hear about this uh, uh, about as long as as is gonna hear about male tits. That's just the way it goes. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Just about as long as Odin's gonna Odin's gonna, Odin's gonna hear about. Odin's gonna hear about uh, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> just hope you're ready for it. Uh, he ate a slice. He ate a slice. That was it. out. That's it. He ate one slice. And then wanted to fight with everybody about it, which was worse. <laughs> okay. Like, fine. Like, eat your one slice, don't care. But then he wanted to, like, answer every single comment every in the comment, comment section. You know what I it. love? As has the perfect deflection now. Whenever male tits comes up, his go-to thing is <laughs> yes. to bring up Odin now. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes. like, and, I noticed that, As. I felt like that was subtle and quick. And, and you yeah, work. Well done. Works. And as knows, I'm gonna I'm gonna help out too. I was like, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got support here as well. You know, oh, I'm gonna pile in myself now. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, Glenn Beck comments been, tonight. Been yes. day and eating just one slice. <laughs> uh, Roland is probably already regretting leaving the super chat, but uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks for the one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, last week has convinced me Gary needs to change the show to FNQ Friday Night Queers. Jeremy, <laughs> Ryan, Quarter Black, and Odin are gay. Uh, gay. Not sure what you call someone that likes men with tits. Oh, yeah, Aww. gay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Hi, so uh, Odin. Uh, Odin. 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 Hi, as. Uh, not to mention Gary is a full blown lesbian. I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> true. It's true. Uh, yes, I really like U hauls. And apparently, I am gay. Cran eating junk waxing retard. To quote Jeremy, it's all gay. Speaking of gay, Dan Vass called me a special on Twitter, considering I call myself a retard in super chats on a regular basis. Calling me special is redundant. Uh, da, 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 da. And now the religious part of the chat, he. It's capital H E. And I have been talking again, and he thinks that when Gary wins his bet, FNT should hire an indigenous person uh, to take Quarter Black's man bun as a scalp for being a <laughs> blasphemer and a Judas. Uh, at least put it to a vote. Uh, I would. We could make a poll out of it. Uh, it is time to once again say hail Friday Night Tights, the fellowship, the chat, baby Thor, and pineapple on pizza. Dan Vask and man buns are gay. Even this show, hashtag unsub Dan Vask. Does this thing end? It will. There's five parts. Okay, don't unsub to Dan Vask. No, it, it, it's the, the the faster we, okay, it's the gayest bet of all time. All right, Look, who's the fastest a million, whatever. But um, don't, yeah, don't unsub to, to Dan Vask. Just sub to me. 
because you'll get an exclusive Dan Vass song. You like his singing. He's a damn good singer. You'll get another mm-hmm. song from Dan if you vote for if you sub to me. I think that's a win. It's not a bad. Uh, it's not. It's not bad. There you, you go. go. Sub to, uh, <clears throat> sub to Nerdrotic. Uh, f- uh, forget the video of Gorlock the Hut. Probably made half the chat gay. <laughs> okay. Gary, did there you was a lot of one? gay in that. There was, there was a lot. from a guy who a waxed lot. his balls. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, something seems to be on his mind. You Some know. projection going on there, I think. There is. Uh, what was that, X-ray girl? Did you skip the one on top? I. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. Oh, I did. Okay. It's all right. You're, we can read it out of order. Uh, he wants the super chat to go to the Emu Liberation Front because Shad <laughs> continues to blaspheme, and he reminds Shad what happened to a pharaoh who denied God. Just replace frogs with emus. Today, <laughs> you guys, you have no idea what you're doing by supporting the emus. I'm telling you, they will rape you. You're just saying yes. I'm ready for it. And I, I, I so don't then know it wouldn't why be rape. Guys... <laughs> right. Can't rape the I, I guess it, I guess if he's willing, so yeah. I'm gonna say this wrong and Christian's gonna get really mad at me if this is actually a word. I, he could be making this book this part of the Bible up. Today's read <laughs> is Thessalonians v- uh, uh, five twenty two. Reject every kind of man bun, which I agree with. I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, that is, yeah, yeah that, that, that sounds accurate. Actually. Are you a samurai? It, but... That's what you need to ask yourself before you put your fucking man bun on. Is, am I a samurai? No. Don't put a man bun in. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> My last name, Mufuni. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All Stop right. appropriating it's Asian not. culture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's from a Dishonor. Canadian. <laughs> All right, back to the Disney Schadenfreude. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm actually feeling pretty bad for uh, Disparu right now. I think Disparu is really upset uh, that we're not going to get not only not going to get a season two of Willow. They took it off. They're taking it off of fucking Disney Plus. They are erasing it. <laughs> <laughs> they are erasing it, uh, which is holy shit. That's bad. You can't even like. It's that's not, hilarious. It's costing them are money they, to put it on the platform. Yes, that's so <laughs> funny. Like, are they gonna try and license it? And if so, who wants to buy that piece of crap? Like, so so right now they're not. Right now they've they've basically determined that all this shit uh, is costing way more for them to have on the platform than it would be to not have it on there. That, that's like now whether that's due to residuals, like what what it's exactly about, they, they weren't specific, but they did like in the article they specifically say that we're we're using God I forget what they called it. Um, it's cool down a little bit. They they actually specifically call it out uh, a little more. <clears throat> Um, there we go. The move, which comes with a content impairment charge, impairment charge. That's what it is. So an impairment charge is effectively when a company looks at something and they say, Hey, on our books, this is what we're valuing this at. This is what we're paying for it. This is what it costs for us. But like fair market value, it's not shit. It's not worth fucking anything. And we can't justify <laughs> continuing to pay this. That, that's what this is. But they pay themselves. Yeah, yeah. They pay themselves. It's not even worth us paying ourselves for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and this is and this is not some random thing that they picked up. Hey, let's just uh, you know buy the rights to this and see. They fucking made it for this streamer. Like that was the entire <laughs> purpose of this show. It just came out six months ago. God, like yeah. it, it's not like yeah. it's been around for a year. Uh, and- hey, one of the articles I was reading last night, they mentioned that basically the when it comes to royalties. They're getting paid for it being on the platform. So whether it is a success or not, the writers are getting money from it just being there. Oh, that's wow. a good point. Yeah. Because then that'd be. So that's why they're pulling. About, that's one of the reasons. That's why know, like, what it. money would they have made off of Willow? Because okay. they spent all this, they would have like wasted all this on production. And then yeah. I don't think anyone signed up to Disney Plus out of just let's go watch Willow, right? And they don't get any ad revenue because there's no ads on it. And then they don't get um, any licensing money from it. And so it's like a, it's just a financial black hole, this thing. They would have lost yeah. so much. That was my nickname in college. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, they're shedding subscribers rather than building the subscription base. Yes. Yeah, no, nothing yeah. they present builds it anymore. So, you gotta cut your losses. Yeah, and and really, there's nothing like 
if there's something like this that isn't working, you should take it off. Yes. You should take it off the fucking platform, of course. Really, the focus for this one is specifically that Willow series and mm-hmm. the fact that this is something, another Lucasfilm failure that just came out. Remember Jonathan Kazan trying to pretend, oh, it's not canceled. Trust me, season two is <laughs> in the works. And they're actually taking it off the platform six months after it's out. Yeah, Jonathan Kasdan needs to sign up for the Special Olympics, though. Yeah. Who, who is screaming for more Willow? This Peru. This Peru. When did that movie come out? 1985? Like 1988 or 89 or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's been <clears throat> neither hide nor hair of it or any talk about it. And all of a sudden, now we got this show we're all supposed to be in love with. Who gave a shit? And I just want to remind everyone that Willow unironically had a plot point where they were trying to make the female characters drink worm jizz. And I'm not kidding. Yep. That was drink in the what? final episode. Worm jizz. Wor- worm jizz. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I like, Watch our reviews if you want to know. I, I'm speechless that the writers are that dumb that that's actually a plot point. So, it's just like, what? I would just like to quote Harrison Ford. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Oh, we are in the pro- uh, <clears throat> show is amazingly bad. Yep. Did you guys talk about that they're closing the Star Wars hotel too? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Do you oh. even watch the show, Chrissy? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck me. <laughs> Hear that chat? That's not good. Chat. It's all, <laughs> chat? <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> yeah that is some corporate speak right there ryan uh we are in the process of reviewing the content on our dtc services to align with the strategic changes in our approach to content curation what the uh, translation we're losing it? money yeah we're losing yeah. money yes we're losing our ass they're losing they were they bragged right they tried to spin it as a brag and they're like hey our losses were down 26 percent on Disney Plus. yes <laughs> you lost you lost 700 you lost 700 million dollars on disney plus in the last quarter instead right. of 1.1 1. 1 and big coincidence one of, one of the shows the investors are suing over is one of the shows they pulled off the streaming service Oh, uh, the Benedict, the mysterious Benedict Society. So the uh, d- d- uh, Bob Chapik and uh, what's her face? Crazy, fa- crazy Karen face who still works there. Who's like the CFO or something like that. Yeah. Christine McCarthy. Or yeah. Something. She looks yeah. psychotic. Um, she's being she's part of it, too, because they put that on linear TV to they put on ABC the day before it premiered on Disney yeah. Plus so they could shunt all of the costs of development and marketing over to ABC instead Ooh. of putting on the Disney Plus books, according to the reports. Right? According That's to the reports. Well. And, yeah. and they also did that with Andor later. Uh, they put it on Hulu. Uh, and the I Doogie think... Doogie Howser <laughs> remake that with, a, with a fucking Hawaiian person. Yeah. I couldn't that pronounce really? the last name. Yeah, it's weird. I didn't even hear about that. That's crazy. Yeah. It's Doogie, called Doogie Kamala it's, Khan. Yeah, Doogie Amaloa or some shit. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what the fuck it is. Uh, but how, yeah, it's with a Hawaiian chick, I think. Wow. No, go figure. Now, there was also um, Howard, I think, right there. This <laughs> Howard will, will not be removed from Disney+. Plus. The documentary about the famous Little Mermaid lyricist Howard Ashman was on the original list. I think that that dude was gay or some shit. Ah. So and, and and everybody started freaking out. How dare you pull this right before June? Or, or oh, wow. I don't fucking know. Oh, wow. So this is the list that's, that's being funny. pulled. This is the list that's being pulled. That's uh, Marvel voices oh, rising. The music of Wakanda forever. I am. <laughs> Marvel's Empower. Marvel's Project Hero. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Marvel's M powers being re- taken off. Yeah, I got. I well, luckily, I I might have backup copies of those. <laughs> oh, that only just went on. I know. I do find. <laughs> I find it interesting how many of the shows I've never heard of. So, dude, like, dude, these are just this? these are like behind the scenes documentaries that would be special features on doc uh, on on a DVD or Blu Ray. So, like, it must literally be costing them server space for them to fucking wow. air this shit. <laughs> well, it figures that they'd, they'd, they'd nix America the Beautiful, too. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. None yeah. of that. Yeah, there's a new series that. called America the Fat and Ugly <laughs> that's going to take its place. Uh, America the Trans. Disney fairy tale <laughs> Weddings. That's too heteronormative. That has to go. Mm. This is a bloodbath. Oh, why the last wow. man is uh oh. oh no. Did you guys watch that, right? 
I, no I, way. I, I watched part of it. It was fucking terrible. Is that uh, a documentary about you, someone you, before they become a lesbian? Uh, <laughs> well, actually, you're, I mean, not you're not too far off. You're not too far off right. on that one. <laughs> the last man. <clears throat> Wow, that is a lot of stuff that's being pulled off. I could actually make suggestions to this list, though. I can uh, quite a bit. Uh, Miss Marvel, She Hulk, uh, oh, yeah. Moon Knight, Captain America, uh, what Captain Black Falcon and Winter Soldier, right. uh, Loki, WandaVision. Oh, look, they have Best in Snow and Best in Doe. Oh, Best in Ho. I'd watch that. I, oh. God. Well, at least the theatrical releases are going to be great. Little yeah. Mermaid's coming out soon. We got Little oh, Mermaid no. just around the corner. Uh, did, did you guys see the newest update on the Little Mermaid today? No. No. Okay. No, I got. Really? Then I got to show you guys because we we know there was a lot of controversy surrounding the music and the changes to the lyrics and all that. But did you know that there's going to be new original songs in this too? Oh boy! Oh, I can only imagine. Fantastic. I'm now, if I would have told excited. you there's going to be a rap in Little Mermaid, you might assume it'd come from Ariel at this point. <laughs> um, but, but, <laughs> no, it's actually coming from Aquafina. Listen to some of this. They've just released oh, the no. soundtrack. A play. We pulled off these songs that I think are really magical. Have you not heard the scuttlebutt? Oh, no, the gossip, the buzz, the who said what, who does that? Yeah, the scuttlebutt. Oh my ears! That right, makes my ears. They really like that is reusing awful. actors, don't they? I'm watching what? Fast Ten. What? Why would you get her to sing anything? Her voice. Also, Chris is Gore just... looks terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he's gone downhill a little bit. Where's that Frank Gore? There's also Frank. There's more. Frank. Yeah, there's more. Oh. To the hunter who arrows the bows, the chatter all over the palace is that your prince Eric is gonna propose. What? There's somebody nobody knows. This oh. Uh, who is this? That is like nails on the fucking chalkboard. I want her to be Marvel's life. Katie again. <laughs> this is oh. this is gonna That's, be in the Little Mermaid. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, that's worse so than bad. a strangled cat. That is. That uh, sounds awful. My Who goodness. That old butt sounds like what happens in prison. So this is <laughs> Aquafina. Aquafina. And again, there's a there's a lot of like the woke lunatics who are mad about this specific because Aquafina started yes. as a rapper and she's spoken with a black scent and all these things and she got accused of cultural appropriation. So now they're having her do the rap in, in The Little Mermaid. <laughs> her and Sebastian are going to rap together. I love the stuff uh, that makes Ryan oh. laugh. <laughs> I, 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 I love this shit, man. I've never uh, heard the word black scent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you, you know it when you hear it. Oh, oh yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I, I have reviewed a lot of crap. This movie, I'm so dreading to have to watch just to. Oh, yeah. Is like this a bad time to remind so you all bad. that you have to watch the movie before next week? Sorry. It's going to be another bro situation where by myself with an empty theater. <laughs> I, I still think this movie's going to do well at the box office. Probably. Chrissy, at least you're going to be a female in the theater. Going to see it by myself is going to be <gasps> kind of weird. Did I just see it in blackface. Did I no. dress up. But you're at least a female. <laughs> it would probably be the demographic that would see this stupid movie. Well, we can just kidnap a young girl. I want to go in. I'm going to go as a male. I was going to say comics. Comics, yeah. I'll go with you. We'll, we'll go together. Gay? Gay? <laughs> yeah. We'll look like a gay couple. It's a date, Gary. Comics, it's a comics is like, it never is mind. Night. Queers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can't wait to like I've never seen the animated Little Mermaid. I've never so I'm gonna watch them both. Really looking You'll forward to it. You'll appreciate it. You've more. never seen the original? Nope. No. Nope. Oh, he didn't want to go to the my... theaters as a uh 19 year old by himself. My favorite movie. Yeah. I thought it came oh. out when you were in prison. I was <laughs> I was in jail. There's a difference. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm not as cultured as you, sorry. Okay. Incarcerated is I the was word incarcerated, you're but I was in the county jail. I wasn't in the state prison. All right. And I probably still could have seen it, but I was too busy getting high. So <laughs> I probably would have enjoyed it with the right amount of mushrooms. I probably thought it was great, but uh no. No, I was a little busy. I was a little busy. Uh, yeah, Gary, Gary didn't want to see it. It was satanic. Cool. It was satanic. 
<laughs> right, Matt Walsh? I think I still have the VHS, VHS tape that you made for me, Chuck. Um, oh, really? Disc. Yeah. Right. He, wow. He, 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 uh, he made it for my daughters. Oh, uh, wow. Because it, you know, that went into the vault, and and we mm, yep. and, Jack said, and Chuck made a VHS tape for me, uh, so my girls could watch it. <laughs> I had nothing yeah, to play it on, but I still have the tape. <laughs> you need to clean out that storage unit, Graham. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, blue. He's ball gonna be on the next true crime video. Uh, blue balls <laughs> spare for three hundred. Australian Ooh. shad Vegemite dollars. <laughs> Hail all. Hey, After watching the epic battle between Boogie and Wings, I feel this wow. is a natural conclusion to Pineapple Pizza, the feud. Uh, D Day <laughs> and Odin in the ring. Loser will eat a whole pineapple pizza. After the bout, pizza can be blended to be consumed by straw if said opponent can not chew. Make it happen. <laughs> Wow, that seems gross. Really? I don't think Odin would be able to handle a crowd. Uh, it would have to be they would have to be boxing by themselves. Uh, <laughs> just just pointing that out. Just pointing that out. Uh, okay. I tried watching that Wings of Redemption boogie thing through EFAP, and the cringe was just too high. Like all the posturing and stuff, I just I couldn't get through it, even with the commentary. And I love the commentary, but the the actual footage from the bout, I was just like, ah, it's. Bleh. I feel I feel good for them uh, to go out there and do that. They're both like have been laughing stocks and log house for forever, and obviously a lot of us laughed seeing that shit. But at the end of the day, you got to respect them for you know facing their fears and doing that shit so <clears throat> that was awesome and when you look at the benefits they've had wings did a stream the other night where he got a ton of super chats some of his haters have like disappeared from the internet like Ooh. out so much they said they was lying it never happened and they've disappeared like the people who have made their entire channels off like making fun of him and trolling him are gone after he did that so it's pretty they've awesome. All moved, they've all moved into the DSP yeah. marketplace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, no, uh, absolutely fucking exploded in the last couple of weeks. I'll tell you. That. Uh, I hope I I heard possibility of a rematch. I hope they do it like a year out to where they can train and actually like actually lose weight. I think that'd be great. But it was cool they did it. Uh, I watched the Mueller, which was way better. Watch watch Mueller's coverage, Mueller's stuff. Um, so, uh, I like Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, I think is the greatest movie ever made. Um, there's only three Indiana Jones movies. One of them's called Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's not called Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's bullshit. Uh, Temple of Doom, of course, last, last crusade. Uh, and that's it. That's all there is. But there's some fucking weird movie starring Harrison Ford, uh, coming out. Uh, some, some. I guess the embargo kind of lifted. Damn. And Damn. Uh, I, like, I thought, oh, I thought he was the side character. Isn't this the Phoebe movie? Yeah. With some mm, feminist, yeah. you know. It's it, it's uh, it's from, Indiana Jones and the insufferable feminist. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just let me die. Just let me die. <laughs> um, and we've got twenty three reviews now from critics, and it's at forty eight percent. Another Lucasfilm loss, ladies and gentlemen. Hasn't this movie got to make about a billion to break even? Yeah. Uh, yes. Like, depending on what it actually costs. So I think they reported it as like $294.7 million, which geez. would make it like the eighth most expensive movie ever. Um, yeah, for that some, was reshoots. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, yeah it, exactly. Some reports have said that it's actually higher than that, potentially yeah. like 330 or higher. It, either way, depending on whatever their marketing is, you're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 conservatively to a billion dollars to just Jeez. to break even on this. Right. Wow. And, you know, just because the critics don't like a movie doesn't necessarily mean anything to me. True. The real embarrassment is the fact that they went out, they took everybody out there, they flew everybody out there to the Cannes Film Festival. Harrison Ford, Mangold, Phoebe Waller Bridge, Kathleen Kennedy, and Bob Iger also out there for this, by the way. They're together. Don't know if anybody knew that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, they're, they're together at the Cannes mm -hmm. Film Festival. And to take it in front of these people, these are the people they wanted to show this to. 
and they were bored. They were talking through it. They were whispering throughout the movie because they were fucking bored with it and didn't like it. Mm. That's fucking yeah. pathetic. And they lifted the embargo because they thought people would like it and they didn't. So now you have a month, over a month worth of lead up to a movie that's already being poorly reviewed. That yeah. it's, that's fucking awful. Mm -hmm. That's not something you see. <laughs> you get what you deserve, Disney. You get what you deserve. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, I love my fucking life. I love it. <laughs> uh, so we've got some reviews here. Some, uh, an update on some of the reviews. Let's read them. Uh, Donald Clark. Uh, it counts as sort of a compliment to say that James Mangold's film, by the way, I'm blocked by James Mangold on Twitter, uh, until a gleefully absurd ending plays like just another episode in a creaky, unpretentious romp. <laughs> that's a that was um that was a compliment. Oh, that's that, a that was a positive one? review. Uh, like almost all the po well, I shouldn't say I haven't seen the recent ones that come in, but most of the early positive ones, if they were a positive, they were like a three out of five. Yeah, like that one. Uh, that's all you got to hit, though, isn't it? You just got to hit that sixty percent to be uh, positive. This one starts out with saying it's fine fan fiction, employing <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign. Employing Ooh, much positive. of what makes a character so special play out in new ways while very much embracing the past. When it works, it's excellent. When it doesn't, you still revel in the companionship of old friends. Uh, I'm not going to watch your video review. I don't. You don't look that exciting to me. Uh, David Fear. There, uh, it's like a mug shot. It, it, it does. He looks like a critic. Um, there are needs being met here, but they aren't storytelling based so much as stoking the fan and making the bottom line ones. There you go. Uh, there are so many chase sequences. Uh, the, I'm down here now. That the movie seems held together by a slend, like by slender bits of plot rather than the other way around. Worse yet, they're so heavily CGI'd that they come off as grimly dutiful rather than thrilling and or delightful. Uh, the de-aging and CGI ma manipulations of Ford's body only serve to demonstrate that the Dial of Destiny just wants to turn back the clock instead of doing anything new. <laughs> Uh, it's I mean, <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> it's sad and safe ending for a series that once prided itself on big escapes and larger than life emotions. Dial of Destiny shows that some relics should stay buried. Oh, so clever. <laughs> wow. So clever. <laughs> but you thought about that one. Uh, it's an improvement on the execrable <laughs> Crystal Skull, but James Mangold's uh, exhumation, exhumation of the Spielberg Adventures serial is both tame and Unnecessary. Unnecessary is probably a good word for this. Mm -hmm. Did anybody really want to see an 81? Is he 81 or 82? Wow. Uh, hey, he's 80. How, how, yeah, he's like 80 or something. I thought he was okay. He's fucking 80. Uh, yeah, the answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> he's older than the old yep. Indiana fucking Jones and the young Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah. You know, what, <laughs> you know what the answer is, though? If it were George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, that fucking got up on stage with Harrison Ford and they're like, hey, you know, we're thinking about doing another one. I, I'd be in. I'd be in. I would be. Even even with the no. problems with Crystal Skull, I'd be in. I'd say, hey, let's let's see what you guys can do. But this talking is about not a not. You're talking. Yeah, he's talking about a non Kathleen Kennedy Lucas film where those guys. Oh, just I'm still saying no, no, yeah. no, no. I would. I no. would be in if that was the case. Indi the Indiana Jones trilogy, because as somebody rightfully said, there's only three of these movies ever made. The Indiana Jones trilogy ended absolutely perfectly. Perfectly. You can't get a better ending than um, The Temple of Doom. I thought I'd repeat that joke. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Temple of Doom. <laughs> Fucking I quit! Temple of Doom is a prequel to Raiders of the Lost Ark, by the way. Well, Kathleen Kennedy doesn't um, know that. Uh, no, she doesn't. she worked on the movies. And even Remember when Kathleen, <laughs> Kathleen, when Kathleen Kennedy was trying to defend The Last Jedi, she talked about that. She's like, you know, I know a lot of people are, you know, wondering about the, the tone of the movie, but that's always, you know, things are a little more depressing and sour, you know, when you end these second movies in trilogies, just like Temple of Doom. What? It's like, what? bitch, you realize that was a prequel, right? right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, she doesn't. Apparently not. The producer of the film. Oh uh, no, She's she was just a reason. dancing girl 
Yeah. She's the reason she made all of those movies. She made every movie she's ever been attached to. Don't you know? Do you remember the, the <laughs> do you remember the round table discussions back in the eighties and nineties about Kathleen Kennedy, how important she was to all of our favorite movies? You remember those discussions? Yeah. No, yeah, she uh, she made yeah. them. Yeah, she made them coffee. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a big bombastic movie that goes through the motions but never finds much joy in the process. Despite John Williams' hard working score continuously pushing for our nostalgia buttons and trying to convince us we're on a wild ride. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Dest- Destiny is a dutiful, eager, but ultimately rather joyless piece of nostalgic hokum wow it's hokum who needs joy yeah Yeah. who needs fun uh one can Uh, one can feel the four credited screenwriters grasping at inspiration and coming up short what they did manage to make would be perfectly fine as a standalone adventure film starring some other character but it's not worthy of the whip Ooh. Ooh. The good news is that it's not as poor as Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The bad news is it's not much better. <laughs> oh. Oh. There you go. Oh, there's more. If it's not more? much better than absolute dog shit, then. then we read. Oh. Those are older ones. Do you remember ones. how the. Uh, there is already. It's, it's already out there in a lot of these reviews. So I guess they don't even think it's a spoiler if they're talking about it. But you know how the. Uh, Crystal Skull ends with the marriage at the end. Yes. Yeah. One of the first things you see in this is Indiana Jones, like in present day, right? Is Indiana Jones fucking waking up drunk from the night before with like divorce papers on the counter. Uh, oh, oh, Jesus. So it's like they, they really just want to fucking deconstruct Fuck him as movie. much as possible. Yep. So even oh. like nice endings like that immediately get erased i know of course because it's current year jesus oh oh well jesus can't help you now comics no clearly not with well, not when it comes to fucking disney this is why no. you need to buy joe frankenstein part two and just get another story it's over it's over for lucasfilm top it's credits done. it's done give up uh, like I, I say it all the time if you like this dog shit lucasfilm is making by all means go enjoy it but for the majority of people that actually love you know these stories these characters it's over yeah there, there's no point to have fo- faith in anything they're doing nothing they're no. doing is going to be good moving forward and even even if she leaves because she will not be fired even if kathleen kennedy leaves mm-hmm. that changes nothing that changes nothing I know a lot of people are going to be excited if she gets her hero send off because that's exactly what's going to happen. She's going to get a hero send off. She's 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 introduced a whole new generation to the world of Star Wars. Uh, the oh. single trilogy made four billion dollars uh, around the world. She's blah blah blah. blah all that's going to happen. To get so, the yes. it's gonna, like it's yes. gonna like she's fucking old, right? Yeah. She's sixty nine. <laughs> Years old, so 69. like nine. Yeah. She, she's not gonna do this. Hey, now. at some point she's gonna decide. Some to of us are over fifty here. Okay, just pointing it out. We're supposed I'm to care. Look at. Are we supposed to care? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry to derail it. Go Ryan. Yeah. 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 Thank, thanks, done. thanks, Az. Thanks, Az. Appreciate you derailing. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> I learned from the best. I learned from the best. Uh, so yeah, he got to, is this where they mentioned Phoebe Waller bridge by name where they just yes. say her one liners. Uh, so if you scroll down, uh, they, they talk about how oh everybody loved and they celebrated Harrison Ford before this, because he got like a lifetime achievement award basically. Um, and then indeed, uh, you can start right there, Gary, the indeed. Gotcha. Uh, Indeed, the standing ovations for Ford were louder before the movie played. The film's elaborate action scenes and witty one-liners delivered by Waller Bridge received a less-than-rapturous response inside the theater. During parts of the 142-minute film, which is about 20 minutes longer than any other Indiana Jones film, audience members... I know, oh, God. Uh, member, uh, audience members could be heard whispering out of boredom in French. <laughs> <laughs> the addition uh, of in French, like, I am really bored great. with you. Like, is I don't know what this hey, is. Oh, 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 this movie is shit. This movie sucks. It's so boring. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> I had more fun when these Germans came in. <laughs> 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 like, 
<laughs> They're now rooting for the Nazis. Let us suck each other's dicks. I, I am very bored. <laughs> I don't know how to do a French accent. I hope a Nazi. <laughs> I, I hope a Nazi blows this feminist bitch's more. head off. That was dark. Uh, <laughs> Do not tell anyone I am gay. <laughs> you're not gay. You're just French, okay? Yeah, you're just <laughs> European. <laughs> you're just wet tight pants. Yeah, anyone that says we oui, we oui, in like an affirmative, you're probably gay. <laughs> 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 what, what, what did the yeah. French maitre d say to the German commandant? <laughs> Table for 40,000, sir? <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I got down I didn't really real get that quick. Time, but I, wow. I knew my... <laughs> World War II humor. Bad time to plug the book. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it topical here on FNT. <laughs> Come here for your World War II humor. <laughs> I, I forgot history is not taught anymore no it's no. not <laughs> sadly it's revised yes and uh, the joke still works <laughs> <laughs> country man uh, no county man sorry county man 222 for 49.99 thank you very much said if film and tv studios are interested in bringing diversity into space why not adapt sources that are already rich in such material uh, that have been proven in other mediums, like the Dakotaverse? Why not? Well, because that would be, if it hasn't been done before, that would be required, they would require taking a chance, which the corporations are not willing to do right now because of the corporatism of Hollywood. It's a combination of things. We're going to talk about the strike in just a second, but it's a, it's a team effort between, uh, like, massive, you know, just corporate politics and activism that have uh you know hand in hand fuck this thing up like beyond all recognition uh phil al good for 49.99 have you heard of eli double tap he has a podcast similar to friday night tights and is a huge anime nerd also good news shad the fat electrician made a short video about the great emu war that shows australia positively and hilarious uh it shows Australia positively in hel and hilarious, and it's hilarious. Enjoy. Hail FNT. I've seen it. Good to hear you getting proper representation off the cup. That's right. Uh, Mikey <laughs> Gussler for $50 says, Gary, you need to invite. Oh, I will try. This is his third super chat asking this. You need to invite Jay Longbone on for Friday Night Tights next week, even if you have her as a, even if you have a guest, which we already have. Uh, invite her anyway. Uh, you've had more than one guest at a time on the show. Uh, she will be funny when it comes to Little Mermaid. This isn't something you should skip on. Well, she's her live tweets on uh, Cleopatra have been fucking great. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. God and WG has gifted ten erotic memberships for fifty dollars. WG. Hey. WG. Uh, Gary's broke ass monitor on the Streamlab side for one hundred dollars. <laughs> I was reading the character bio of the singing Twelik in uh, the Galactic Scar Star Cruiser, and they mentioned that she was fighting for her uh, for the rights of the Twelik, and I lost my shit. I did. I like absolutely. <laughs> wow. I'm like this. Andrew is Garfield's <laughs> head, right? Yeah. Monitors I, were broken. Monitors were broken. Toys were broken. Yep. I, with a one six scale Andrew Garfield head, which was giant. So I mean, he's been he, through enough. I can't believe he did that. I know. See, it wasn't just Disney that lost money. No, it was me because I broke a nice monitor. Uh, because and Andrew Garfield's well, skull. To put it, in, <laughs> yep. to put it in context, <laughs> we're talking about a theme park character, a fucking theme park character, and they couldn't keep identity politics out of it. Nope. Like, yeah. and their background is their fucking the Twilight Harriet Tubman. Right, and it's, yeah, uh, it's oh my fucking god! I was like, I had it's enough. Smother, sm not smothering, <laughs> smuggling <laughs> freed slaves from Ryloth to Coruscant, <laughs> some shit like that. That is a Freudian slip, there, Ryan. <laughs> 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 hey, if I just spent a night in the Galactic Star Cruise, I would tell. I'd hope somebody smothered me in my sleep. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you want to go extra. see the room where Han fucked Leia on the honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> Bring your black light with you. Yeah. <laughs> were they conceived? Were they conceived Kylo Ren? <laughs> Jesus. <Fuck. Yeah. laughs> you just came. I know. <laughs> ah, that was a good one, Chrissy. <laughs> uh, well, Gary, the sad story that has been my life since you left me by the curb is looking up. After losing my job at G4 and being a monitor for a vice intern, I found work at Orlando at a swanky Disney hotel. Uh, wish me luck. I know this job will last. <laughs> Hey, we got an actual writer here, so I do want to bring up uh, the writer strike real quick. Uh, I don't know. Find a good article, and I'll keep that last one if you could. X-ray girl, I don't. We, we don't need to go over. We know that uh, the WGA has been striking for a couple weeks now, and uh, the screen, uh, the Film Actors Guild, has decided yes. to uh, go on strike as well. <laughs> they, um, yes, they have. And uh, they have voted. Uh, the Film Actors Guild has voted unanim unanimously to go on strike. The Film Actors Guild will never not be funny. It will no. never not be funny. Especially because it was Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> I am Actors Guild. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're going in solidarity, and Hollywood will be shutting down at the, what, the end of June, Ryan. I can't remember what it said. I think it said towards the end of June. Don't give yeah, me think, hope. You can have that meeting with fucking Hawkeye. Don't give me hope. Yeah, I think towards <laughs> the end of June is when they're like they've basically pre-authorized. If we don't come to terms, they're striking. Yep, that's what they voted to do basically. So there's still like a month left before that. Yeah, but if that happens, man, uh, that's not good news for. How's Gotham Knights gonna survive? Uh, I don't think it will. The CW came out, didn't they? Did, the, the new head of the CW came out and said superheroes have had their time and then announced a Powerpuff Girls show. <laughs> what the no, fuck? It's been cancelled. Oh, it did? Yeah, I thought okay. that was cancelled. Yeah, yeah. So the, I think the, the live action Power the, uh, Powerpuff Girls. Power the Puff show, Girls? Which has been in limbo for like three years, years now. Yeah. Okay. So they cancelled uh, it. Has officially been cancelled. So and they also came out and said Gotham Knights. Is the cheapest show we've ever made, and I'm just like, no fucking shit show. <laughs> uh, I played on, on, uh, on the daily stream today. I played the little clip that uh, Grant Gustin did with entertainment, uh, like him kind of saying goodbye or whatever. As, as shit as the CW got, as dog shit as a lot of those shows got, I, I gotta like, I, I I was a little bit touched by that because he did play the character for so long. Grant Gustin was was cast. Uh, actually, no, I think the first episode of Flash came out a week before Ezra Miller was announced to be casted in the role of the Flash for the DC Universe. Holy shit. And Grant That's Gustin's right. entire run, like nine seasons or something as the Flash, yeah. is like over <laughs> now, like before we actually see a Flash this. movie. <laughs> yep. Hey, I, I, wow. I, I'm sure some people might get some residuals from all that stuff and good for you. Uh, I do. Um, <laughs> good for you. Uh, I have been told by a pretty good source that Flash is the most expensive movie ever made. Oh, see, but they, 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 the what they reported budget wise was not anywhere close to those numbers, um, which doesn't seem to line up with everything we've heard especially with all the reshoots and and everything that's been involved for years and years and years and that goes with that person saying they're not reporting budgets they're yeah. they're, they're they're lying so yeah, what uh, over the top was ezra miller's bail money maybe <laughs> his legal fees yeah, that was, that was the overages <laughs> yeah or, or, or maybe it was over reshooting an entire movie maybe that maybe because there's basically two movies there uh, yeah. and like uh, Rise of Skywalker, I heard was way higher than their reported budget too, like way way higher. Well, I mean, they well, had the entire George Lucas cut. They had the, the Lucas no. cut. Yes, no. right. I forgot Looking about forward that. to seeing that one. Can't no. wait to see it. Know that on season three of The Mandalorian, Cara Dune was seen on set. Gina Carano yes. was yeah. seen on set. Oh, so that's yeah. true. George Lucas and George fucking Jesus fucking Christ, just you just. Be <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, and George Lucas was there directing a film, ready to direct a film and take over the new trilogy. Did you know that? I oh, heard uh, that, right? While he was I in Chicago, that. that's weird. Yeah. Uh, Raising his young child? Yeah. 
yeah. strange. It's true. Mm. I also heard Harrison Ford is doing reshoots for Indiana Jones on the same day that he was on set for Captain America, fucking New World Order, whatever that shit is. He's in the Captain America. <laughs> right. Hey, he, he, right, he yeah. can get around that Harrison Ford. He can get around. Yeah. He took uh, a plane. And, and then it. promptly crashed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. All right. So the writers are on strike, and uh, it's such a different situation than 2008 uh, because there is like all the late night shows went quiet. Uh, it doesn't seem actually YouTube is automatically improved because we don't have yes. a bunch of their fucking stupid clips being shoved mm-hmm. down our throats. <laughs> Yep. And, yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And now marketers are desperate to find other places to promote the movies that are coming out, and the places they're going to come is YouTube. Interesting. Yeah, I'm a mm-hmm. I'm a hundred percent supportive of all this. Uh, anytime I can see less Jimmy Kimmel, yeah, uh, oh, my God. life is yeah, immediately my life yeah. is immediately better. Yep. Immediately Huge better. improvement. <laughs> yeah. America is healing. America well, is I healing. Heard, I heard that since he stopped doing his late night show. Uh, that uh, the cancer rates have dropped. Uh, <laughs> follow the science. Follow the science. Okay. <laughs> Trust yeah. the science. Yeah. Ozone layer is repairing itself. That's right. Yeah. It's just like a are coming China back. that you're letting it heal over. <laughs> you know, it just goes to show you how much talent these uh, late night hosts really have that Which they need none. to be fed these lines. Yeah. Like, how funny are they just on their own? What the it's fuck like, is. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Fuck is that? It's an ad. The only way to watch <laughs> <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Your computer did a Freudian Wait. slip. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, you know what that is? Uh, hey, get, that's an ad for Max. It is. Ah, uh, the uh, one to watch uh, is like their thing. Um, uh, Gary, so the Gary one to watch dodged, for Gary dodged a bullet right there. <laughs> <laughs> Gary dodged a bullet. <laughs> Gotcha back. <laughs> 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 I'm sure you do, Ryan. Uh, Gary, you bleed yourself. Yeah. You bleed I yourself. watch Max. I watch I watch it, okay? Yeah. Well, the thing is, Venture like, Brothers is on Max. Max. Remember the entire purpose of Max is merging HBO Max, which a lot of us actually fucking like, and Discovery Plus, which is all like the fucking wine mom, transgender, fucking drag queen yeah, bullshit, ugh. like reality shows, right? Yep. So that's what the merging of Max and HBO uh, of Discovery. Oh and damn! Max. I thought they were gonna keep that shit separate. No, I guess not. They fucking. Where well, you been, comics? Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, sometimes you just can't reach up to the desk ever heard to see the TV hey, in the. Speak, oh, speak, oh, hey, but hey, hey, last time I read about that is that I, I they weren't funny on merging that something. shit. Now they are. It's like go fucking figure. I found something comics can reach. Uh, I'm sharing my screen right now. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the my hell? God. What the hell? Why is that so in a it's, cinema, it's, Gary? Wow. The guy sitting behind Gary knows what's up. <laughs> Gary looks really excited. Gary looks like, really dude, excited. I like that dude. even his like his dick has its own feeling. Uh. <laughs> like, like just your ball neck. Oh, 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 God. I found the kernel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god, that is all kinds of wrong. <laughs> is this what happens in Texas? <laughs> no. What happens in Texas? Oh my god, Texas. <laughs> Might not move there. We'll see. <laughs> wow, bigot. Oh, oh, a top a, a top a top LA chef at horses accuses wife of killing family cats. What? Assault. He denies claims. Oh. I'm just like a, a guy who is a chef at horses accuses his wife of killing cats. There's a lot of fucking animal oh. weirdness this, going on there. Like random words. Yeah. Was she Korean? No, I'm reading it. Says, <laughs> so, so, oh, like yeah. the, subscribers yeah. to the LA Times uh, are reading that. Uh, that explains oh. a lot about the subscribers to the LA Times. Um we don't, we don't see this. We, if you're looking at a screen, we don't see it. So oh, that's sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> it's right there. You should have let me go, Ryan. Oh. You should have let me go. 
<laughs> I, I was so confused. You're like Gary's having another real stroke. <laughs> you should have let him go. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to read this fucking article. We just need to know that the writers are strike. Uh, yeah, the actors are going to go on strike. I, I just want to bring up during during all this, you know, all, all this unity, all this solidarity, all this solidarity that uh, they weren't so unified on another subject. Oh, you guys remember, don't you? They weren't so unified on another subject. Uh, as a matter they of were fact, fine. yeah, they were fine with, uh, you know, making sure that everybody got forced jabbed, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Playing it safe. Uh, yes. And as a matter of fact, the Writers Guild was one of the first to uh, OK oh. mandates to OK mandates Welcome. for their members. Uh, SAG AFTRA, uh, fuck, they, the, I, I'm not, I don't think the COVID restrictions were ever lifted by them. They were rif- lifted by individual studios uh, and ruined careers, ruined lives, uh, didn't give a flying fuck, you know, uh, with the theater with Clifton Duncan. We saw it with Matthew wow. Marsden. We saw it with mm-hmm. Gina Carano. We saw it with uh, Nick Searcy. We saw it with a lot of people uh, yep, who. Tyler Fisher. Yep. <laughs> Well, the sad thing is just like how many people that you're never going to hear of that that were affected by all that bullshit, and it was all pushed by these fucking mm-hmm. elites. Yep, pieces of shit. Yep. So this is pieces while shit. they were able to work while California was locked down. They were considered, uh, you know, essential over people like my wife and the nail salon and all the gyms. Uh, so McDonald's and Hollywood were allowed to continue during uh, the lockdown in California. But they're all unified over over uh, <clears throat> some pennies they want off of residuals that they're never going to get on, on the back end. Although there's a lot of back end deals in Hollywood. Uh, but <laughs> look at you, well, Ezra. Look at you, well. Ezra. Pastor Miller. <laughs> That's right. I got to I got to speak to one of the negotiators of the WGA. I was restricted on what I could ask, uh, but I did ask the question, Ryan, about about the streaming numbers specifically. I'm like, do you have access to those? Does any executive producer, writer, actor, anybody who would get possible residuals. He said, for one, that's not our, our biggest deal. We're trying to get upfront stuff. We're not too worried about that right now. But he also yeah, said... Yeah, they, they know that no one's going to watch their fucking shit, yep. so they want to get paid up front. I'm so sure here's wow. what he said that was interesting. So he wasn't that worried about it, but he said the higher-ups at the WGA know these numbers but cannot share them, but just the like the leadership, nobody else... So outside of like for Star Trek, uh, for example, like Alex Kurtzman, because, you know, he runs a secret hideout, could, probably has access to the numbers. Nobody else does. So what, that, what you're told, you're told the numbers, you're told they're good or bad. That's it. That, like, so nobody knows these numbers in a town that loves to scream box office numbers all fucking day long, <clears throat> wants to keep these secret. Well, it's bec- and, and the WGA knows these numbers. And they're fine. They're looking for transparency. That's one of their demands. And uh, uh, to the negotiator's credit, he's, he he thinks they're going to get it because of the ad tiers. Uh, he thinks that we're going to start knowing and seeing these numbers, uh, or at least the creatives are. I, I think the producers are going to fucking die on that hill. But um, <clears throat> what, unfortunately, I couldn't ask him about this because it didn't really pertain to the strike. But um, I, I would no, it's, The thing is that nobody in Hollywood – wants you to see those numbers no, mm-hmm. because those numbers from the streaming services are an objective truth about yeah. the entertainment industry. I mean, Netflix proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that America hates Jane Fonda and Hollywood didn't want to hear it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's just one example of over and over again, where these numbers prove shit that Hollywood doesn't want you to know. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That is absolutely the truth. They're low and uh and 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 willow you know remember they were pushing willow like it's not doing that bad and you're just haters and it's just being review bombed and now we're removing it from our streaming service now we're rethinking marvel completely we're gonna be uh we're gonna start curating our content at marvel and be a little more specific with it uh we're gonna spread Hmm. things out by releasing three marvel products within two months of each other with loki the marvels and uh, Echo, now, I know you might. Oh, which is all getting dumped at the same time. Yep. 
Every mm -hmm. episode just dumped like a fucking used tampon in the toilet. Yeah, just it's a, it's gonna be a giant turd, and they're trying to flush it as quickly as possible. Uh -huh. The cycle's over. The cycle's over, and yeah. they're, and they're they're stuck with their ass in the door because they've already got all this money spent on shit that they know nobody wants to look at. Yeah, mm. and I see you're seeing this in Hollywood all over the place. I just heard the other day, seventy five million dollar picture, nobody wants it. No streaming service anywhere in the world. No cable service. Nobody wants it. They were just rejecting their stuff. And, yeah, and, and I think this is the position that all of Hollywood is in. There's no money. There's no money. They're all busted. And the biggest proof that they're all busted is there's never been a time in the history of cinema that there's been more horror movies in production than right now. Mm -hmm. And that's a bellwether. Oh, wow. Because that means we got to start earning money. We got to start making shit people actually want to see. Yeah. And that's low, what, like, with Guardians, good return on yeah. ROI for horror movies, yeah. And that's what Guardians has shown. Guardians Three is doing pretty, is doing better <laughs> than a lot of people expected, based on the current trend of Marvel movies, um, because so many Marvel movies have been disasters. Uh, and since basically since Endgame, uh, there's no interest in any of the shows. And Guardians is an outlier. It's not like right. Marvels is going to do what Guardians is doing, because Guardians <laughs> needed to be a movie that had good word of mouth to get people to go to the cinema, and that's like the Marvel. So everything they have scheduled is not going to be uh, resembling Guardians. It's going to be resembling the Eternals and, you know, Ant-Man and Thor, Love and Thunder. That's what they have coming up. And they know that they don't have anything that's actually going to get people talking. And well, Guardians Mario, didn't use up its goodwill. Yes. Like all yep. the other segments of the Marvel Universe did. Yep, exactly. And like on, the, on that topic... Sorry, just uh, critical jinker in the chat. He says, Echo is like a massive bout of explosive diarrhea. Yeah, it's pretty much. Just get it all out no. in one go. Yes, <laughs> yes. What's up, drinker? They, they, don't want people, they don't want people to talk about it for... On a week-to-week -week uh, like, basis. They don't want people yeah. to talk about it for six weeks. They want it yeah. one, we're going to make fun of it for a couple of days, and it'll be done. I'm going to spoil some of my Echo. video, but the, the, the it's twofold, right? Yes, they want it out of there. Uh, Daredevil's going to be in it, and it might be kind of a very a similar situation with Michael Keaton, Batman, and Batgirl. It's like, oh, fuck, we don't want to fuck up a better character in a shitty movie but they can't pull the plug on a movie starring an indigenous deaf woman who's uh got one leg an amputee leg. A yeah. a, an indigenous deaf amputee female lead i mean that kicks that that's four big boxes checked you can't fucking can't there, there is a positive there is a positive she's mute <laughs> i feel represented so yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But the other one I is... I think the writers had an easy time with her. So, <laughs> that, uh, Ryan. Right, Ryan. So they know it's not going to chart, but the only chance it could possibly chart on Nielsen is if you drop it all at once and you get those minutes watched up. That's the other yeah. reason they're doing this. It's not some, oh, we're changing our strategy. No, they're they're flushing it down the toilet with the possibility of it charting, and then they could go, it charted, bitches, see? And then, yeah. you know... The, the, the Disney uh, it stands is so will come transparent. out. Yeah, they, it's so transparent that by doing this, they have no faith in it at all. Like, it's an absolute acknowledgement that they think if they did a weekly release, viewership would go off a cliff because after people just watch the first episode, they'll check out. But now, yeah. dumping it all at once, they're thinking you know, it's higher chances people will binge the whole thing because it's just there. And There's a higher mean. chance. But it's, I'll tell you what, it's no guarantee. <laughs> yeah. That's people really probably won't guarantee. get past the first episode or two. It, it, yeah. I mean, it, this thing is DOA and they know it. We know it. Everybody knows it. So I was looking at Guardian's third week projections 29 to 35 million. It's not bad. It's not bad from, but it's still like, it'll be a 50% drop. So yeah, it's going to do okay. It's going to do okay. But it had that really like tepid. Like not very good really first week. Opening. Yeah, and internationally, uh, really, I think that the domestic is what it is. It's not going to make a ton more money here, obviously. No. Um, but in China, international is where we have to look because with fast coming out, that's going to do big numbers internationally. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, so how is it going to hold up? Because that's where it's making all of its <clears throat> not all of it, but a lot of its fucking money. Yeah, the what are its numbers are overseas for, oh, for Guardians, Guardians? They're really good. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. good. Um, yeah. That like way better people thought in China, especially. Um, I think the first two weeks in China, first sorry, first week and a half in China, it did over fifty million dollars. Yeah, that's great. Which, 
considering the MCU hasn't been released in China and the ones that had hadn't been doing very well, people weren't expecting that. And that's a little no. bit of fool's gold for them in the box office because they're barely getting any of that money back yeah, it's to 20, the studio. It's from 25% China. if you're 25%. lucky. If you're lucky. If right, you're lucky. 20 to 25%. Yeah. Well, so it looks good in the numbers to boost it comparison to like something like Thor. But you right. take that China number out and it's actually trailing, or it was trailing Thor Love and Thunder's first two weeks. So, so Disney yeah. is just from now on, you keep your black people out of the posters and make them the villain. You can do really well in China. Okay. So just want to point that out for you. Good job, Disney. I mean, you're, you're really they, inclusive there. They, they really, you know, just remember what you did to John Boyega on those posters. We don't forget. Uh, but yeah, so it, China's numbers are crazy for the movie. I crazy. think it's going to struggle against in. Fast X though, because given the two movies, I think I'd rather rewatch Fast X at this point because it's just a big dumb action movie that's kind of fun. Where Guardians Three, as much as I enjoyed it, was pretty dour. Not so much on the rewatch. Have you? I would say. Have you wanted to go back and see it? No, Guardians 3? No, not at all. How about you, Jeremy? No. Oh, yeah, I do. I, I love the movie. Do you want to go back and watch it? Mm -hmm. Hey, I mean, I enjoyed it. I, I thought about it, it, it and then I, I didn't do it. Really see it again. I'll probably just <laughs> get it on Blu-ray or whatever. I thought it was fine. Yeah. I thought it was fine. It's, it's the last good I didn't Marvel like it. It's a, it. I thought it was dumb. I didn't either. I thought it was uh, trying kind of hard in places. Mm -hmm. I, I, I loved it. I thought it, was a good, <laughs> I thought it was a good movie. I just wasn't super into it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the Guardians. I like uh, the comic book it was based on from the early 2000s, and I like the older one, too. Uh, it, although <laughs> the movie's nothing fucking like it, but I thought it was, the first I, two were fine. The third one is the third best. So I say it's the second best, and I liked part, part two a lot uh, more than most, uh, but I still think this one was better. I watched them two, again, and so. I definitely like two better. I definitely like two um, better. Where is it? So I haven't seen any of the uh, recent numbers, Ryan. Where is it at? Uh, like, is it tracking to hit seven, eight hundred million when it's all said and done? Potentially, Probably. is that where it's kind of looks like that way? It's we'll Maybe have to wait and see how this yeah, is. Yeah, it's, I, like, well, yeah. I think right now, anywhere from seven hundred to eight hundred plus is possible. But it's it really fucking matters. It but, matters a lot mm -hmm. where it ends up in that scale. It does, and where that money's coming from. There's a, I think it will depend whether it stalls out against Fast X. Well, or not. dude, it's not just Fast X. Well, and then there's the little. Mermaid, Little Mermaid, <laughs> Flash, <laughs> Indiana Jones, Flash, Indiana yeah. Jones. That's true, right? Yeah. Uh, because... Mission Impossible straight away in July. That trailer was great, by well, the way. Yes. Stuff, like you're not gonna have to worry. It's not gonna be making any kind of significant money in that period, like because it is gonna be so crowded. But you've got Fast X, Little Fucking Mermaid. Uh, I think what is it, Spider Verse that comes out week after? Spider Verse comes yeah. out the week after. Yep. Yeah. So you, you've got some things and. This weekend's really important to it to make a good fucking chunk of money internationally, and it's in its third weekend. I know the Spider Verse not tracking particularly well, though. Uh, I think it's tracking well compared to its first one, but the first yeah, one only okay. made three hundred million dollars worldwide. Yeah. So. I, I I'm not excited about the Spider Verse. I'm all I cannot wait to see pregnant Spider Woman fighting. That's going to be oh, just <laughs> they, they're fucking adding that shit in. They pulled that dry, really? right from the comic books. Yes, they yeah, did. Yeah. But, but they made a black this time. <clears throat> oh, okay. Jessica Drew, yeah. yeah so the they, got, they, they got a black Jessica Drew pregnant as pregnant. opposed to the white Jessica Drew. And pregnant. she goes out and fights. Pregnant. Yeah, you remember in the comics, I mean, I didn't read it, but I remember going through it, where the villains stopped fighting because they were worried about harming the baby. There was two comics. Yes, that that was. I think that was the Nova one, and then there's the Spider Girl one. Uh, this hell. this is uh yeah. Grandma was like, "What?" Chuck is like, "What?" So um, when you weren't at Marvel, uh, they they had pregnant women fighting, uh, wow. going into battle, because that happens all the time. Empowering, right? Yeah. Get rid of the progeny if you accidentally die. I mean, listen. You know, they, they had like a long scene in the Wheel of Time TV show of a pregnant woman. If you don't, I'm like, listen, guys, okay, like... to be fair, your life is in danger if you don't go to like uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken at three in the morning, but um, not in a full on battle. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Or Taco Bell. Or Taco Bell. Your life is in danger. You need to get up and go. You remember in Prometheus where uh, she's got the, the alien in her and she goes into that pod and it does the, 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 the removes the. 
the, mm. the creature from her. It stables her up and everything. And uh, then in two, two minutes later, she's out running around. Uh huh. Yeah. Jumping oh, yeah. Him. Oh, yeah. That happens all the time. Well, that, that's Numi Rapace. She gets the special dispensation. It's the most abused <laughs> woman in cinema history. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, remember I mean, when I, I just had a minor hernia surgery and I couldn't get out of bed for three days. Re remember when Arya Stark got stabbed? Oh, but Graham, Graham, there's a, there's a distinct difference. You're not a woman. So, there you go. Yeah, so, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 What exactly is a woman, though, Shad? Well, it's. Well, it's, that's, that's a. You know, it's are you a biologist? Whatever it's, woman you find out till your wedding night. <laughs> oh it's Arya Stark. It's Arya Stark getting stabbed seventeen <laughs> times in the stomach and then walking around like a sewer-filled lake or, or river, or creek, or whatever the fuck she was in Bravos. You guys don't remember that? Remember when she got stabbed like a bunch in the stomach and then just started fighting with a stick afterwards? Good times. <laughs> Am I the only one still scarred by Game oh, of Thrones? Oh, Maybe. Are you talking about um, Arya Game Stark? Of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Arya uh, Stark? I I only know House of the Dragon. I don't know what Game of Thrones is. Yeah. I, I wish I that. I wish I could forget. I wish I could forget. Uh, That's why that fucking actor strike is big because they're going on without writers for some of these projects, right? But yes, you can't go on without actors. It. So well. And well, they've been going well, on without some, talent some, for a long time. Some of time. them you can, I guess. Some sure. of them you can because if you've done your rewrites and locked the script and you have a good yeah, like if with, you're ready, yeah. Yeah. What, <clears throat> what I mean is without actors. No, no, actors you're right. You're right. But you like can. even with like locked scripts, there are rewrites. There are situations, especially in TV shows, where you can't, if especially if you're filming on location, something happens and it requires a rewrite. Like can't get the set, can't get that location some act of God. And I, I personally think a lot of these guys, the ones that are going on are just lying. They're actually, yeah, I think they are they're too. working through it. They, they, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Plus if you need rewrites, you can always turn to someone who's not in the guild. Um, Chuck Dixon. Um, you know, as, uh, as someone who's uh, involved in two productions currently. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's a writer's so strike. Watch and... out that one dipshit from Star Trek might make fun of you and threaten your job or something like that. Oh, you mean oh, Will Wheaton? Will Wheaton? Wee wee. That's what Star Trek would be without writers. She couldn't, you couldn't even get them to hold the fucking phaser the right way around, you fucking retard. <laughs> And you want to go f fuck off, G Jesus Christ! That pew pew wee wee was better than anything fucking said in Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dog shit piece of crap! Wow. Yeah. Sorry. There was a writer strike, and <laughs> well, if there's a writer strike, but the writing gets better, we now know why. We now know why. Well, the thing is, they're striking Stop at them. the wrong time. Yes. I mean, the they should have. They should have threatened the strike. The, the week after Netflix announced they were going to be creating new content. That's mm. when you strike. Yeah. I'm striking now. There's no money. No. There's no money to pay these guys. And and like like one of you said, I can't remember who. Yeah, they want more money up front because uh, it's a sinking ship. Yeah. They they don't I mean, want to they don't want to sit there and wait and see if what they wrote is good or successful. And I, and I get that from a certain perspective. Like I get not wanting to have to rely on a million other things going right for you to get a big payday from something or even get paid period for something. Uh, but at the same time, that's, that's one of the reasons that we have this problem now in the entertainment industry is because the writing's so fucking horrific. Yeah. Like, sure. Just across oh, the board. Absolutely. So of course they want to get paid up front and not have to worry about putting out a dog shit product. And you know what you're going to get then you're going to get even more identity politics laden drivel because guess what? It won't matter if it performs or not. It mm. won't matter if people like it or not. They got to put their agenda in there and they get paid. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think the that's problem is, the, the, you know, the race to create so much content. I mean, all of a sudden there was this race, content, content. I mean, look, you, you're, you're saying yourself, look, Disney took all of these shows off and you never heard of almost any of them. Yeah. You know, I hear about network shows. I mean, that's been in its sixth season. I never freaking heard of this show. You know, so there's so much content out there. You had to scrape the bottom of the barrel for writers. And this mm -hmm. is the result. And now we're at the bottom of the barrel, and that's that's the majority of writers. And this will be a purge. Uh, the strike will, I mean, the, the, the studios are going to use this as an excuse to cancel a shitload of shows. 
Oh, and, and renegotiate contracts. And renegotiate contracts. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Um, the funny thing about AI that the WGA guy brought up, uh, and I just find it interesting, uh, not the biggest fan of AI writing, which is just an advanced search right now, but um, they, they're all, it was like a last minute demand from them. So they're in the negotiations and, and they thought like, this will be an easy one. This will be one they absolutely agree with. And they just want, uh, it was something, I'm paraphrasing, but it's something like the first writer on the project gets credit. So the first human being on the project, if they use an AI, and this is just all hypothetical right now, because there is no, to them, there's no AI like writing a full script for, for a film or ever. And they just thought this was easy. Like, okay, fine. You know, like in the future, we might use AI, but we'll give the first human who writes on the show credit. And they said no. And they didn't even like, they didn't even counter. <laughs> and then they said and then they went oh fuck they're already working on this oh shit they <laughs> shit themselves <laughs> <laughs> they already have it and they've been yep. using it <laughs> look, look producers have been using screenwriting programs for years to make it sound like they actually have ideas yeah so um you know i mean when they give you notes at the big studios a lot of that is computer generated so AI is just going to be more of that. Yep. I mean, that's another reason this was the stupidest time in the world to strike. Yeah. You know, they should, and they should have been standing up against these screenwriting programs from the beginning, but they never did. They uh, never had a word to say about well, it. Well, the, the WGA negotiator said we hadn't even heard of AI until six months ago. And I'm like, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, I, uh, I, I need to bounce really quick. But before I do, you guys have got it all wrong because you think Disney doesn't have a plan. They, well, they just announced their newest project. What's that? And oh, it's going to be a big one. This right will here. save it's Disney. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one right here. Oh so my Walt God. Disney oh my God. presents <laughs> Gorlock. <laughs> Gorlock. And uh, yeah, the destroyer of the podcast. <laughs> <clears throat> Yes. That's a movie I'd see. <laughs> yeah. so great. It is. I Honestly, would I would watch the fuck out of this. I right? really would. Like, I would. I would so go check that out. If, so. if, if, if they have the right angle on it. <laughs> <laughs> if there's, there, if you want to watch things like, on itself. if yeah, when it looks like a a piece of floss could blindfold someone, you know they're fucking fat. <laughs> um, Damn, wow. I feel like Moana really let herself go. <laughs> if you want stuff like this, Jeremy, it's all over the, my 600 pound life you should do a fucking watch <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> oh man I've, I've had to sit and watch a couple of those episodes over the years it's just fucking disturbing i don't know why anybody would actually watch those shows yeah when you're just like um, rooting so. for people to kill over and die <laughs> yeah. so. it just makes me feel so oh. much better about myself <laughs> yeah, oh, it really my does. yeah that's about the only that's the only good thing to come up come from it all right guys thank you chuck graham pleasure to be on with both of you as always Thanks, the rest of you can go fuck yourselves have a good <laughs> night 199 out i'll see you guys on cobra cast later tonight bye everyone bye, bye. Hey, jeremy bye. Bye. asshole bye. <laughs> <laughs> now right. that he's gone let's talk about him let's talk about <laughs> it <laughs> maybe he'll make a video someday <laughs> we can only hope we can only help. Hey, uh, you want to pull up the the fucking Fu Manchu book, looking weird? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe Frankenstein, part two. Hey, it's gone up yeah. to thirty four thousand four hundred and seventy. Nice. Uh, Thank you, today. Thank you, backers. Mm -hmm. All right. I still got to do mine too. Thank you. I, everyone. I love this one. <laughs> yeah. Grandma's Buy a Grandma dog. cigar. <laughs> I got yeah. a pumpkin. I got a cigar. I'm gonna. I'm Looks not like gonna... you're using your dog to light the cigar. <laughs> it does. It does. Oh, wow. it's passed out. Yeah. Doggy roadkill. Oh, get yourself a guy. Get yourself a slab. Get yourself a slab. Get yourself on, a man. slab, but also get a copy to read. Uh, and yeah, yeah, the two pack. You got to get the two pack. Well, scroll down. Sc pack. Well, scroll up for right a second. Like, I want to see all the perks on this. Could you scroll up, X-ray girl? So we got the double trouble. Forty-five dollars. Got it. Uh, mm -hmm. 85 claimed. I'm gonna get that one. Then you could buy Graham a cigar. You should again. I got a cigar from uh Robert Barnes. I'm gonna, oh, oh. Nice. I might smoke mm -hmm. it this week. Just watch it. It'll be my Disney is burning cigar. I might go back and enjoy <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe Frankenstein no. Nolan cover for $25. Uh, 127 claimed. That's awesome. Go down. Uh, Joe Frankenstein variant, variant. So you need to get all the variants too. 
And then here comes yeah, they're going to be the rarer ones because those don't ever go back in, into print. And then you mm-hmm. get the graded one signed. Got, a, got signed. myself a slap sign. Yeah. Slam. Is this this one here? You get all yeah. this in that one. I'm sorry. Bookmark. Is it this one here? With the bookmark the, vinyl, oh, vinyl logo. Yes, logo. that's the one that's that, that's slabbed. Yeah, the the Nolan uh, cover. Nice. I'm yeah, just gonna yeah. get them all. I'll I'll even get Graham a cigar. Fuck it. I'll do it. I'll get you a <laughs> cigar, smoke. buddy. I'll smoke it. Oh, good. You better. I love the Me signature. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, thank you. Now, this just remember is... to be careful because Indiegogo will automatically try and tip themselves. Tip themselves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very Take that Indiegogo yeah. tip off because they are shadow banning people and. In... You shut up, and you get no fucking tip, and you go. Yep, yep. you right. get fucking <clears throat> shit. And is this one? Do you feel is this one getting out there, uh, Graham? It or is, is it uh, okay? Neither this one or part one were shadow banned. Good, nice. Oh. Yeah, that's good to hear. Ghost of Matacumba Key still is, but <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> but that one's been my most successful campaign yet. Good. Oh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, I am. I'm I really exactly. yep. uh, It's going to be so friggin' amazing and, and eerie and creepy and cool. Hell yes. I can't wait. Uh, awesome. Chuck, what do you. Oh, you. Mm, yeah, I can't say anything about that. But uh, you got anything <laughs> coming up? <laughs> yeah, that was close. Uh, I was close. <laughs> I was close. I got a big mouth. I'm terrible. Don't tell uh-huh. me shit. <laughs> but uh, you got anything coming out? Uh, I got that Conan novel on Amazon yes. and uh, a bunch of stuff got I'm it. working on that I can't talk about. I got it too. Mm-hmm. I got it. I got it. It's in my Black Conan Citadel. section. Black Citadel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Look at Truck that. Cover. If you can't get it from Amazon, truckdixon.net. Yeah. That's probably the best place yeah. to buy it, right? Is chuckdixon.net. Oh, actually, That's Arkhaven. Arkhaven. The Arkhaven. There you go. Oh, you got a free nope, ebook. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. nice. So. There you go. Awesome. Women who know their place. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, yes. Um, Mark of reality. Oh, wait, no, sorry. We'll get back to you, Mark of reality. I got ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself. Who did that cover, Chuck? Was that Richard? Uh, Bond? It's Adamir Leal. Oh, okay. Uh, he's, uh, I don't know where Adamir's from. Guy's amazing. He's getting be- yeah. better all the time. That's some and- damn fine art. Yeah, we're yeah, working yeah. on a. I'm working on a Midnight's War spinoff. It's like a cop thing set in the vampire universe, and he's just blowing me away with the awesome. Artwork. Cool. I mean, it's like Rodolfo DiMaggio level. Wow. Nice. Craftsmanship. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Are you price. doing another Conan book? I want to do the cover. Oh, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay. <laughs> well, I've already written the second one. I'm halfway through the third. In fact, I came on this show. I was about to get Conan laid, but I had to come on this show. Oh, <laughs> we, we cock block Conan. Cock block Conan. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. That's a claim go. to fame right there. Ah. There you go. Dang. Uh, did you hear? Uh, Co- Before I pass away, children. So Co- a good at a time, I cock block Conan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the Conan, this, this is probably good news. The Conan uh, Netflix series did not work out. Thank yeah, God. Good yeah, yes, that's that is good news. I think it's good news. Um, well, yeah. So they're back to the drawing board. and uh, yeah, Oh, I, well. I, I, yeah. Uh, so, Conan, you need a lot of violence, a lot of sex yep. of the heterosexual variety. Right. <laughs> yes. Sexy men, sexy women. Buff dudes, yeah, right. sexy ladies. Lots of battles. Lots how of many, battles. Yeah, but how many, yeah. how many trans people, though? Mm, um, uh, all none. of them. Oh, that's why they, That's why Netflix couldn't do well, it. Well, you could no. put in an Australian, uh, and they'll cook all the women. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Chad? <laughs> what? Oh, hang on, what? <laughs> Conan. Conan and cooking women. Conan and here? cooking women. Conan uh, and cooking women. Does that ring a bell, Shad? Does that ring a <laughs> bell, Shad? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, really? oh, yeah. Okay. This is all foreign to me. <laughs> well, of course it is. You're course foreigner. It is. I'm frightened and confused. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Neo Strife for fifty dollars. Says hey all. Hey, I would love to send help to youtuber metatron who is currently in youtube jail i think he just got out he's and out he's, he's out. out 
<laughs> and could nice. use some support. So love the fellowship. Bunch of lovely people in this fellowship. Shad, I love your crew on your channel. Signed up to support you. Oh. Thank you, man. And so the Metatron situation was really weird. His whole channel got demonetized flat. And then he had to uh, go through all this verification ID stuff through AdSense. And I've never had to do that. And so it really gives me the suspicion <clears throat> that there was a mass flagging campaign against him because he's been making these phenomenal videos. Uh, like he's, he is ripped into the Cleopatra bull crap because he's uh, been showing historical sources. This is what it is. And he explores you know, what was the LGBT, you know, um, representation in ancient Greece? Let's actually look at the sources. And it will surprise you. It's nowhere near as big as what, you know, the mainstream likes to push. And so he's making these great videos. And now suddenly he has to show that, prove his identity through um, AdSense and everything. And it gives me the impression that there really feels like there was a mass flagging campaign just trying to say, this guy's a fraud. He's a fraud. Don't do it. Everything. And suddenly, you know, everything gets demonetized. And now, now you have to prove your identity. Luckily, <clears throat> he, you know, he was able to get a hold of someone uh, at, through AdSense and bring it back. But to maintain his, um, main, actually maintain his monetization, he still has to prove his identity. They're sending out like a, a they, they're sending him a code through regular mail. That he what? has to confirm in the next four Jesus. months. Otherwise, they will remove his monetization still. That is I, wow. I've, I've, that is ridiculous. Random bullshit. That is I yeah. think there was I've I think there's something have, no. I think there's something wibbly wobbly with verification at the moment because uh, I've set up a, a another channel, HVB Gaming. It's linked to H Heel versus Babyface, just like Hot Toys. It's all linked, it's all same AdSense count. Yep. And uh it wouldn't verify. <laughs> And I'm just like, what is this verification? And you, because you, and you actually have to image yourself to verify. It's one of the ways. So I imaged myself, wouldn't verify. I was like, what? Did it again? Wouldn't verify. It says, sorry, you failed two verifications. You've got to come back in a month's time. Oh. So I, so I contacted my YouTube manager uh, the next working day. I was just like, how can a, an account, how can this this channel, which is on my main account, attached to it? Where I've got, where I'm on the fucking camera every day, <laughs> not get a facial verification. Anyway, it he didn't even like, have to reply to me. It got, it just got, it just got changed. It from, sounds uh, like to one break. of those things where it might be good intentions because there's so much fraud and hacking going yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it also, I, it sounds like they might be changing something in the verification soon because they really, I mean, they pin their it, fucking it, hopes it, on shorts. They really did because that was going to be a great revenue stream because shorts can, like, uh, a company can fuck people over on shorts. Uh, well, yeah, the revenue stream wasn't going to be for the fucking content creators. No, it so, wasn't. No. Uh, so a couple of things, just to end off the, um, the Metatron stuff. Like, I've never seen this type of verification through AdSense ever. And the fact that Metatron has to go through all these, you know, hoops to um, keep his monetization just gives me vibes, strong vibes that there was a, a mass flag on his account saying yeah. it's fraudulent. And now uh, as a result, AdSense is saying, <clears throat> well, you have to prove who you are because there's all these reports of, and it seems like the type of response that you get from a certain, you know, very, uh, uh, strong group of people who uh are you know they certain put they push certain narratives online yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 That, yeah. that's ideologically another. driven people yeah certain ideological people that have responded very negative to his really good videos um and also just now onto the shorts thing i th i think the shorts algorithm has actually changed once again yes because now shorts are not getting pushed as heavily as they were like because I, I i experimented with this i did shorts and they got insane views now i got my flyers now... <laughs> Thank you. Right, thanks for the information christy wow yeah they changed something like <laughs> wednesday night thursday morning <laughs> Uh, no, they've changed something this week. <laughs> Something's going on this uh, Who knows what it is? Uh, they, uh, but yeah, when I was uploading a video, it literally took like an hour to process. Normally, that thing processes in like minutes. There, there was a there was a like a ten hour period or something where they were having issues processing. Yeah, like things were yeah. upload, but they were processed. Yeah. It's just it's normal. Oh, it's normal. Gosh. It works. It's yeah. like whatever they change, guys. If you're a content creator, and you're not bored by this conversation. Um, it works itself out mostly within a month. 
whatever whatever drastic change they make. That's why I knew the shorts thing wouldn't fucking last. Uh, mm-hmm. They're still going to push them. They're still going to be part. But, like, how many times, how many things have they, like, oh, try this, and then it just gets fucking <laughs> just completely forgotten. I know. Uh, <clears throat> you know. It, so it's, with, it's, with these tech companies, it's it's easy to uh, go into uh, um, a them against us <laughs> mentality. And it's not always a big conspiracy, you know. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, yes, uh, Indiegogo has been shadow banning. But I don't know that it's 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 them as a company that's doing it. Or if there's one bad apple that's in there that's doing it, or um, uh, or, or what's happening. But the the problem with them is that there's no response, mm-hmm. and that's the issue that that I have. Not mm-hmm. that I mean the shadow ban is whatever. It's it's really irrelevant because I bring the backers to me. Not they don't bring the backers to me. So. A shadow ban just keeps people from hearing about, say, Joe Frankenstein or Ghost of Matacumba Key on a show, and then they go to look for it, and they can't find it because if they don't have the direct link. That's the only time it, it really um, becomes a problem. But, like, just recently, uh, Indiegogo made an upgrade to their um, – uh, their uh, what do they call the sign-up page, the pre-launch page, and they changed the format on it and stuff, and, and – and, during that process, all of a sudden, where it says like my name and what town I'm from, it says my complete address. What? Oh yeah, yeah that's not good. Yeah. Oh no. It, 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 I'm it coming around right to say hello. Uh, it, yeah. It was, well, my complete address is in my comic book, so you don't got to look hard. <laughs> 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 you know, it's 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 where the office is. Um. So you know, uh, people were screaming, "Oh my God! You know, this is bad." You know, yeah, it's bad. But was it intentional, or was it just one of those you know program glitches where it popped oh. up? Because it was gone within um, less than twenty less than twenty four hours. Yeah, I heard they laid off a bunch of people. That might be part of it too. It was a while ago. Yeah. Uh, well, and oh, having yeah. worked in the tech it's- industry, specifically coding, shit like that happens all the time, and it's not always malicious. It's just. Bugs happen. Things right. don't get properly tested. Things get rolled out. And especially with the way code gets pushed out these days, it, it, it's like a rolling thing. So they don't roll back anything. They just keep pushing everything forward. Well, so it might take a couple hours. And they're in San Francisco. So you need to like, uh, yeah, they're probably all working from home still. Uh, yeah. Right. They're cleaning the shit off their shoes, yeah. you know, and that takes mm-hmm. time. You can't, mm-hmm. you know, can't properly. I was re- Dude, I was reading a story. Oh, God. Somebody somebody emailed uh, it. Well, I forgot Financial Times, big article on San Francisco where they did art that uh, looked like Last of Us San Francisco. Like all the buildings <laughs> had like fucking uh, you know trees growing through them and shit. It looked post apocalyptic. And uh, uh, some tech op- entrepreneur was at the park in the dog patch. I know right where that is. And his kid stopped breathing and started turning blue. And he's like, "Fucking what the hell?" So they're administering CPR. They thought he choked on something. Uh, paramedic makes it in time, gives him that this little not a nasal spray that wakes him up. So the kid survived. Uh, turns out the kid found some fentanyl on the fucking ground <gasps> and licked it and <gasps> almost died. Uh, and then then the paramedics I can't the pa- yeah the paramedics yeah literally and the paramedics like telling stories of uh, there's this other group they're called um, Urban Alchemy. And they're basically like the guardian angels, so they're 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 oh, security wow. that runs around San Francisco now, uh, and they're it, saved people from ODing. Yeah, yeah, but he's he's saved no thir- saving people one, from stepping on dog shit. One organization has saved human shit. <laughs> Thirteen hundred people in the last year. By the way, twice as many people have died from fent- or from overdoses on the streets in San Francisco than died of COVID in two thousand and twenty. So twice oh, as God. many. Yeah, uh, I believe that. All the buildings. Wow. Uh, there's thirty percent occupancy. In all the buildings, Nordstrom's is leaving. Everybody's wow. leaving. Yeah. Uh, it is fucking nuts. It is how like how bad that city has gotten. Uh, but you yeah, know, five, years, five years you'll be a dead city. It'll be you, dead. Yeah, you know your be city Detroit. is bad when they have an app where you can chart the human feces on the street. Oh. Yes, it's yeah. Detroit 2.0. It is. And yeah, they, they never thought it could happen, and that's yeah. that's the that's the danger of voting the same motherfuckers in. Every yep. year, and and even mm-hmm. in this article, they found a way to blame fucking Republicans. That's what, like, I'm like, oh, you <laughs> got to be kidding me! Like, uh, a, a Rep- like a, a Republican hasn't been power in that town since before I was born, which is they'll long leave, fucking go time to ago. another state, and they'll vote exactly the same as yep. they always vote. Yep, that's right. 
<clears throat> and they'll fuck that other state out and then I'll move on. It's like parasitic. Spreading the virus. Yeah. Yeah. The mind virus. Oh, and, and a lot of the shops there are still requiring masks and stuff. It's like, oh, oh really? Wow, really? I don't miss it. I don't fucking miss it. Uh, John Grimm on the Streamlab side for one hundred and fifty dollars. I love his brother Ben. What was that? I love his brother Ben. Ben, Gr uh, it's Grimm, not Gr not Grimm. Oh, you can't speak properly. Uh, well. <laughs> I am American. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Jesus I can't no wait to see. Uh, I can't wait to see what woman plays Ben Grimm in the Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> yeah, I love when the that Mila Kunis rum rumor got out there, great. and it was so ridiculous. But everybody's like, "Yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> I can believe it. Exactly. I can believe it. Yeah." I wish they had done the Fantastic Four in in Phase One. Yes, because in Phase One mm. they had people that really were going back to the source material. And, you know, I mean, Captain America, the Avengers, uh, Thor, Iron Man, all of those were, were, you know, almost dead on to the source material. Uh, and the Fantastic Four, unfortunately, is coming in now in phase, <laughs> what, six, seven, whatever. Uh, and, 58. I mean, six. they've done freaking Shang-Chi before the dumb the Fantastic Fan Four. That's, <laughs> and it, yeah. it's going to be the, uh, and the it was Shang -Chi. Fantastic Four. Well, I, I, I was joking, <laughs> uh, joking that there'd be a, um, a lesbian thruple with Johnny Storm, and it's just them making fun of him the entire time because he's like the only normal person. Oh, it'll be the Pantastic Four. That's what it is. Pan <laughs> 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 I, I, I yeah, Dr. Doom really will have a doctorate in education. Yeah. yeah. He's a <laughs> social worker, gender, gender studies. studies. <laughs> yep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> God. It writes and, itself. And that's, that's the thing, like, Kate. <laughs> you look at all the characters. So we're going to have Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, uh, America Chavez, Echo, Ironheart. All these characters are getting shows and in movies before, you know, Fantastic Four. Now, to be fair, they didn't have the rights for a while. They didn't. Yeah, um, right. You know, they didn't have the rights when it, for Phase 1, so now they finally have, but they've had them for a while. They've had the rights of Fantastic Four and X-Men for a while now. Yeah. And, man, they, they're they really dragging their feet on this entire thing. They really well, I mean, are. There was another Hulk movie. Why didn't they make another Hulk movie? Uh, Universal. Universal, Universal no, owns oh, that. Right, Universal? Yeah. Yep. Well, so why didn't Universal <laughs> make another Hulk movie? I mean, why didn't well, they cash because, in on that? Because they emasculated the Hulk. Oh, well, I know that. I know mentioned. that. Yeah. I wonder if yeah. I, I I wonder if Universal can. I think they, they have the distribution rights. That's what kept the solo Hulk movie from happening. Yeah. I would imagine uh, one of the provisors of the deal with Marvel is that Universal can't make a Hulk movie. Well, I heard with the X Men, there is a contract that carried over with the younger X Men from the new X Men run. That runs mm. out in 2025. That if they had to make an X Men movie, they had to use some of them or go to them first or first writer. I, I that's what I heard. I don't know if it's fucking true, but like dragging your feet this long on the X Men makes no fucking sense. Uh, 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 and the Fantastic Four introducing America Chavez, Echo, Ironheart, like Ryan just said before the fucking Fantastic Four is ridiculous. It's yeah, uh, but those are yeah, all but it's a scam. It's just a scam well, it, to get it, the creators of those paid. That's it is. It is because America Chavez was created during Disney's era. Miss Marvel was created and now killed <laughs> during Disney's yeah. era. Uh, and the uh, same goes with uh, Miles, uh, Miles Morales and all those yeah. were all during Disney era stuff. So they it's it's all a way to fuck over yeah. creators. And, uh, you know, yeah, they probably don't they have to pay the movie shit. before now. Invaders? Yeah. Yeah, they should have made an yeah. Invaders movie. Hell yes. Yeah, you, you can't oh. you can't have anything with World War II or Nazis. Oh, wait, Union Jack. We're getting a form of Union Jack in Secret Invasion. It's uh Olivia Coleman is going to be Union Jack's oh, granddaughter. I was going to say oh. what female is it going to be? Yeah. <laughs> I, Union Jack is one of my favorite characters. Best costume, fucking best costume. I love that Invaders 8 where he's on the cover. He's got his little buck knife on the side of him, just a big Union Jack great it's a great cover oh man. it's a kirby cover isn't it i don't think that's kirby who was the uh the artist on the event uh invaders was i frank forgot robbins it. yes frank robin yeah yeah but I, he, he didn't, didn't do, do the covers, do right covers who did the i don't think it was a kirby I cover i think that was kirby you think the so union jack whatever it was it was fucking what is awesome. it invaders number eight number eight yeah all right let's look i'll look we gotta know gotta know geeky minds want to know yeah inquiring minds need to know yeah it's kirby yeah. Okay. You're right. It's Kirby. Yeah. You could just see it right there in the Namor, right there. 
Ah, I love that cover, man. I bought that off the rack when I was a kid. I was like, what the hell's this? This looks awesome. Cool. Um, John. Olivia, no, no, I love Olivia Coleman, but seriously. I do. Olivia Coleman. But not as Union Jack. I'd rather see. <sighs> I mean, like, what, what? Didn't they spend $4 billion to buy a franchise that would appeal to boys? Yes. Yes. What the hell? Well, they got Disneyfied. It's um, like with everything no. they buy. Yeah, the same thing with Star Wars. They bought it because they needed a boy's brand. And well, no, well, that's they what he's talking about. A girl's brand. I, yeah, so. a, a, yeah. Yeah. a girl's brand is going to do what a girl's brand does. Make everything a girl's brand. That's what Disney yeah. Yeah. always kind of has been. Yeah. So, uh, John so, Graham. Hey, Gary. Yeah. Yes. You just mentioned, you know, the death of um, uh, Miss Marvel in the comics. I right? am and, so and, sad. And it's been hilarious on Twitter. Everyone's been celebrating. Yes. Um. It, it feels like a bait and switch. She, she'll be back. You know, yeah, of course. course, dude. Nobody yeah. really dies in Marvel. Yeah, but you see, Except they, for had Uncle to, ben. they had to do something yeah, with her in somebody Uncle else's ben. comic because hers keeps getting cancelled. <laughs> and nobody reads so it. So they were just like, fuck. Nobody's buying her comic because it's shit and she's a shit character. Uh, Spider-Man is the biggest seller, which is now in the fucking toilet and selling around 30,000 copies. Ooh, Let's shit. hide I know it is. Let's hijack that, that his. Real? Yeah, that's yeah. fucking real. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. About it's into the thirty thousands. Let's hijack his comic to push our dog shit character, and cuck him at the same time because we hate Peter Parker. They've tried everything in their power to destroy him as well, <laughs> and mm -hmm. then we'll triumphantly return her just before the Marvels movie, where nobody mm -hmm. will give a flying fuck. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let, and let's and to be fair former comic shop owner here uh we don't know what the real numbers are anymore it's it's yeah, purely a true. guess because without diamond uh marvel's not divulging these numbers for the same reason the streamers aren't divulging the numbers right. right they're really fucking low uh and even when they were a little better or a lot better back in 2013 2010 2013 i was selling a lot of comic books but still even some of the biggest sellers that were quote unquote sold out i'd have fucking stacks because we had to buy if we wanted to get those variants that we can yeah. mark up, uh, you know, I, I had to buy X amount. Of I had to buy X amount, so I've mm -hmm. got long boxes. Of st I I have lo I have a long box of Miles Morales first appearance. Long box. Long up. box. That was my nickname in college. Yeah. Hey <laughs> you had a lot of nicknames. Yeah, <laughs> she got around in college. So she did. Um, yeah. One of the guys I used to talk box. to here's some fantasies all the time talks about how the owner of the of the shop literally has a storage unit filled with unsold comics, like a yeah. huge storage unit, and not and we're and he has a large back room filled with long boxes too. I mean, there, there's so much that was crap. My nickname at college. <laughs> yeah, they, right? they have so much garbage that they will never sell. They, they did a facsimile. Uh, Yellow Flash was DMing me. He's like, hey, they did a facsimile of X Men number one, you know, the Jim Lee cover. And I'm like, oh, I've got a long box of those <laughs> in San Francisco. <laughs> I've got shitloads I mean, of those. Aren't, aren't, as a retailer, aren't you taxed on your inventory? Uh, yes. Yes, you are. So, well, so, no, I mean, you're, why have a storage unit? I mean, why uh, not just go to the dumpster? You're, you're taxed on, uh, in San Francisco <laughs> yeah. during my time, uh, you were tas taxed on an estimated value. Uh, I could certainly move stuff off site or it would be in my basement, which wouldn't be on site. But uh, they mostly right. taxed us on like fixtures and stuff. So uh, wow. you, you, the, the inventory was up to a certain number. I'm going off of memory. Uh, it could be have changed back then. But San Francisco would tax me on my point of sale purchase program through the fucking food board or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. They charged me $125. So you know what I did? I got fucking rid of it and I just wrote shit down. Wow. Uh, like they, yeah, because they wanted they, they wanted access to our point of sale purchase and they couldn't do it directly through taxes. So they did it through food so they can keep an eye on me. I'm like, fuck that. I got rid of it. Wow. Yeah, they're fucking terrible. Did wow. you have a lot of cardboard cutouts at the comic book store? Uh yeah, I did. Would you ever set up like a home alone situation? Like, uh, no, well, no, I, I make sure I, no homeless people broke in. <laughs> yeah, Chrissy, I had life size, I had a life size Iron Man, Superman, uh, Batman, Silver Surfer, two life size Spider Mans, oh. and a Supergirl. So I would just move them around, uh, yeah. and then dress. Okay, true story. I had a customer, I had a customer, he was really weird. Uh, uh, and he was one of the ones who made me deliver comics, but the guy bought like fucking five hundred dollars worth of comics a week. So I'm like, all right, oh, his house was two go. blocks away. 
deliver it fine. I just got my car after work. I dropped it off to Alan. I won't say what his last name is. Um, so he invites me in this house, dude. And this, I th- this is the closest I've ever had. The, like, oh, shit, I'm going to get cooked. I'm gonna- <laughs> <laughs> he didn't cook me. He, he ended up being or- nice, but he really wanted to show me his life-size mannequin collection where he had them all in, like, uh- French lingerie what? all if around his. Stella, I'll be like, no. All around his fucking house, Asian mannequins. By the way, X-ray girl. Oh my god. Um, and secret Asian mannequins. Yeah. <laughs> Guy was rich as hell. He was rich as hell, and yeah, had a bunch of mannequins all around his house that were fully dressed that had names and shit. I'm all, okay, names. I gotta go now. Uh, here are your comics. <laughs> oh, you're like a hot chick in this situation. On the yeah, dude. <laughs> probably saved a lot of money on dating. He probably well, probably yeah. that's why he had a bunch of money for comics. He seemed <laughs> hey, <laughs> I judge. He seemed like a fucking happy guy. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, then have a fucking woman. And I appreciated him as a customer. Before. He was a very loyal, cust- loyal customer for you years. You trying to finger your bee hole? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not, not even for five hundred dollars a week in, in comics. <laughs> no, not that cheap. Come no, on, that's like maybe a thousand. At least six fifty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back to John Grimm's one hundred and fifty dollars super chat. <laughs> All hail the fellowship, Gary. It's my first time. Ooh. Wow. Maybe somebody here will finger your b hole. Uh, wow. But don't be gentle. Okay, we're going to finger your b-hole. Uh, sadly, last week, <laughs> I was in a freak accident uh, and lost almost... Uh, who did we lose? Oh, oh, com- it's just Comics Division. X-Ray Girl. Uh, oh. yeah, it's, like, it's just X-Ray player. Girl. Uh, I was in a freak accident and lost almost... feel. Oh, no. I lost almost all feeling below the chest. In the hospital, hoping to get back on my feet soon. Vegemite sucks and hail FNT. Uh, dude, fast recovery. Ah, Holy that's shit. Luck, man. You, you want to watch Star Wars? You lose your feeling in you. your soul. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Jesus' ass. Um, <laughs> dude, shoot me an truth? email. Keep me updated on your progress, okay? Damn. Uh, send, send positive vibes to John Graham, please, chat. Uh, and nudes, indeed. And yeah, nudes. no dick pics. Yes, no dick pics. He needs to feel below his chest, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Uh, you gotta get feeling going. The Gen X Avenger. Your big toe. <laughs> the Gen X <laughs> Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> On the screen line side for fifty dollars. <laughs> um, Father Paging Father Christopher Miller. Uh, avoid going to hell again. Uh, some money to celebrate FNT's two. That's right, two hundred and fiftieth episode today, ladies and gentlemen. Two hundred and fiftieth anniversary. It's our two hundred and fiftieth anniversary. We've been streaming since the eighteen uh, hundreds, uh, uh, and uh, <laughs> feeling pretty good. Feeling yeah. pretty good. Uh, we survived the Carrie Chan event. used to pull a rickshaw when we first started there the we show. Go. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> She, she was a geisha. Uh, open bar, fi- uh, open bar fifty, ye- and also f- open bar fifty yesterday. And as of today, I completed my fiftieth lap around the sun. Oh, happy birthday, oh, you old oh. motherfucker! Gen X represent. Uh, I was like, wait, is he an astronaut? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. technically, we all are. Our spaceship is just Earth. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hey, our beautiful hey. flat Earth. <clears throat> They're making a wandering Earth part, too. They are? Okay. Yeah. That is the most ridiculous premise, I think, ever in a movie, but yes. that was still entertaining. It was still entertaining. <laughs> it was, it yes. was dumb, over the top fun. I yep. like. <laughs> Loved uh, it. I got the I got the one in six figures of them in my bedroom. Uh, my thanks to all the crew Make and the love. guest, Chuck Dixon. <laughs> Screw Graham. Uh, I'm not a comics guy, (laughs) but his quality work and skill is undeniable. Uh, It is. Amen. Chuck's written books. Amen. Comics. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Chuck's the man. Very kind. Gordon Cavanaugh has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Hail. Thank you. Oh, Sheep City. Black Aragorn. What's up, Sheep City? And how you doing? (laughs) 
Hail the fellowship from Nintendo. New Zelda game has sold more than 130 million units worldwide because you can make penises in it. Is that is that the case? You can make well, the, the number is not quite right, but yes, yeah, a lot. That's not quite. Yeah, that's, that's not 130. You can make 130 million penises if you want. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, but hey, hey. Um, speaking of Zelda, check out my new sword. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, nice. Out, nice, nice. Chrissy, that's wow. Zelda's sword. No, it's Link's I... sword. It's wow. Link's. It's the Master Sword. Hey, uh, it's a functional Master Sword <laughs> that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> What's he laughing at? I don't even know what, what the fuck he's. <laughs> Lying, Ryan got it wrong. He said oh, I was, I was try... sword. I was trying to trick Chrissy because I figured she had no idea. So I was like, "Look, Chrissy, wow. it's Zelda's sword." How dare you try to trick me? I know, evil. Um, but United Cutlery sent me this, and we're going to be doing a review on Shadowversity. Soon, hey, United so. Cutlery. It's it's... Yeah, Ooh, yeah. This is United Cutlery. So... Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. One of their functional ones. Didn't they say? Sense... Actually... I, I need to ask you a question. It's dangerously chopped. I need to, I need to do some oh, nice. I need to do nice. some personal shopping real quick so audience talk amongst I yourselves. Want a uh, so <laughs> they sent you a black fire, right? From House of the Dragon yeah. or was it Dark Sister? Yeah. Are they going to make Got it? it over there. It's already available. It, it's available? Um, for how much? I'm pretty sure. I, I definitely want that. I definitely So they they don't call it black fire, but it's close enough. Um yeah, I'll get it. I'll, I kind of want is it Dark, dark Sister. Shit. Dark Sister looks good, too. Like, yeah. Uh, Blackfire, Blackfire doesn't get fucking used. Dark Sister gets used. That's what I like about it. Uh, until it does, yeah. Well, they, they, yeah, both, yeah, I mean, they, they yeah. both eventually get used. To, but one yeah. does not get used in House of the Dragon. Well, yeah, it does. One does simply not get used. <laughs> one just gets held by the fucking king. Well, the king's does dead the dark now. Dark Sister only get used at the and, DMV? And it, go, it goes to an... <laughs> <laughs> I said representative. Yeah, that looks awesome. Oh yeah. Nice. It's actually a really sharp one as well. Um made by United Cutlery. United oh, Cutlery's like true. they make swords that will stab you. That if you sharpen so them. Yeah. Wow. Uh it's not not overly, but it's it's on the heavier side. So it's available. Right I How can much go does buy it. Weigh? it. I think it is. What's um, it called though? What did they call it? Is it not right, officially licensed? I thought they had the license for uh, a Song of Ice and Fire. Sorry, I'm chat. Not sure, that's an official license. I think it's more inspired by, and they okay. have a couple of ones that. Well, uh, Valerian make Steel makes that. stuff too, but the, I mean, it's like book swords that look <laughs> kind of cartoony. So, Chad, you should put <clears throat> Vegemite onto a slice of toast with one of your swords. Yes. <laughs> But it wouldn't come off the blade. Yeah, it would. It would. It would corrode the blade. Uh, so while you're looking that up, uh, Hail Fellowship uh, from Nintendo. New Zelda game has sold more than 130 million units worldwide. Mario movie has made 1.2. How much? How many units of did uh, Zelda actually sell? It's isn't it something like uh, like t 10 million in the first weekend or something like yeah, that? Yeah. I, I, oh I want to say it's somewhere around that. You know. uh, Mario Mario movies made 1.23 billion as of today. Super Nintendo World put Galactic Star Cruiser out of business in my head cannon. Uh, ah, Nintendo's cashing checks. There you go. Yeah, there Fuck Disney. <laughs> Ian so forth for 50 British pounds. How do you repurpose an abandoned Star Cruiser? That weird transport van might be the only actual asset they have left. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh mickey it, yeah so uh, the 130 million is the number of total units that zelda every single zelda That's, game yeah, in yeah, existence yeah. Oh. has sold um 10 uh, million for tears of the kingdom though in kay. the first weekend basically. That's yeah. good they sold a lot of games mickey wheeler for 50 dollars <laughs> uh we got some sad news my dad passed away after his battle with cancer very sorry very sorry yeah, fuck cancer uh, while he was in hospice, we were watching As playing Miss Survival. As jumped on the roof and shot the chicken. My dad laughed so hard. Thank you all for making us laugh, Hail FNT. Aww. Aww. Lots of love, man. Lots of love. Sorry about that. Yeah, fuck cancer. Uh, WG has gifted 
two, uh, how many? It says two no, parts. No, it's a two part super chat. Oh, I thought it was gifted. Uh, oh, there, there he does say before. something. Uh, not so freebie chat. Uh, it's two parts for $100. Hail hey, WG. My last super chat had a typo. I hate typos, Gary. I just hate them. I got I got what you're saying there, WG. I got your sense, little Raiders. All right. I like the way he typed it. It's like something my parents would say. No so freebie chat. <laughs> wow. No so freebie. <laughs> no so freebie for you. But uh, I was able to post the link in the chat there for you, Gary. Thanks, so that, buddy. I am so Not getting that. I am so getting that. Uh, bad Rememory Show for $50. I just started watching Classic Who. Good. I can't believe it took me this long to get around to it. Glad I found this channel and show to point me in the direction to sh classic shows like Who. All hail the Throw chat and pineapple pi pizza. Mm. Heck yeah. Um, yeah, Doctor Who's like, it's an acquired taste for some people, but I think it's the greatest show ever made. Fucking love it. Love it. Had a great time talking about half of our top ten lists for three hours on Real BBC. Yeah. Uh, and, and we but got the next, this one coming this week. You're gonna have to wait another week because we've got Graham and yeah, Chuck. yeah. We're gonna have to push it off. But uh, it got a lot of people <laughs> watching. Like some of the episodes we we talked about. I mm. thought that was really fucking cool. Well done. Uh, UX. Uh, how am I supposed uh, to I think it's just call me? X Galic. X -galic? Excellent. I called you a bitch, as but I uh, <laughs> uh seventy nine ninety nine Australian. There you go, Shad. Funny money. Next time you call me a bitch, slap my ass while you're saying it. <laughs> I'll have comics do it. Oh. Uh, Shad, okay. I got your back here. We should train kangaroos to defeat emus. Um, on second the kangaroos thought, kangaroos are on the emu side. <laughs> that's a very about? bad idea. Well, well, well it depends. Yeah, on second it, it thought, the... sometimes the emus train them, and then we train them. You know. <laughs> on second thought that's a very bad idea never mind gotta go to work we'll be watching later all hail the fellowship all hail to you and it will be available on this channel spotify itunes oh shit god dang it i i forgot to record the starting of this episode x-ray girl yes. and uh and i forgot to record the audio <laughs> like i'm supposed to because i'm still get it back right you know <laughs> you can get it yeah it's still good. It's still good. It's just a little airborne. No, no. I mean, I I bought all this nice equipment like to record things separately <laughs> and all this shit, and I always forget. I gotta put a fucking <laughs> note up or something. Got too big of a project going on here, Gary. And I'm just much production value. No, I, Sorry. Yeah, I know. I should just go back to my fucking That's a me problem. Uh, what my little brio. <laughs> <laughs> my little That's snowball. What I have now. That's my fucking upgrade. Yeah. That's what I'm using right now too. Uh, WG. Again, for $100. WG! When I'm on my deathbed, I want to be made an honorary executive with Disney Lucas. That way I can kick the bucket. You can feel at least, you can at least say no one of, uh, no one, not, one of those asshats died. What is that? That way, when I kick the bucket, you can at least say one of those asshats died than one of us. Okay. That's dark. How about you just continue living, WG? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try not to frighten and confuse me with your letters that I can't read. Uh, Max Power for $50. <laughs> Don't disparage Discovery Plus. I love watching Cutthroat Kitchen. <laughs> it's like Mario Party, but for cooking. Okay. <laughs> what else is on Discovery Plus? I watch history. I don't watch Discovery. I watch all the weird shit. I've on been history. binging Bar Rescue on Paramount Plus the past couple days. I um, was hooked on that for a while. Yeah, it's all the same. It's the same shit, but John Taffer comes in, yells at a bunch of incompetent fucks who have just destroyed their bar. <laughs> There's always some blowout with some dumb fucking idiot who doesn't want to admit it's their fault. And then they bring him in, they stress test him, they fail utterly, they rebuild everything, they build their confidence, and then it goes off swimmingly. And oh, they Except leave. Except the pirate one. There's the a couple that don't go well. Yeah. Yeah. There's this one. This this guy. He he opened his restaurant. It was pirate themed, and all the everybody had to dress up as a pirate, and he had to talk like this, matey. You know, all this kind of stuff. And it was tanking. And so he comes in. He was in Washington D.C. I think. And Taffer comes in. He goes, "This is ridiculous." Uh, and he he builds this new brand for him and everything. And he's got people coming in. Well, 
you know, they do the 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 whatever happened to it. What happened after? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, six months later, he went back to the pirate theme, and, and then he's out of business. He's out of business. Yeah. <laughs> yep. so, uh... I, yeah. There's some like there's some people that are just too dumb on there. Obviously, a lot of that stuff is staged, yeah. like to to a certain point. Not, but some of it's obviously real. Like there's actual real people on there that um, sometimes they fuck up, like. A couple, like some of them, only last six months after they try to fit do something themselves because they think they know better and it fails. But yeah, go watch that show. John Taffer yelling at people never gets old. That's a tough, tough business. The restaurant bar business. Uh, and season yeah. eight, it, the most recent season is all about because it, it's because a lot of things were shut down because of COVID. Mm. So like that one's all about trying to get people back up and running after. Sometimes these people fail through no fault of their own. Sure. You know what I mean? Because the COVID shut them down and things like that. <clears> so it's a little bit different feeling season eight, mm. but it's really also kind of gay. Cause they're all like having to wear masks and uh, oh. like talking about, Hey, you know, there are people getting vaccinated and coming back into the bars. Cause that's the regulations there. So that's, Ugh. that's the shit part about this season, but still good. Yeah. I'm going to skip that then. <laughs> we, we, we live through that shit. I don't yeah, want to yeah. keep watching yeah. it because it was you filmed know. like right. a year and a half. Ryan, ago. you were yeah, talking I mean. about that. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of stuff that's going to still come out. We're going to look back on it, and like people are wearing masks, and we're like nobody wants yeah. to be reminded of that era at it's all. A sad time. It's there were some TV shows where they incorporated that in. Like uh, I don't know what that. It's one of those ones, not a CSI, like but Grey's Anatomy ones. did. I think did they. Yeah, I well, heard. I'm thinking of a, a, a court yeah, drama, not, you know, and they're they're in court and they they've got the masks on and everything. I'm like, oh, this is so stupid. It, stupid in real life, and it's stupid in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta wonder if they filmed alternate scenes without the masks. You know, because they had to know this isn't going to date well. No. Mm. Mm. Uh, hey Chuck, you got to get out of here. Yeah, I gotta leave. Yeah, but so. thanks for staying this long. I appreciate it. Well, it's been a blast. Yeah. Thanks for all the support from your uh, viewers. Of course. Awesome. And thanks for coming on and, Absolutely. and you know, being like just fitting in so well, not be, you know, not being like your typical creator, just not being afraid to say, speak your mind. I fucking love that, man. Yeah. It's wow. such a rare supply. <laughs> Yeah. Well, because uh, listen, I've I've talked to a lot of comic book writers. They're a bunch of pussies. Okay, a lot of them yeah, are a bunch of pussies. Uh, pussies. Yeah, yeah. and I'm you're gonna, not. I'm not going to argue that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with a lot of them too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for not being a pussy, Chuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Standing in the writers' room, going, "Stand up for yourself. Yeah. You to protect your corner. Defend your property. That's no, right. oh, whatever you want." Uh, I guess we'll talk to you Tuesday on on yeah. Oz's channel. See you, BBC. Tuesday. See you Tuesday. Looking forward to that, my friends. See you next Tuesday. Sorry. See you, buddy. Yeah. Bye, Chuck. Bye, Chuck. Take care, Chuck. See you, bud. We're, uh, Az, how you doing? Well, I got Chuck and Graham here, so I'm staying. Okay. Well, we got we if got. This a, was if this was uh, any other week, though, I'd be gone. You'd be gone. I know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling you right now. I'd be, it's right. I would have it's, three hours oh. on the dock gone. It's what twelve o'clock? No, it's past. It's 12, uh, right? half past midnight here. Half past midnight. Okay. Mm. Shit, we've kept you up wow. to four in the morning before. I'm not feeling bad at all. It's uh, yeah. your it's not bedtime, like uh, Daddy. It, it ain't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, oh, hey. Oh. Hey, 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 that'll hey. wake him up. Hey, yeah. Hello. Oh, I, uh, you keep, you keep talking about that. You wow. keep talking about that. Pill. You look like you're in a J.J. Abrams movie <laughs> with your Dutch pill. angle right there. What the fuck? Drink your Metamucil. You look like, at that <laughs> angle, it's like you look like you're twisted crazy or something. <laughs> yeah, it's like, As I was, I was Mission Impossible 3 vibes. Right? No, no Dutch angles everywhere. <laughs> My give, give me some lens like, flares. I just want to straighten your cam. <laughs> give me some lens flares. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Mo. Keep the Mo Dutch angle, so I look like I'm watching a Batman episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, those were so good. Mm. Uh, du you know, that's when they Ow. like the Dutch angles started coming in was Twilight Zone and Batman, and they were so cool back then. Right. Like, we know, will tip uh, the camera. This is gonna sound a, it's gonna sound a bit gay, but as you have lovely mm. blue eyes. They're you know, when they're really close up, yeah, they're, they're like look, pools. Look at look at those <laughs> like beautiful gay oh. pools. <laughs> you just got hit. You just got hit.
just got hit. You just got hit for guts theme. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, they they will they are hitting it every time now. Oh. Also, ice tea oh. means he's bisexual. Did we get hit, X-ray girl? I can check. I can check. Uh, that. Hey, hey, hey! Hide it. It's not it's not gay to appreciate another man's appearance now. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I or but okay, maybe maybe. I think the sex has, with men is fly. quite gay, actually, Shad. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, having sex is. Yes, we're so we're good. That. We're good. For now. For now. For now. For now. We'll see. We're not we're not all living in the land of discovery where everyone's baseline by. That's strange <laughs> new worlds too. Don't forget. And somehow the human race is still existing. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Strange new worlds comes out and uh, I don't give a fuck because I'm not gonna watch have, it. I was gonna it say have sucks. fun with that. Yeah, oh I mean, fuck yeah. yeah. No. No. I'm gonna have you fun know, with the witch. Next month is Justified. Yeah, Justified comes back. Yeah, and they're June, basing July it, 18th. Dude, they're basing it. Uh, well, again, it's because Justified is kind of based on El Elmore Leonard. Uh, El a, a novel and i can't remember now i'm blanking on the fucking fire, name fire in the hole yes that's the one they're they're uh they're uh, uh basing it on it looks pretty cool so just fights good show i was about <laughs> to ask that chrissy <laughs> well i'm sorry what what was your nickname in college again fire in the hole fire in the hole uh, that's one of my other <laughs> fire in the hole <laughs> did, did you get a nickname like ever like uh freshman year junior Every year, year okay new nickname. wow is that what, she was in college for 30 years. Is that what inspired <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is, is that what inspired you to become a redhead? <laughs> I wanted people to know I was crazy right away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taste the <there were> doubts. <laughs> I like that one. That's uh, a good one. Valiant Renegade, our boy. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, many thanks to Gary, Jeremy, and Ryan. Oh, fuck Jeremy. We'll just say Gary and Ryan. Uh, but especially Gary, who pushed me over the edge. Uh, you said you weren't going to say that. I mean, I'm glad yeah, you survived. Yeah, we were uh, just talking about gay shit. Uh, yeah. To start a YouTube a channel two years ago, we hit 25,000 subs today. Cheers, my friends. Thank you for always supporting me. God bless. Hail the 199. Nice. Congrats, man. Congratulations. 25k that's awesome i remember wow, when i hit yeah. that i'm like oh shit i was so happy because that was um right after i quit my really good job at netflix uh when i was making about a thousand dollars a month on youtube and uh convinced my wife that maybe this youtube thing can work and then like two Aww. two weeks later we hit twenty five thousand subs from 10 because of doctor who doctor who because i said the doctor's a man awesome. wow apparently that was a radical act yeah. Saying that doctor's a dude. <laughs> doctor's a dude. Uh, and a shout out from Dave Cullen. That, now that's a good ginge right there. He has no soul, it's but we love him. Also show up at an owl doctor. Oh. Have you guys I'll seen that you article that. Uh, about uh, <laughs> Superman number one? No. The, uh, the, uh, they've discovered now that there was actually three printings of that co uh, of that comic. Oh. Oh. Really? Yeah. And and uh, the the they the they published a total of nine hundred thousand copies yeah. of it when, when it came out in nineteen thirty nine. Uh, the first one has a ad in it for the Action Comics, and it says Action Comics number uh, blah blah uh, on sale uh, next month. The second printing has that ad in in it. It says. Uh, action comics on sale now so that's how they know oh shit in printing so now and there's a first and second printing of it though yeah, which makes yeah, oh yeah, no the so there's some motherfuckers out there who are like oh shit i don't have shit. the first superman anymore <laughs> i Damn. mean they're printed right like just right after another, i'm still it's worth you know, tons of money but that's going to make the first printing worth like through the roof and what what is that there's less than uh I, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard there's less than 100. Like, there's not many. There's not many Superman. Oh, you're talking about Superman number one. Sorry. Not, uh, Superman action. number one, yeah. Superman yeah, number yeah. one, yeah. Yeah. They, not they Action printed, Comics uh, number one. 500,000 copies of the of the first one, 250 of the second, and 150 of the third. And it sold out a, a total of 900,000 copies, which is a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't know what the difference is with the third printing. I'm not sure they they've they've got that locked down yet. Uh, 
And they just, it, is this something they just discovered? Because I honestly, I've never heard this. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, wow. I, I, I think it's just making its way now. Um, um, uh, s- people have been comparing notes, and you know, because it's hard to because as, there's probably not a ton of these copies left. So you know, you just see Superman number one. You know, you don't have a lot of it to compare to. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but evidently, some people had access to archives, maybe at, at DC or something like that, and were able to look through them. And, Holy and, shit! And found this, and that house ad was the telltale sign. I I love that kind of comics lore, that history. Oh hell yeah! You know? Well, I think and, that and, is so cool. And some people are very happy today, and there's some probably some sad people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really fucking sad. Yeah. Like they spent a lot of money. Well, I mean, you know, they're it's, still gonna be happy to have one, but it's still gonna be worth a lot. But you know, a, yeah, no, when, when you're, you're a collector, collector it's, it's gonna be in yeah. your head. This is a second yeah, print. Exactly. It's not the real right. one. <laughs> it would yeah. fuck with me. I'd be all. I'm now I gotta get the other one. <laughs> uh, didn't Vengeance of Bane go through three uh, three printings as well? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah, the, the 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 rarest one is the third one. Uh, th- that has the blue logo yep. on it. Mm, I got that. Yeah, I, I think that one looks really cool with that blue logo. The other one just has a like a Roman numeral two on it. Um, but I got a sign is... Graham Nolan first printing. I'm okay. I got th- dozens of them. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna make, make one right now. Good. Make it sound you can good. Make one. I'm yeah. gonna make one right now. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> I got another. <laughs> Just devalued it, you bastard. <laughs> uh, find a third printing. Sign that. Send over. Okay, shit. <laughs> uh, oh, it won't be. It won't be here till next. Ah, oh, shit. I wish it was when you guys were coming on. Uh, I got another. Oh, uh, I just. I got a DM from Kelly yesterday. I did. I got another fantastic four number he said, one. He said. He said. He said. I just. Just. I've just shipped something to you. Yeah, your page. Ooh. Ours is getting framed uh, along with the reframing of Graham, but yeah. So I'm going to be doing a, <laughs> my fan, uh, not Graham himself, the art, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, framing I'll, Graham? I want, no, I want to be the ultimate. I want to be the ultimate collector. I've got everything now, so I want real people. I'm going to start like just collecting <laughs> yeah, real okay. people. It's got nice <laughs> yes. the most dangerous game. The, the collector yes. and the Simpsons. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, I got an F, yep. uh, as I got a second FF number one. I got it cheap. Oh. Well, cheap. Yeah. I cheap. got I got it cheap. I got it. I need an FF five. You do? Yeah. Okay. We can talk. I'll take uh, Detective right. Comics 27 if anyone's got one. Go no. On. No. <laughs> I don't have one of those. Oh, okay. I, I got all the key FFs, uh, you know, all the stuff that's high in price, and I'm missing a bunch in between that are, you know, not expensive or anything, but the FF5 is, is the one key book that uh, yeah. I'm missing. Well, I, I don't buy them in sets. I used to, like, uh, back in the old days, I'd buy them in sets for the store, and I'd had keep my own shit, but now because um, I whittled my comic collection down from like quarter of a million to whatever it is now i have no idea um and now i'm just buying them one at a time and i have the craziest i have the craziest goal i i I pretty much want i want the bronze age (laughs) i want it all (laughs) i want the entire bronze age (laughs) so (laughs) what your collection is the bronze age the bronze age the bronze age of comics that's what i want (laughs) all of them so uh i know i'll never hit it but fuck i've got so many of the other ones, I, I'm like getting into Charlton stuff and weird stuff, and it's kind of fun. Ah. It'll never. It's something I want to do till the day I die and never finish. But uh, yeah, Hank, Hank Scorpio Globix Corporation CEO. That's okay. Okay. All these specific. That's very specific. Yeah. Thank you for the fifty euros. I feel like uh, somebody from the WEF just donated to us. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't <laughs> sell. Out. I won't sell out <laughs> for much. No. Uh, a Gary is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to or when he figures out how to start the fucking stream. That's just, yeah, yeah. I added that. I added that. Oh, how am I supposed to say this name again? Oh, you're gone. God, what's up with my people? They're in her. Sorry. Mesosone. Sorry. Mess Gary, Gary hires a bunch of diversity hires and wonders why things are fucked up. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. For Guts theme, $50. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guts. 
Uh, we've got some membership donations. One from M. Morton. Five gifted memberships for $25. Thank you very much. Best name I can think of. Oh, do you have a B in your avatar? Are you part of the Alphabet uh, Mafia? Alphabet that, Alliance. Uh, Alphabet <laughs> Alliance, whatever it is. He's lazy. Oh, fucks. the Alphabet Mafia runs Hollywood. Sorry, my bad. Um, hey, Gifted five neurotic memberships for $25. And I just want to point out what a hypocrite Ryan is because he's got two giant letters in his avatar. With his- <laughs> okay, yeah. No, no, no. That's, that's a logo. There's a difference. If somebody has a logo, that works. And also, like, there's a big words that are going through in the middle of the letters. But the problem is not even so much that it's just a letter. It's the fact that you never did anything. Like you literally logged into Google and it generated you a stupid, dumbass forest green background with a white capital G in some stupid font and you never changed it. And that's just what you rolled with. Low effort. That's my problem. Ryan just got mad over nothing. That's he, he, weird. Ryan just yeah. gets angry. That's He wakes up in the morning and goes, <laughs> I need to be angry. angry. about logos. All right. And he wonders why his fast food orders always get screwed <laughs> up. Yeah. What the mm-hmm. fuck does that have to do with anything? Karma. Karma. <laughs> karma. You're hey, man. That it. shit is not real because if it was real, I'd be dead. Like, there's no way karma's real. Uh, no. no, karma Kill likes to play. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. torturing you for the rest of your karma life. Karma no, likes to play with its special. food. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'd be careful. Uh, Travis's World uh, has gifted five neurotic memberships for $25. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm very proud to represent Bucky's today, by the way. <gasps> Bucky's! Yes! Oh, wow! so cute! Yes. Oh, I look right good. on hand. You're at Bucky's. Good! Don't mess, don't mess with Texas on his little shirt. And then I slept with him every night. She sleeps wow. with her beaver every night. So. Mm, I'm touching my beaver. Yes, you are. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. And you're yes. rubbing it. That's going to play well on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's the spot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna come. Does the beaver like it? Wow. Yes, this one does. <laughs> See what happens when you like girls on podcasts. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> just want to talk about the fucking, fucking beavers. Vagina jokes, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Always. I know. Uh, Blue ball. Blue ball spare has gifted five neurotic memberships for twenty five dollars. Smooth DJ has gifted five neurotic memberships for twenty five dollars. Thank you guys. And your average patriot nerd has gifted five neurotic memberships. Thank you. Thank you. you guys are awesome. Let's see if there's any. Uh, wait. Okay. Oh, it's Chuck. Chuck's gone. Chuck's gone. Uh, hey, Shane Davis is in here. He left five dollars. He said, "Hail Chuck and Graham." Hey, Shane. Shane, what's up, Shane? Uh, Mr. A for five British pounds. Can Chuck please tell me about how great Alan Grant was as a writer? I'm Scottish, oh. and he was my hero. Thanks. Oh. Alan Grant. Alan Grant was a great guy too. Great writer. He 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 added so much to Batman. Um, mm, yep. At a time when there wasn't a lot going on, uh, him and Norm Brayfogle were just an yeah. amazing team together. I, I loved their work um, <clears throat> before I started working on Batman. You know, I I I really loved their work a lot. Yeah, Graham, like reading Batman from from when I was a kid, so it's like late seventies to I mean, to you know, honestly, it wasn't good past two thousand. 15 uh, but i mean it's arguable but that was such a, uh, i just thought it would never end dude i just like man this book's f- always good it's always pretty good and uh then it ended <laughs> yeah yeah you know you know the saddest part uh, about batman's history is brave and the bold uh because you had you had jim aparo drawing that book in his prime, you know, from the early seventies up to the, uh, the, the mid, mid, uh, late, mid to late seventies. Yep. And he had these damn Bob Haney scripts to work from. <laughs> I mean, Bob Haney, he did, it's like his Batman didn't exist in the same universe. Cause if he needed something, he would just throw that shit in there. There's one where he's talking about, he, he, he ducked because his bat sense told him of the danger. Uh, I mean, I- what the hell? <laughs> Brave and the I I bought the shit out of that book, especially when I was younger, because it looked so good. Uh, yeah. but it was ridiculous. Like yeah, a lot of DC in the seventies, you know. But it was Jim Apparel. Jim Apparel. I mean, I Jim love Apparel. Oh, yeah. shit. But, but oh. imagine if he was like doing detective with either uh Denny 
or I mean, he did a short run on Detective uh, with Archie Goodwin, mm -hmm. and that was amazing. Mm -hmm. Those those like four <clears throat> issues or something that they did together, uh, four or five issues, uh, so good. I, I would have loved for him. He would have been elevated so much higher if he had been on either Batman or Detective back then instead of later on in his career, you know? Yep. Because he was he was oh, so good. One of the goats. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Redwood Jones for $100. Longtime listener. Usually the next day through. Why are you still doing Super Chats on YouTube? Start reading Rumble Rants. I do in my square ups. Uh, you, sh uh, you got, uh, you've got all 100, uh, there instead of just 70. Uh, that's true. Uh, when will you quit supporting the company that hates you, your opinions and your audience? Um, I'm not leaving YouTube until they kick me off. Yeah. I will be, I will be in the belly of the beast forever. Uh, as far as rumble rants, uh, I'll read them. Absolutely. Thank you for the rumble rants. I appreciate it. And YouTube memberships. I appreciate it. My goal uh we put friday night tights on on rumble uh they asked and i said you know like rumble wanted to kind of make a deal right and i wasn't sure because i'm like really i'm very cautious when it comes to that stuff super cautious so i'm like you know what i'll put fnt over there i'll just mirror it is that cool we'll see how it does it's done pretty well it's done pretty well and i like rumble's trying to like not be as partisan and like i want <clears throat> Republicans and right wing people to be able to say whatever the fuck they want on a platform. I want that, but I want it to be a balanced platform. So it actually grows and becomes real competition for YouTube, which I'm totally down with. But in the meantime, my goal is a website. <clears throat> my goal is my own website with my own stuff going on, which is uh, days away from being done. So that's, that's what I'm focusing on, but I'm always going to be on YouTube. YouTube is where I grew uh, YouTube uh, as critical as we are of it. Like Graham said earlier, not, Everybody's evil there. Uh, it's an evil corporation run by fucking lizard people. But I think some of the people who work there are, are fine. And it's given me this great opportunity as an entrepreneur to start this channel that it was just a dumb fucking podcast that I never thought would go anywhere. And that's thanks to you guys. And I was able to reach you guys. So I'm grateful mm -hmm. for YouTube for that. And I'm always going to be here. Uh, you, you know, you just the thing about YouTube is you got to be cautious and smart and, and that sucks for some people but you know you if you're not around then we're then i'm just going to be talking to myself you know if mm -hmm. i'm press pushed off this platform i want rumble to become serious competition because i think that makes that'll make youtube better but got every time mm -hmm. they got serious competition they made positive changes when the, the memberships is because of twitch mm -hmm. we wouldn't have yeah. them if it wasn't for twitch now twitch is fucking shit so um, I, I I couldn't I couldn't survive on Rumble. I'd like yeah. money wise, just, just yeah, couldn't yeah. do it. Like the views wise, is, is, yeah. right? Yeah, and I I totally support Rumble. I've been streaming to Rumble for longer than pretty much anybody uh, in this space. I've been mirroring my shits over there for like two years, and I'm not even at ten thousand followers over on Rumble yet. But I just simply put, it, you can't do it unless you're one of these guys who are getting a big deal and congrats to them kudos to them it's fucking awesome that's how you grow a platform get people like that give people what they want but it's a long way off for a lot of other people hmm. uh, from that aspect, i mean the, so. the other side to this which is a really important thing to understand is if if you agree with this pushback that we're trying to do against the the insane you know insanity that's happening in media the things that mm -hmm. we love and stuff if you want that message to actually go out you know, into the world, into uh, new people that, you know, can be on board with this thing. You need to be on YouTube. That's where yep. people are. That's where the audience is. If you actually want, you know, um, the pushback to be more effective, you have to be where the people are to try and get that message out. And uh, that's like, that's an essential part of, of this, as yeah, well as the fact that YouTube has proper monetization as well. Yeah. And so yes. One of the early much like Twitter, YouTube, YouTube is a battleground and we need to be here to fight. Yeah. And, and if Twitter yeah. becomes like serious competition, like there, there's a lot of talk that they're going to become, comp that you can upload to our videos now. If you're uh, if you got a blue check mark on Twitter, if they get the monetization thing mm -hmm. going, that, that would be interesting. That would be mm -hmm. very interesting. I don't like that new CEO though. Uh, not at all. Yeah, she has to prove fan. herself to me. <laughs> Uh, but but you as a viewer, absolutely, and thank you, Redwood Jones, for the $100. Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate it and absolutely do support Rumble. And uh, we're grateful that we're there and 
and any other alternative <clears throat> site. And uh, yeah, I think, <clears throat> I mean, creator, do whatever the fuck you want as a creator. I don't care. Uh, uh, but I'm going to like, I, I'm going to eventually, like, my focus is my own thing. I, I don't want to be part, uh, and this is not saying it's a bad thing. If you want to become a part of a network or create a network, by all means, we need more, much more decentralized. Let's do it. Uh, but I just want to do my own thing. I just want to do my website. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I'm going to like focus stuff, of course, I'll do membership stuff here, but I'll do exclusive stuff on the website when that eventually happens. You know, uh, I might need a 30 hour day or just stop sleeping, but I'll figure out how to do it. Uh, but like, yeah, it's, it's, that's what I want to be. I want to just be independent. I'm old. I'm going to ride it in the sunset someday soon, <laughs> sooner no. than later. And uh, it, I'd just rather be independent, be able to talk about whatever the fuck mm -hmm. I want. And, and it would be nice to be free again mm. to just Amen, brother. Amen. Uh, to get into that. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I, and another point, just to add to it, sure. I feel there's something poetic in kind of using the weapons of the enemy against oh, them. And absolutely. I know not everyone mm -hmm. at YouTube is the enemy, but they're owned by people who do not like us, right? Uh, but yet we're able to use their platform to push against what they want to turn the world into. And so, yeah, you know, like, um, it's a use, it's a very useful and important tool at the moment in the culture war. Uh, so we do need to be here. Shad is correct. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't like technocrats, so they are paying somebody who hates them, me <laughs> and Shad and uh everybody here so uh yeah i'll it, take their money yep. <laughs> yeah, i'll put 100%. it to good use <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I love it when i happen to get disney advertisements on my videos uh -huh. bashing disney <laughs> my favorite thing <laughs> in the world. justice yeah. <laughs> disney, right mm -hmm. yep well i get star trek shit on mine disney uh, it's great thank i'll take their money thank you thank you fuckers <laughs> that, that pays me back for those tickets I had to buy for Guardians because I couldn't sneak in because there was too many people there. Because, like, for Little Mermaid, I am going to buy, if Sisu's still in the theaters, I'm going to buy tickets to Sisu or something. Else. By the way, Graham, you need to see Sisu. It's fucking awesome. It was a movie, <laughs> a movie. It was a movie made for 6 million euros, and it's basically, it's a Finnish commander, post-World War II, family died getting murdered by the Russians, um, and he just becomes a, a gold miner. He finds some fucking gold, yeah. and he has to go yeah. to a bank, and he has to fight his way through Nazis to get to the bank. It's a fucking great movie. Sounds yeah. like yeah. they really finished them off. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Psychic Girl. I, I saw the trailer for that, and I'm like, yeah, you got my money. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. amazing. It's I'm, really you know, fun. This. It's really fun. <laughs> There's not a lot of, like, talking uh, unfortunately, most of the talking's done by the women, but uh, they're not in it very much, and they actually they're actually pretty cool. So, after. is that a theater or is that streaming somewhere? It's streaming now. Theaters. I think it oh. might be still in theaters, but you can uh, get it. You can download it, watch it at home now. Oh, okay. Highly what recommend platform? it. Five stars. Fucking go watch it. Do you and know what platform it's on? Uh, that's a good question. I can find out. Probably. I know Mark watched it on iTunes, so if you want to. Rental. You can watch it on. It's a rental. Okay. It's a rental available on YouTube. Yeah. You or Vudu or Apple TV. Or... Oh, okay. Perfect. I got Vudu. Uh, this is for Chuck. If you're still listening out there, Chuck, Psychic Girl for $5 <laughs> says, Hey, Chuck. Just wanted to say I loved Hunter, Ninja, Bear. I, I bought it after you mentioned it to Ripa, and it's beautifully made. There you go. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, if I didn't get to your super chat, I will get to it Monday. Monday evening is when I do the super chat square ups on Nerd Rotic Live. If, uh, if you didn't know that, you can go back to the channel and see the last two weeks. So they're there, uh, including Rumble Rants. So mm -hmm. I thank you all. And uh, that gives me a chance to give them their proper time. And that also gives me a chance to eat and sleep and the rest of us too uh so uh what is this marta toro for 25 dollars says hail all i recently finished fnt 241 that's like nine episodes ago uh and as is autopsy not review what does it say auto autopsy autopsy's not review speech was epic keep the fantastic keep up the fantastic comic thank you I honestly don't remember that speech at all, but um, as is always epic. Well, I said we don't do reviews anymore. We do autopsies. Oh, yeah. That's, okay, yeah. that's true. Uh, that's a great... Funny. 
It's pretty accurate. <clears throat> Like I think so. Yeah. Nine weeks is so was, long ago. That, what did I say? My Star Wars. It's not even an autopsy with Star Wars. We're digging up a corpse and getting the DNA to find the real murder or something like that. Although we know mm -hmm. it is just to prove the prove you're, who the murder is. You're extracting is. midi chlorians. Midi chlorians. Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. To, no. Uh, as is wonky yeah. eyebrow for two British pounds. This is as no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's finish this out it's been a great 250th episode 250 years of streaming everybody i know wow yeah. we were the first we were the first i think our best i still down. think our best stream was after lincoln's assassination i, I do too oh, yeah. <laughs> well we had razor fist on and he was just <laughs> saying good <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah razor fist not a fan of lincoln not a fan of lincoln uh we'll start with comics division Hello, everyone. I'm Comics Division. Uh, you can follow me on YouTube and the Twitters at Comics Division. Um, go check out my lovely video about the whole Dove commercial uh, for mm. gaming. It's called Frigerator. Um, yeah. It's did not you, getting much play. Did you for... fridge her? No, she fridged herself. Well, she ate the fridge. She oh. swallowed the she fridge. She ate the fridge, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah also, on yourself. Monday, I'm going to have Andy Samberg on. Uh, he's like $8 away from reaching his stretch goals on Indiegogo, which is pretty awesome. And then Thursday, I'm going to have uh, Mike Evans from XLR7 back on again, um, which is he's just a cool dude, fantastic YouTuber, creates an amazing pixel art um, cartoon, I guess is the best way of describing it. Um, Fantastic. Also, Graham, it's fantastic again hanging out with you. And Chuck's not here, but it was amazing hanging out with him as well. And as always, <clears throat> great hanging out with my awesome panelists. We'll see you next Friday. Cheers, comics. Bye, uh, comics. X Ray Girl. Uh, you can find me, X Ray Girl, on Rumble Locals and uh, YouTube. Uh, I. We just did an interview with Lynn Jones, wife of Kelly Jones on Poor Choices. Yeah. If you want to check that out. She Mrs. Is Jones. Super awesome. Lovely woman. Has great takes on relationships. And you can find some more information about herself and Kelly over there. Um, and uh, Mark and I are starting a new channel called Human Cyborg Relations. So if you can, give a sub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did want to bring this up. We have a meetup. Oh yeah, happening in <laughs> Dallas. Yeah, um, I'm, it's just, I'm terrible with this shit. I, this is why. Yeah, I... no worries. That's what I'm here for. So Thursday, June eighth, a day before Dallas Fan Expo, seven to ten, um, at Farm and Feed, you can reserve your spot. Now, just to be clear, that's a bar, not a uh, like a. Fucking house for it's not a barn right? yeah it's a bar not a barn uh I couldn't, think of the, I couldn't think of the word barn so i had to say house for cows <laughs> <laughs> ryan i've been there dude i've so yeah. been there dude uh, many times that you've witnessed yeah. <laughs> house for cows <laughs> Brain slightly for cows. dying yeah, I'm I'm fucking It's dying, late man. for Ryan. It's been a long week. It's, it's been, been yeah. Week. Ryan, you've yeah. worked hard. You've did you did a good job. Yo, shit. 250,000 yeah. subscribers, Ryan. Wow. Hell, brother. Thank you. Yeah. So Sorry I didn't shut that out. Yep. Uh there's going to be merch giveaways. There's video games there, PC and console, food and drinks um at the bar, so So it's be a, fun. It, it's a bar. We're going to um uh, this is free, by the way, and we're gonna rent out like these little stalls. So we're gonna have like uh, be, be behind a table, so we you know selling uh, shirts and stuff, and I'll be doing some giveaways, yep. and we're gonna have a raffle again because I found out I just bought a bunch of, <laughs> I buy doubles of a lot of shit because I have too much <laughs> shit, so I just give it away. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of Mondo like early good Marvel movie 4K Steelbook Blu-rays, a bunch of them. Like Endgame, Infinity War, you know, the good movies, the movies that you liked, uh, you know, Iron Man, and I'll be passing I'll be passing those out with some one six scales. But like uh yeah, a bunch of people like Jeremy's gonna I guess be going, Ryan. Do we know yet? Maybe? I, I I wouldn't there's no certainty on that yet. Okay. I will one thousand percent Ryan there. will be there. So yeah, yeah. 
We're yeah. trying to get other people to go. We'll see what happens. Eric July might be around. We'll see what happens. But I'll be there. It Ryan better will be, there. be. Yeah. Lots of uh, lots of people Graham, in the area. Don't you want to go to the Dallas Fan Expo uh, in a month? Uh, it sounds like it'd be fun. I mean, I was just in Dallas. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. I missed you, man. Weeks. Yeah. Well, what's up with that? I, I, I did meet three quarter black, though. You did. Yeah, you yeah. Three quarter. <laughs> You met the wrong guy. Three, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Wait, three quarter white. Else. <laughs> what what is this drugs? Did, did I get three quarter black. Qu- quarter black. Like quarter black. Quarter black. Yeah. Or quarter black. Okay. Three quarter black <laughs> is good enough. So well, he actually <laughs> met him. You know, he ate three quarters. Uh, <laughs> he was tanner than I thought. Uh, thanks. <laughs> so we're also going to have a panel at the Dan- Dallas Fan Expo Saturday, 1 p.m. Yes. So mm-hmm. if you want to nice. go to Dallas Fan Expo, make sure you get a Saturday ticket. Um, because that's we'll where be we're going to be on Saturday. We'll be there. Uh, we'll be shouting it out a lot till then. Uh, and it's coming up three weeks, a little over Dang. three weeks. So soon. I know. I thank God um, it's driving distance for me this time, but uh, yeah, I got to fly somewhere first. Uh, who do we have next? We'll go to Ryan. Um. You guys know where to find me. I did. Thank you for the shout out. 250K. We've been grinding. I've had like 3 million views in the past week. So. That's fucking awesome. We're wow. Doing, we're doing good numbers. Wow. Doing good numbers. Yeah. Um, over on Sports Wars, too. Check me out on Sports Wars. Me and Jeremy, Geeks and Gamers Daily, every single, well, every single weekday, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. on the Geeks and Gamers channel, talking about whatever bullshit came out the night before. So, awesome. Yeah. It's a great show. Cheers. 199. 199 250 250 yeah that's it's so weird three uh, was it was four years now 2019 comic-con where we met that's right yeah Uh coming on four years not bad not bad kiddo uh shad and brooks another guy's doing not bad how you doing I'm doing pretty good. If you don't mind, I have a couple of updates to share. Oh, everyone. yeah. No, not um, at all. Take your time, man. It's all good. So uh, check this out. This is uh, Shadow of the Conqueror Volume 2. Mike has just been powering forward with this. And we are uh, like 15 pages away from the completion of the artwork. Nice. And uh, this stuff is just looking absolutely amazing. And so... <laughs> Like it is, yeah. Looks volume like two is rock and roll. There, there is yeah, Dylan Mulvaney wicked stuff. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and so that is really awesome to awesome to see. Now, I've already mentioned that unfortunately we've been having some frustrating delays in regards to the printers, and they're like, I've already been aware that things were not working out. And I, this is the thing, right? We lined up a like a printer that you probably have some of their books, right? And so they were tested, they were proven, they could do, could do really good quality. Things have unfortunately gone off the rails. There's company restructuring and they're, they're like, I'll, I'll probably make a video sharing the whole tale of what's <clears> happened <throat> with these because it, it's been a bit of a crap show, unfortunately. And I was aware that these issues were happening. And so even a couple of months ago, we were lining up a new printer that, could give us the assurances we needed to get the quality we needed. And so we've had to basically just can't, I like pull ties with the printer that we lined up because I've lost all confidence that that they'd be able to do what we needed, you know, to give everyone the quality they have, but we have been able to line up an absolutely phenomenal printer. And so um, uh, luckily I have some uh, contacts, right? And uh, I was able to uh, contact Brandon Sanderson and say, "Hey, mate, oh, you know, you do wow. leather bounds. Can you can you hook me up?" And so we have we've actually we're already we've been working with him for a month already. Oh, that's awesome! Up. That's and awesome. Uh, and so when I say like they they're the people who make these, okay? Nice. Yeah. Like I already have the stuff that they make, and th- these are a premium quality printer that they've done leather bound. They know, and look at the quality, what they're able to do. It looks right? awesome. And so 
these are the people that are going to be doing the prints, not only for the leather bounds, but also for the graphic novels for the Shadow of the Conqueror campaign. We're already been working with them for a month and we are so close to actually, let's go to print. Let's get this underway. So that's really exciting. We're, we're, we, we've been able to make more progress working with these people for a month than I was with these other printers for over six months. That's Shit. how much of a crap show it was trying to deal with them. Now, the thing is though, they are premium printers and uh, like it's they're expensive I, like a lot more expensive than the quotes that were able to line up and so it's eating into a good chunk of the profits from the first um campaign but i'm i'm so like determined that we're going to get the best quality for this and so even though it's cutting into our profits i'm ensuring that the books that you guys will be getting will be the best quality possible and they are these things like look at the quality that these people are able to do. And so they are more expensive, but I'm taking the hit for that to give you guys the best quality possible. And we're already uh, very close to now powering forward and going to print, which is exciting. And we'll be able to get the books to you as soon as possible. And they are looking to be awesome. So some good updates and progress on that front. Awesome. Mm. So I could just say that again. <laughs> <laughs> something about a printer. Uh, yeah, something, something, something Hewlett Packard or something. I don't know. Hewlett Packard. Oh, your printer broke. That, that's all. That's all he said. He he needed some ink cartridges, and he's good now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks, Chad. Is it the cyan. The cyan's always a bitch uh, to get in it. Um, yes. Uh, the world famous Chrissy Mayer, and and her boobs, who are famous oh, on Twitter. Oh my eye. What is happening with my eye right now? Stop poking it. Then. Okay. Yeah, get your finger out of there. Uh, That's hope, what she said. Hope you, wa she said. hope you washed it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to be back. I missed you guys so much. We missed you too. Uh, I will be. I'm trying to book more dates. I'm trying to see if this little viral moment will help. You me need book a cloud lifter. Dates. But still, I have a cloud lifter. It's, it's right here. You're getting cr crackling away. Yeah, but... you're peaking a bit. So Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just pulled it out. Yeah. That's what what you got to have, have, oh, no. have, 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 have a good pull out game. Lifter. Right. Cloud lifter is like the name of one of my push up bras. Um, is that your nickname? Was so, that your nickname in college? Hopefully, this little viral moment is going to help me book more gigs, but still, you know, manage management won't really have me, so I have to just like. Uh, book these things on my own. Anyway, so I'll be in Jersey July 8th at TIFFs in Morris Plains. That'll be fun. Then I got Richmond, Virginia, August 9th, and uh, Houston, Texas, August 11th at the Secret Group. You can get tickets for those shows. Is that around Christmas Anime America. Matsuri? August it 11th? is. It's, yeah. here. it's in Anime Matsuri. It's Matsuri. that Friday. So would you say no management will... We'll take you on. No, they won't have me. And I was just talking to Tyler Fisher about this the other day. Like he's like, I get up at the cellar all the time, and still, like management doesn't want to touch me. I'm like, me too. <laughs> so, <laughs> Damn. so I would like. But what helps is, uh, you know, tagging the comedy club near you, tagging me, just tweeting, tweeting, getting in their ear, so, so that these places think, oh, maybe we can make money off this bitch. So that's the goal. What about the mothership? Try to get in the mothership. I was at the mothership. I went. I was going to give them an, an edible arrangement or a plant or something, but I ended up just like stopping by with Lila and Keanu. And like, it's very, uh, it's very much like Joe Rogan's like tight buddies that are kind of yeah. in there. So I just have to wait for, to, for, you know, me to come across his radar. I yeah, guess. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure he knows I exist, but it's like, it's like, a, we'll call you you won't call us kind of situation. Don't call us, we'll call you. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I'll see you in August. Yeah. yeah I'll see you in August. That's going to be fun. That'll be fun. Uh, as... Uh, going to see you Tuesday. Next Tuesday. See you next mm -hmm. Tuesday. Oh, man. I pressed the red X, but it, now it says, John, to leave the site, changes that you've saved may not be up. Oh. I know, you can't just... <laughs> ruin my whole gag this week, didn't it? I did. Yeah, Tuesday, Real BBC, my channel, uh, both Chuck and Graham will be on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll talk some Joel Frankenstein part two <clears throat> and uh, some other stoof. Uh, so that's going to be a good time. Other than that, I'm really tired. I want to go to bed.
Maybe Disney can stay out of the bad news for a couple of days. No. Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Graham Nolan, who has a new campaign. Link in yeah. the description. Well, first, I just want to thank you guys for inviting me in tonight. Uh, I had a great time. And it's always great to see you guys. Uh, such a fun show. And everybody in the chat, thanks so much for supporting um, the Joe Frankenstein campaign. We had uh, quite a few backers come on uh, as a result of uh, tonight. So that's on you. So thanks so much, everybody. Uh, you can find me uh, at compasscomics.com, uh, which is my website. I'm on Facebook, Twitter. I have a YouTube show uh, that I talk about comics on. And... Uh, yeah, I'll see uh, you two on Tuesday, and we're going to talk some fun comic shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'll have some f I'll, I'll try to dig out some. I need to bag and board some Batmans. I'll find them. Somewhere. There you go. Or somewhere. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Uh, who do we got next Friday? Uh, we have Chato. Paul oh, Chato, nice. former That's right. Hollywood executive Paul Chato, and maybe we can bring in Jay Longbone to talk about. <laughs> Mikey wants it, so uh, really bad to talk about uh, Little Mer like make make like a Little Mermaid sec segment, and we could bring her in. But Paul's great. Paul knows his shit. Uh, he's also like here, canoe head. If you uh. <laughs> So huh? Canoe Head, he's a comedian. Like uh, he was uh, like, uh, th there's a famous Doctor Demento song if you're, from back in the day called "Boot to the Head." Go look it up. It's it's uh, mm. it's the kind of shit I listened to as a kid. Uh, you know, Weird Al Yankovic came from Doctor Demento. Anybody who grew up in, uh, I'm sure he was nationally uh, syndicated. But like, if you grew up in Southern California, you knew who Doctor Demento was. You listened to him every Sunday night. You got your top five. So Paul Chato's uh, the man. So I can't wait to talk to him. Uh, we have a video. The reason Garrett wasn't here is because uh, he's editing my next. Uh, believe it or not, I'm making a video about Marvel and Disney. This might shock some of you. <laughs> um, it's coming out tomorrow, and then I got a. a bigger one i'm doing with perry that's going to come out like later next week early next week it's going to take a while because it's uh it's kind of about the strike but it's kind of about other stuff too got some great audio clips one in particular that is just perfect and uh i'm gonna fuck off and watch top gear that's what i'm gonna do tonight <laughs> I, i've already nice. uh, or, or, or clarkson's farm again I'm, i haven't decided yet Maybe a little bit of both, but I, I, as you need to watch it with me, when you wake up, <laughs> call me. <laughs> try try not to stream for a day. Eyes? Try not to no, stream. Somebody from the drop out. Try not to stream for a day. To an hour I'm ago. Gone. Uh, so no, I'm, I'm just in the morning for that guy. Dallas. I'm laughing at Stephen King at the minute. That's all. Oh, because he's retarded. Well, yeah, he's <laughs> like, he like, is. All this stuff that's going on with on uh, with Disney in Florida at the moment, and they're canceling this and canceling that because they're fucking hemorrhaging money, hand over fist, and you get all these fucking leftist wank tossers who keep going. Ah, oh, it's because it's because Disney's fighting back because of their stance against the alphabet community. It's like no, it's because they can't fucking afford any of this shit now. Is yeah, that, is that yeah? Much. Is that actually? They are, they are losing money hand over fist. They're losing subscribers on their fucking streaming platform, which they reckon was going to be soaring to the moon by this time. They're losing those hand over fist. They're canceling projects. They're removing stuff from the site because they can't even afford their own license that they pay themselves. They can't. They can't afford the server space, which yes. costs money, by the way. They gotta get rid of it. They no. need to Costco, and it's like no, it's because it's the stance again. It's not. It's not. No. And the WGA is convinced, absolutely Fucking convinced, that these companies are making record profits. And what they're looking at is like what they make at the park and stuff. But their entertainment, like Amazon's entertainment wing, their studio doesn't make them money at all. Like not a cent. It's just to drive subscribers and 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 to drive more people to Amazon Prime. It's it's actually losing money. Like a lot of it for them, they could get rid of it tomorrow and they won't miss it. Mm. So, uh, and and that is one of the most uh, that Apple and Amazon have the most 
liquid cash to fuck around in Hollywood. And that's what Hollywood's relying on right now is these two people who could shut down their entertainment divisions tomorrow and not miss it. So it's going to be tough times. It's going to be real tough. Time. We'll see if the, oh, well. the actors go on strike. Oh, well, yeah, but Disney uh, is uh, going down. It's not because of their stance. It's because they suck. They suck. And they got yep. political at the worst possible time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so thank you very much to the Mod Rodics. Thanks to everyone who left a Super Chat and donation. Again, there will be a Super Chat Square up Monday evening on Nerd Rodic Live. We'll see you next week. Take care, everyone. I'll see if I can I can end the stream now. Bye. <laughs> Pedal to the metal, Gary. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We believe you. I almost. <laughs> it's still alive. It's still alive. It's still alive. We're here. still laughing. They can hear us now, but not anymore. Say bye. 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 God damn, Gary, some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs> All right, perfect.
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dumb as a man.